Waking on the blubber. Rockin' bubba, rockin' bubba. Gonna be a big star. It is six and a half minutes past the hour. Welcome in to the kickoff hour here on the Rick and Bubba Show. We start a brand new week together, and we thank you so much for being with us. As always, we know there's lots of choices out there, and you chose the Rick and Bubba Show, and we are honored you did so. Today is a charity charge day. That's right, benefiting Make-A-Wish Alabama. Uh, and I'm going to tell you, they do a lot of wonderful things. Make-A-Wish Alabama is a local organization. If you're listening in the uh, Alabama, central Alabama area, headquartered in Birmingham, uh, that serves children and families in all 67 counties across Alabama. Did you two goodens know there were 67 counties in Alabama? I did. Not. Did y'all? Did, did. You yeah. did know I that? I thought there were 66, actually. Okay. I thought there were like... <laughs> 12. <laughs> well, they have uh, granted over a 1,000 wishes since uh, the Charter's founding in 2012. And what makes April so special, it's the anniversary of their first wish granted. So uh, that is the beneficiary for April's uh, make a, a, a charity charge, I should say, Make-A-Wish uh, Alabama. And we'll have that in show notes today. Well, you heard their voices over to my left. It's uh, Greg Burgess to my right. It is Helmsy. And we thank everybody for being with us today. How are y'all? Y'all good? Yeah, we're good. Pretty good. Good. Yep. Uh, I know we all had very busy weekends, uh, and we'll recap those. Uh, Will of Meat is, it's, it could, I always say it. We normally don't spill it, spend it on a Monday, but you never know. We could feel froggy and do it. That's why know. with all this right. show, you never know. Right out the gate, you said there were 67 counties. Can you name the first one? In the state of Alabama. What do you mean? The, oh, the first one. The first one? The oldest one. Oh. Oh, oh no. hell. Montgomery. <laughs> Montgomery. Oh, you meant hell county. Yeah, that's what you I just said. I thought you were saying, oh, hell, like, oh, hell, don't know. Oh, oh, no. Okay. No, I don't know. I just threw out hell county. <laughs> <laughs> well, you asked for counties. So I said Washington hell. County. Really? Oh, that was yep. my second one. That was your second one? <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know that. June 4th, 1800. How about oh, that? wow. Yep. Okay. That's kind of neat right there. Yep. My friend. How about that? Uh make Ain't a to George Washington. Yeah. Um they uh you know Greg uh back you know Oxford Alabama where where you're from. That's where I had from. someone uh, visit Buffalo Wild Wings this past weekend off exit 88 188 there uh and they said hey it's nice. It, it's it's you know. Oh yeah. It's really nice. that exit needed that. I mean, yeah, they, they got a lot now. Good, but Let me just go ahead and announce it. Perfect. They got a lot. Yeah, they got a whole lot. Yeah, but the um, more the merrier. That's right, but that's added, that's added to the participating Buffalo Wild Wings. So go out and enjoy that. some great food, and y'all help Make-A-Wish Alabama as they are, are trying to, to, um, to see if they can't re- grant more children their wishes, which is so important. So check, those, uh, check that out, alabama.wish.org, uh, and that will be in show notes today. All right, so we, we, we pulled into the, the parking lot today, and we're just going to talk about it. I love this. We have uh, a running vehicle out there yeah. uh, that— um, It was here when I got here, and I got here about four. Right. And, it's and been running for over an hour. We're, we're, we're afraid, and let's just be honest, in today's right. world, we're afraid to peek in it to yeah. see if somebody's asleep in the back seat. Yeah. And it could be. I, I I know I have seen that 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 particular style of vehicle. I've seen it in okay. our parking lot, which makes me think somebody here is work. Did they forget it was running? Uh, but it's bothering Did all they of have us. Jump the car off this morning and let the battery. I don't know. I, well, they, I they, they could be it. that too. Yeah, good Greg. Good, hey, good that's call, what Greg. Be thinking, buddy. It's a good call. Um, what you think by now? This yeah. Morning? Well, they yeah. may have forgot about it. That's I don't know. Maybe they got out. alternator issues. I don't know. Uh, um, now you're I've being got a mechanic. Yeah. Now I'm, 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 I'm working in a garage now. But yeah. uh, you know, it's bothering all of us because we pulled into the parking lot, and when we get here, you got to understand it's a ghost town. There's nobody here. Yeah. And that, I expect two vehicles when I arrive. You're two. You're yeah. two. And right. every once in a while, a right. third in Bubba who got here early for some reason. So I'd like for you to – well, no, I don't want to be the reason why you get hurt. But you I'd want, like You want you, me to look in it. I do. Oh, I, yeah, I want not? you to call the hotline and walk out there and look in it. You know, it. we have police officers for this kind of thing. I know. Well, I mean, nobody's broken well, law. I mean, no, no, no. We we just want to know why there's a car running right outside our window. Yeah, it is weird. Mm-hmm. I'll go call, call it. it. I mean, I don't care. I ain't going near it. Did y'all go look? I didn't look. No, I, I wanted to. I, I could just tell I was there was walking nobody. Towards the building, and I thought, is that thing running? I, I walked. thought somebody just left it because when I, well, my lights went through, I didn't see anybody mm-hmm. in it. Yeah, see, I didn't look. That seats, I noticed you were still seat. crying though when I got here. Yeah, I was, I was snubbing. <laughs> the seats looked like they were up. It didn't uh-huh. look like anybody was laying right. down. Yeah, now, I, that's the first thing a, I looked at. Somebody could be in the back seat. 
That's Mr. the first thing I looked at. Running. It I mean, was the, the little monitor yes. for the GPS right. you could see. I thought I might have made this up. I thought I saw a phone in there. No what? Now, now, you, now I got a phone. Now, now I got a phone now in there. Phone. I got a phone in there. I got it. I I do. Yeah. I thought it had one of those little smartphone holders. You know how it clips on the side? Yeah. I thought it. I thought I saw your name on there like you had called them. <laughs> so you're scared. Do you know what one of my thoughts were? <laughs> you're normally not scared of stuff that like Bubba this, had man. bought another vehicle and it was just a yeah, red Jeep. Right. He was tired of driving the truck. <laughs> <laughs> and he bought him a new, just a Jeep to just get yeah. just around a Jeep. town. Just a yeah. Jeep, yeah. yeah. Just to get down the hill. Yes. That's, I, I, that was my <laughs> thought. Then uh-huh. I thought, well, maybe, well, see, Adler, I wasn't expecting Adler to be here so early today. Yeah. I thought he was. we were going to start the, where he was going to come in a little later. And so I thought, you know what? Maybe maybe because of his car troubles, he got a new Jeep. Mm-hmm. I thought, man, Adler's Jeep looks nice. Yeah. yeah. When did you get that? Right. That was kind of my yeah. thought that, too. Yeah. Um, you know what car trouble you had if you don't have gas in it? Yeah. They won't run. Yeah, no. Yeah. Well, but because but this is an easy fix. Because that's one the, good thing. Because quarter is a new empty for yeah, him. That's right. That's and true. so he until you until you decide mind. that and until you have that marker, guess what you'll do? Run out of gas because you don't. I'm know. better now that I'm a grown up about let, not letting it. When I was mm-hmm. growing up, it, all I ever had was a quarter of a tank. Right. Yeah. When I first started driving, we wouldn't have filled one up for nothing. <laughs> How many times do you think you ran out of gas in college? I, I lost. Count. I ran out. Uh, you know, and you'll know what I'm talking about. <laughs> Back there on Church Street, and you go up that big hill, and the RLTC place is on. The, I do. All right, so it's a stop sign at the top. It it's is. straight up. I ran out of gas in that <laughs> about three back from the stop sign, <laughs> and just back traffic all the way. <laughs> Probably the worst place, place you could run out of gas. That's, I don't know a, why. that's a good little. I'm kind of trying to think. There's nothing around there anywhere no. close to. No, I had to get, get somebody to come get me, and back then we had no cell phones. No. See, it's my terrible. dad put the fear of God in me that if some if I let this thing go on E. Then it was going to majorly tear up the car. Oh, okay. really? Yes, that's okay. what he, that's what he would. Hey, by the way, and I don't know if it would or not, but it it worked because I, I never. If, it, tore up the car up, if yeah. it got anywhere close to a quarter of a tank, I filled it up. Do y'all remember when people actually had to go like up to a house and knock on the door and ask, "Hey, can we use your phone?" Yes. Yeah, yeah. Because there were no cell phones. Back to your point, there yeah. were not. No, you say, "Hey, could I use your phone?" You or is there a pay somebody? phone somewhere? I tell you what, it was. I was a buddy of mine was in traffic, and he. That's I remember because he was like, "Hey, you need a lift?" I said, "Yeah, I got to get some gas." <laughs> he goes, "You're backing all the traffic." Up. You're mad, probably. Yeah. I did that mercy. Break so it wouldn't roll down the hill. <laughs> do y'all do right, y'all realize so that nobody's gonna go out there and look? Well, I'll go, I will go. I don't want anything. I'll go in the commercial break. Oh, we could just peek. let it run. Guess what? Just let it run. I mean, I. How about I let one run one time? I had to go to a funeral a couple years ago, hmm. and on my way, it was actually in Gadsden, and on my way, the um, I had to stop and get gas. I cut the car off. Well, when I cranked it back up, the it was struggling, and I thought I gotta go to Gadsden and back. I can't turn the car off. This thing's going to be dead. Mm-hmm. And so I just left it running the entire time during the funeral and then got back in the car and left. <laughs> really? Serious Everybody business. And dad was, bad. my dad was there too. And he was like, is your car out there running? I said, yeah, yeah. something wrong with the battery. I got to get back to Birmingham today. Right. Can't mess around. He says, so you're just leaving it running. I said, I am. Well, you don't want to chance. It's like an click, hour and I had click, plenty click, of click, gas. Click, click, click. I, I, hate that song. Um, I didn't want to be at a funeral. Somebody have to jump me off. Yeah. Right. And you see. Hey, that's yeah. good. Well, let's vote real quick. Are we being nosy and worried about it? I don't think we waste no concern. It ain't hurting nobody. No, but I'm but the curious. fact that there's now I'm curious. Four, That's the fact all that there's is. four cars in the parking lot. I, mean, I don't and, feel like and, nobody's in danger. You know, but I'm just yeah. curious why somebody's vehicle is out there running and it's been there. There's no telling how long. I tell yeah. you what I'll do all night. I tell you what I, mean, I, can I got do. it there all night. I tell you what I can do. I think from Saturday. <laughs> I'll go during the break and I'll pull my car next to it and get out. Oh. Like you know, they're, you know they're going to see you move because you're just a few <laughs> no, away. That's weird too. <laughs> just go look at What if I rode around the building a <laughs> few go. times there and then go. just pulled right back? And like you're leaving. It. Yeah. Come back. <laughs> and like I forgot something. <laughs> Could do that. Yeah, I like that. I like that. You want me to do that in the break? Sure. Okay. I got to find my key. Oh, here it is. <clears throat> and we could all wait till the sun came up, and just kind of look at it, or maybe, maybe. What? How about this? Before we do that, you want to walk the cluster hall and go, hey, is anybody's jeep out there running? And ask him I, no. in, in that same tone. <laughs> hey, is anybody's Jeep out there running? Hey, anyone? About to, anybody even here? Normally, everybody that's in the cluster doesn't. They don't park out here. Uh-uh. I know. All right, so you're going out, I guess. Rick and Bubba, Rick and Bubba. Guys, anyone listening tired of those bald spots? Did you know two out of three guys experience hair loss before they're 35? Do you really want to gamble with your hair? Well, you can flip the odds in your favor and save your hair with our friends at Keeps. 
Keeps has clinically proven FDA-approved hair treatments available online. Whether you're looking to prevent hair loss, stimulate hair growth, or take care of the hair you have, your Keeps physician will help you select the right products and develop a personalized hair-saving routine that works for you. It's easy with no waiting rooms or pharmacy visits. Keeps is delivered straight to your door at about half the cost, too, guys. And if you have questions, you can message your Keeps doctor 24-7. So, guys, if those balding jokes are wearing thin, join thousands of other guys who saved their hair. Visit Keeps.com slash Bubba for 50% off your first order. That's Keeps.com slash Bubba, K-E-E-P-S dot com slash Bubba. Hey, 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 hey! What's going on in here? Termites? This is my house. I'm in charge here. Hey! Oh, you're gonna regret that! All right, that's it. I'm calling Cooks. Yeah, you better run! You don't have to live with termites. Get proven protection from Cooks Pest Control. Call or go online for a free quote. Cooks Pest Control. Spring is finally here. Why not savor every moment? With HelloFresh, you get delicious, chef-crafted recipes featuring seasonal produce and spring's freshest flavors delivered right to your doorstep. So skip the trip to the grocery store and spend more time doing things outside you love. With 50 different weekly options, you can customize meals by swapping the proteins and sides. Sign up today for 16 free meals plus three gifts with the code Bubba at HelloFresh.com slash Bubba. As a small business owner, you don't have time to interview candidates who just aren't qualified for your role. LinkedIn Jobs makes it easier for you to find the people you want to interview faster and for free. Create a free job post in minutes on LinkedIn Jobs to reach your network and beyond. Every week, nearly 40 million job seekers visit LinkedIn. Post your job for free at linkedin.com slash Bubba. That's linkedin.com slash Bubba or head to rickandbubba.com under the sponsors. Terms and conditions apply. Terry was at her daughter's wedding for the weekend when she got a call from Simply Safe. Simply Safe had detected water in her basement just moments after the leak started. Protecting against floods is one of the reasons more than 4 million people trust their home protection to Simply Safe. With Simply Safe's 24 7 professional monitoring, you always have someone looking out for you. Go to simplysafebubba.com and claim a free indoor security camera, plus get $20 off with interactive monitoring. Simplysafebubba.com or visit rickandbubba.com. Your truck doesn't care where you stop for gas, so why are you using a card that only gets you fleet discounts at specific stations? You deserve A to B, the fleet fuel card that gives you discounts on every drop of fuel anywhere you fuel up. With A to B, there's no setup fee, no transaction fees, no monthly fee, no late payment fees, no over limit fees, no gallon limit. Seriously, apply today by going to a to b.com slash radio and get a $50 credit when you use their zero free card. That's a to b.com slash radio or head to rickandbubba.com. If you're a regular show listener, you've probably heard me talk about my all-form sofa, which we love. So here's some exciting news. The same team behind my all-form sofa has brought us unbelievable customized mattresses made in the USA. Helix mattresses. If you need a new mattress, then go to helixsleep.com slash bubba, take the quiz, order the mattress you're matched to, and it'll come right to your door in a box, ship for free, and you can try it for 100 nights. Right now, Helix is offering up to $200 off all mattress orders for our listeners at helixsleep.com slash bubba. Rob tried to manage his constipation with belly pain, discomfort, and bloating day after day. After realizing it was irritable bowel syndrome with constipation or IBSC, he found another way and finally said yes to adding Linzess. Linzess, or linaclotide, is a prescription medicine that treats IBSC in adults. Linzess works differently than laxatives. It lets you have more frequent and complete bowel movements and helps relieve overall abdominal symptoms, belly pain, discomfort, and bloating. These symptoms were studied in combination, not individually. Do not give Linzess to children less than two years old. It may harm them. Do not take Linzess if you have a bowel blockage. Get immediate help if you develop unusual or severe stomach pain, especially with bloody or black stools. The most common side effect is diarrhea, sometimes severe. If it's severe, stop taking Linzess and call your doctor right away. Other side effects include gas, stomach area pain, and swelling. There could be more to your story with IBSC. Talk to a doctor today. Say yes to Linzess. Learn more at linzess.com or call 1 800 L I N Z E S S. Sponsored by Abby and Ironwood Pharmaceuticals. Rick and Bubba's in Ohio! Rick and Bubba, Rick and Bubba. Pass the gravy, please. Rick and Bubba, Rick and Bubba. Ooh, it brings me to my knees. Rick and Bubba, Rick and Bubba. I can't start another. Rick and Bubba, Rick and Bubba. Day without him, brother. Rick and Bubba, Rick and Bubba. 
right, we're going to break. I mean, going to break. Coming out of break. Speeding. Uh, and it's 21 minutes past the hour. If you missed uh, the first segment, um, there is uh, some confusion here as part of the staff on uh, why there's a car running uh, outside our window. Um, I don't know that it's a security uh, concern. It's just odd that uh, when Greg got here, then I got here, then Helmsy got here, Adler uh, Bubba, uh, all come in going, what's going on out, outside? Why is there a car just running? And so, Greg, would you agree that it's been over oh, yeah. right at an hour and 15 minutes and it's still running outside? And probably longer than that, but we can we, we know that because yeah. that's when I got here. So, but it was we, running when I got here. We need closure, though, on, on what's going on and just peek in there. I, I do think we need to discuss uh, some things, and, and uh, we well, you, join you Helmsy want, now. You want Helms who, to take a flashlight and shine it in there? Helmsy has said that he will go out. Helmsy, are you there with us? I am. All right. Am. Um, we, all right. Bang on the window. Right now. Do what? What'd you say? Hold on. I'm not at there. I'm. I'm trying to find my inhaler. All oh, good. No. Bag. I need. I'm trying to get in. It's in hey. It's a good time for me to come out here anyway. Because I got to I got a trust call to come by to get some tennis rackets. Okay. So, okay. So, okay. Now I've got all that settled. Do uh-huh. you want me to get in, drive around, and pull next to it? Well, yeah. So I think you either get in, walk and, through the window, and and and. In. and, and, and and do that and let your lights kind of hit it, or I think you just walk over there and look at it just while, while getting you a, a I mean, puff even off if your somebody's inhaler. in there with it running, they shouldn't be offended you yeah. come look. Now, I do think we need to discuss some things. One, All right, I'm driving. I'm going to drive. Oh, he's driving. Okay, he's, he's going to switch. One, there's nobody in there. Two, somebody's asleep. Yeah, don't know why. They could be dead. Oh, speedy. Uh, what? Speedy. Oh, I hope I hope that's not the case. Good but nice. I mean, that's on the table. Isn't yeah, Helms just says I ain't going. What up there. What if somebody's had a, had a had some type of emergency and and they're in a handler? Well, there. you need to get out there then. Well, I, I'm just saying that's got to be that's something that we got to look at. Yeah. Or it could be that, you know, that uh, that maybe. Well, I, I'll stop. I'll just say the but just stop. Uh, yeah. But I'll say the top I'll three. Nobody's in there. Somebody's asleep, or somebody's had uh, like a bad medical something, and they're just been. What are you laughing? I'm not it's just you. A medical something. Well, I don't know. <laughs> what is a bad medical something? Heart attack. Well, that is bad. Yes. Stroke. Stroke. Okay. Hey, Huffer, calm down. Hey, by the way, it's building land a lot bigger than I thought. It was. Hey, hey, by the way, it sounds like you're chewing your phone a little yeah, bit. Yeah, you know, we make fun of the callers. You're right in there with them. Yeah. I'm not chewing a phone. Okay. Phones. Oh, you were. The truck looks good. The Rick and Bubba show truck. Oh, you riding around? Okay. Helmsy's now riding around. Like for some reason, he's moved parking spots, and they won't recognize his black truck. It is. Yeah, now, like it's he, now he's, he's just arrived. I didn't want to be that guy. <laughs> hey, when uh, you when you come by the cluster, can, when you come by the cluster and you look in those studios, is anybody in them? Um, just uh, to, hold on, I'm about to come hey, get you a look at my spare tire on my truck because <laughs> my tire is flat and I had yeah, to change it out. That's another story. That we big need to black get to. tire on there with all this. And I got nice rims on my truck, but except yeah. for that one. Why do you quit bragging? Well, I'm just <laughs> tires are real muddy, by the way. Yeah, I'm just going to staple while we're live. Um, all right, so uh, all right, here we go. There, 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 there he is. I see your truck. Get you a huff right, and pull so here up. We go. All right, we'll just listen to your play by play. Next to him and then back up. Okay. Okay, okay that's real good, buddy. All right, all right. We're just waiting to see if if you if what you say uh, you see. All right, so here, watch this. Mm-hmm. I think you go in there and just look. Don't just just peek in, you know, and just make sure nobody's in the nobody's back seat. What if somebody seriously? What if somebody's in there and what if I sit up real quick and scare him to death? <laughs> no, there's nobody in here, guys. All right, so you look. They're just a running jeep. Yeah, it's just a running jeep. All right, so nobody's right, see in the back unlocked. seat. And if it is, yeah. take a lap around the building. So nobody's now. in the back seat. No. See, yeah, see if they're like somebody's tied back. up in the back. And what if they're like tied up and they're like. I'm, I think they had, uh, they don't want, they've had battery problems and they didn't want to shut it off. Now, I don't know what the plan is, how long they're going to run it. You got them with battery problems? I do. All right. Some type of starting problem. <laughs> <laughs> it's taken me forever to get used to these backup cameras. That oh, I love uh-huh. them. Yeah. Oh, I love it too. But do you I trust the little lines? Do y'all trust the lines? I do. You do? I, I Probably do shouldn't. <laughs> the overhead view is the best one ever. Hey, buddy, you don't have to brag about your truck. I'll okay? be backing yeah, out, and, and Marty, Marty and Mr. Buddy will run into the camera. <laughs> will they, they really? While they're barking right. at my truck. All right, Helmsy, we'll come on back in. Uh, you, uh, hey, bang on the, the window real quick. Yeah, by the way, you're real smooth. Huh? Was that smooth? Yeah, it was real smooth. I, I like it. <laughs> You're making fun. No, no. I mean, you. Well, he got his tennis well, rackets huffing. And you got your inhaler. So. 
and the rackets for Calgary. All yeah. right, so you really did look. You really did look in. Yes, did y'all not see me? Did Greg not get up? No, and no, I, I was going to. And, and we we do have to to. I I did that thing where I took my hands and put them up against the window, like you know, oh, so I could yeah. really see good. Well, I yeah. wish somebody would have sat right over there. Hey, um, all right, well, come on in. All right, so all right, got a random there vehicle goes. that yeah, is goes. running, and I, I'm like y'all. We're talking about we got it. We're abandoned. talking about employees here. I've never seen anybody this time Ever. of day park out here. Ever. That's a new, and I think that's what's got us so startled. Is yeah, it a lot it, of construction? Is this somebody that, that showed up early for construction work? But where would they be, though? There's probably no right? way that you could forget your car's running, is there? Well, I don't know. I've done stuff like that. Yeah, you I have. This. Remember that time Rick left us at the airport and it was running? <laughs> <laughs> Do you remember that? They called him and said, hey, yeah. your truck's down here running. <laughs> and they couldn't get it to turn off. <laughs> I did one of these. Except you did? Really okay. In there. Right. So there ain't nobody in there. No. Bubba, we're nervous. trying to investigate for you. I was real nervous. Yeah, Bubba's come out. He's even got Bubba walking around. There was, huh? there was clear. He's looking. Look, he, he, now he goes out <laughs> he there. There he goes. Does, does he not believe us? I don't know. Why don't you carry one of those coyotes out there and scare them? Yeah, <laughs> set on the hood. Set it. on the hood. Yeah. When yeah. Come back. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Especially that weird one. Did you man. see if the door was unlocked? No, I started to, and I thought. Yeah, well, that's probably a little much. I thought, I thought that may trigger the bomb. That's on it. Uh, oh, yeah. You, now you, well, I mean, what else? I mean, you, you got to play right, everything. So, you know, what we got to. I, I do love how you said you would help, Greg, I after Helmsy was putting his life on the line. Now I got him putting his life on the line. Yeah. Is that you said you were going to look from the window and just, just look yeah, from in but here? I, I was in the conversation. Hey, I, guys, I'll look from in here. Okay. I, thanks, thanks. I got Greg. caught up in the conversation. <laughs> All right. Um, well, <laughs> there's other things that we need to discuss, but we still have a running Jeep, and the way this show is, until been, we get closure on something, we can't let it go. The rest go. of the day, I'm going to keep looking out the window and see if it's yeah. You know, at moving. this at this moment, it's been running for one hour and 30 minutes. Yeah. yeah That's least. a long time. We don't know, and I got him there least, all night. Yeah. I got since him it here. was running when I, I mean, when I got here. I got him here since Saturday. The, Speedy said it happened Saturday. <laughs> yeah. Do you think they went to Talladega? They and probably they met up. <laughs> But no, it may be that situation when they met somebody mm-hmm. like Rick. He left and his was still running. Yeah. He got on a plane, was in another state, <laughs> and they called from the airport and said, "Your truck's out here running. <laughs> what are you going to do?" I should have looked at the gas gauge to see how much gas was left in. Well, that's a little. Did fun. you try the handle seat belt? No. Uh, he asked me that a minute ago, Mister Not Paying Attention. All right, so do y'all agree that we walk the <laughs> hall? No, I did. We walk I the hall to. here in a few seconds and ask if there's. What if we talk to, nah, to another DJ here and they like, "Oh crap, that's mine. I didn't realize it was running." <laughs> I hope help? he don't sound like that. Or I don't want to help him. Why <laughs> that goofy? I'm not even gonna talk to him. <laughs> you almost said goofy. You almost said something yeah, I else. I did. All right, when we come back, Greg had to change his own tire yesterday, well, and he's got a spare on there, and it looks great. That and spare and, matches good. Don't <laughs> yeah, he looks really good. He's that guy in a truck with a spare. But at least you're a good, you know, tire changing oh, person. Tire you could do it. You knocked yeah, it out. I had to get it out. You know, because every vehicle is a different type of jack. Right, right. Every one. Right. Right, and then uh, that stupid lug nut you got that adapter for. I know. For. I hate that. I know. That's so people won't steal your tires. <laughs> I Greg. say steal them. <laughs> Rick and Bubba, Rick and Bubba. Mom. Now that seems like a pretty straightforward job description until you see them in action. Moms can switch from trauma nurse to five-star chef, organizer in chief to a thousand other titles, all in an afternoon. Moms run the world, so this Mother's Day, show her how much you appreciate her by going to 1-800-Flowers.com. Right now, 1-800-Flowers is offering $25 off two dozen assorted roses. Now, this gorgeous bouquet of two dozen roses and an assortment of bright colors is guaranteed to show all the moms in your life just how much they are loved. All roses from 1-800-Flowers are picked at their peak. They are shipped fresh to ensure lasting beauty. Order today from the official florist of Mother's Day, 1-800-Flowers.com. Get $25 off two dozen assorted roses by going to 1-800-Flowers.com. Click the radio icon, enter the code Bubba. That's 1-800-Flowers.com. The code is Bubba. Or go to rickandbubba.com. Look under the sponsors button. Inflation is rising. COVID hurt the economy. And some say a recession may be coming. Remember what the last recession did in 08 to your retirement? Yikes. I I think we all do. A Federal Reserve survey broke some bad news dating back to the 50s. Whenever inflation and unemployment have hit today's levels, history suggests a recession may be near. 
Well, our friends at Lear Capital know that investing in physical gold and precious metals can be a brilliant strategy against what's possibly coming. Smart investors all over are investing in gold and precious metals, and they're doing it for two reasons. One is that gold can be a great hedge during a recession. The second reason is that the closer a recession gets, the more your gold could be worth. So talk with the team at Lear Capital about owning precious metals for your savings and retirement accounts. And right now you'll receive up to $10,000 in free bonus coins based on the value of the gold coins you purchase. Visit LearBubba.com. That's L-E-A-R Bubba.com or RickandBubba.com. God's been too good to me. And because of that, I've got to make a choice at this Gridiron Man Conference. Phil Waldrop Ministries presents the 2022 Gridiron Men's Conference. Two dynamic days, June 17 and 18. Probst Arena in Huntsville, Alabama. Featuring Fred Luter and Tim Tebow. How many people can we love in the name of Jesus? How many people can we help in the name of Jesus? That's the goal. Nothing else is the goal. Nothing else matters. The 2022 Gridiron Men's Conference. Hear dynamic speakers like Phil Waldrip and Kirk Cameron. If I can try to get my part right, maybe I will be used as sort of a vessel to bring about change in my spouse over time. Maybe I can lead by example, and that'll bring some sort of transformation to my relationship if I'm patient. Don't miss the Gridiron Men's Conference, Huntsville, Alabama, June 17 and 18. Register today at gridironmen.org. That's gridironmen.org. Presented by Phil Waldrop Ministries. As a small business owner, you don't have time to interview candidates who just aren't qualified for your role. LinkedIn Jobs makes it easier for you to find the people you want to interview faster and for free. Create a free job post in minutes on LinkedIn Jobs to reach your network and beyond to the world's largest professional network of over 770 million people. Then add your job and the purple hashtag hiring frame to your LinkedIn profile to spread the word that you're hiring so your network can help you find the right people to hire. Simple tools like screening questions make it easy to focus on candidates with just the right skills and experience so you can quickly prioritize who you'd like to interview and hire. LinkedIn Jobs helps you find the candidates worth interviewing faster. Did you know every week nearly 40 million job seekers visit LinkedIn? Post your job for free at linkedin.com slash Bubba. That's linkedin.com slash Bubba. Terms and conditions apply. Don't you wish fixing your car was simple? Cars today have more tech than the first spaceship that landed on the moon. It's guaranteed that something's going to break, and that's why we have a protection plan through CarShield. Look, when we need a repair, we choose the mechanic and CarShield administrators take care of everything else. Plans through CarShield even provide rental car options as well as roadside assistance and trip reimbursement all that at no extra cost getting coverage is as easy as one two three one contact car shield for your free quote two tell them about your vehicle three choose the type of protection you need that's it look i love my car i I don't want to replace it even if i did used car prices right now are outrageous new cars are impossible to find. So whether your car has 5,000 or 150,000 miles, Car Shield has options to fit your budget. Get coverage today by going to carshield.com slash Bubba. Uh, also go to rickandbubba.com. Look for the sponsors link. A deductible may apply. Rick and Bubba's in Ohio! Rick and Bubba, Rick and Bubba. Pass the gravy, please. Rick and Bubba, Rick and Bubba. Ooh, it brings me to my knees. It is 25 minutes until top of the hour. Thank you so much for tuning in to the uh, kickoff hour here on the Rick and Bubba Show. All right, so from from this past weekend, apparently something happened to Bill Bubba Bussy that he says, guys, I have a story from this past weekend that you don't want to miss. So um, to keep it to keep it true. Uh, the staff has said, "Okay, don't don't tell us anything." Yep. And so we're gonna we're you're gonna hear our honest reaction because we don't know what we're happened. We're staying tuned, just like yeah. you. We think it had to do something with the woods and and something else. I don't know, and but water. anyway, and he's walking a little gingerly. I don't know if you noticed, yeah. like maybe something happened. Yeah. Uh, so uh, anyway, be looking for that. Uh, we had. Uh, 
Uh, the guys out speaking this past weekend with Man Church. We got updates from the road there. Uh, Greg went to Talladega. Uh, I had an extremely busy weekend with uh, my youngest son and the prom uh, pictures. Oh, the prom. We got we had all kinds of crazy things going on. Uh, a real quick update, and then we're going to get to uh, Greg having a flat tire and having to change it. Um, yes. We went and just walked the cluster, and there's nobody has a red Jeep that's running out there. Uh, so it's it's just still running. Uh, we don't know what's going on. Helmsy went and looked. Uh, it's bothering all of us just because we want closure on it. Yeah. So uh, maybe it's uh, maybe it's back to what Greg said. Maybe it's one of those construction guys up there, and he Could can be. see he can see it from up top, and he knows his car's running. Possibly. I I, now I got him looking at it. I don't know. He got here early if it was. Um, <laughs> but Greg came in and said, "Hey, you like my tire?" And I, and I'm like, "What?" Of course, I'm half asleep. At least I, I see the running. Size. I see the running Jeep, but I don't see. That you it's have a spare. On, At least uh, it's full size. Yeah. You know, yeah. it ain't one of them little bicycles. But it doesn't look like the others. But. So this wasn't a, a sudden flat tire. This one's had no, a slow leak I've on had, it. And I've even had people look at it and they can't find the leak. But it would only drop just, like it may get below. <laughs> you you get the, the warning would come on. Uh -huh. I'd pull yeah. in and it would last a couple of weeks. Yeah. Well, i come out Saturday. I actually was fishing to leave and go to the race. And uh, my tire was flat. Uh -oh. oh, no. So I left it and just let Lee drive. Little Lee had to drive. Yeah, he, he come did. get you? Yeah, we were meeting at my house anyway. Oh, okay. But anyway, so of course, so yesterday morning I'm thinking, well, I got to do something, mm -hmm. you know. So I, I got mean, I'm talking about it's down on the rim. It's, oh yeah, okay. it's completely fine. Mm. So I, here you go. You know, every every vehicle is jacks different, oh, and the yeah. handles and all blah. You yeah. got to get the tire down. Right. You had one of them cranks. Mm -hmm. Of course, there was a lock over that. You had to unlock to get to the crank. Oh yeah, it's Mr. Buddy licking your ear while you're trying to. Key, how you fobbed? Because I got thinking first. I said, well, I don't have a key. Then I remembered you yeah. do have it. And you fob. Anyway. So, uh, but yeah, I don't know what. So I had to, what well, you know, it, it got me watching the pit crew Saturday. Probably fired me up. Yeah. Well, you, know. you got some yeah, experience and, yeah. earlier in the week. We did the uh, Honda yeah, Indy Grand Prix of Alabama uh, tire yeah, changing Yeah, but they actually did all the hard work for us. On they that. did. They so, jacked it up and everything. Yeah. I'll give you that. But anyway, I got <laughs> on there and it doesn't look. What was funny where I parked my truck at the house? The minute you, you can, I park it and it, that side was facing the road. And we went to see the grandkids yesterday, and when we got home that afternoon, the minute we looked, you could see that big giant black tire on the uh -huh. back. Yeah. And it looked good. I, yeah. In fact, I may leave it because it looks so sharp. Right. But I guess today I'm going to let somebody else look at the other uh, tire and see if they can find the leak in it because I've had a couple of people look at it, and they they can't seem to find it. But it, it uh, something's leaking now. Yeah. Yeah. So maybe whatever it is is actually it will be obvious now since right. it's completely. I'd like to get some behind the I've scenes. I've looked at it, and I can't find anything mm -hmm. in it. Uh, was Mr. Buddy and Marty there while you were changing your tire? No, nah, Mr. Buddy was. Marty was. Uh, he Did was he leave you alone, or he think when you got down, he was time he, to play? At first, he he got on my nerves. I yeah. had to push him away. Yeah, I thought he was so. licking on my head and everything. <laughs> you know, right on my neck. Well, he thought you Daddy know, Daddy's he, getting down on the knee. It's time yeah, to he play. Always wrestling. Right. He didn't yeah. know you had a flat tire. I didn't know I didn't no, have time didn't. for any uh, foolishness. Um, did you have any major issues where you kind of got mad? No, I didn't. Everything went great. I, I hate that stupid safety lug where you got to put the adapter because I mean, I almost rather somebody steal my tire. Than, than now is yours it was yours the kind that uh you had to you had to you had to kind of turn like a wheel oh yeah okay you didn't scrape your knuckles on the concrete mm, no i had a good aim okay that's good Look, you get locked up some and you get oh you get out of whack and you have to get back yeah going. No, it takes forever to get it, it does to, when it, it finally does. gets there. and yeah. then you got to let it all the way back down you, do, you to, do. to put it back where it goes and that takes forever and you stop you stop too soon because you're like oh it's high enough yeah, now and, it, and then yeah, it's and not it's never <laughs> You always got to go back and hit it a couple more licks. So, uh, so your tires in the back. But of the it went truck. smooth. And I, look, I didn't, I didn't like scrape my knuckles. You know how you do mm -hmm. that always. Here's the good thing you got going for you. You can go buy your tire changing place and leave the tire with them because you could keep your spare on, couldn't you? I could. But I mean, now everybody's probably gonna say you don't don't be riding around without I'm a spare. I give you that. Today. But I mean, you could always drop it off somewhere close to the house and let them work on it. And then well, I mean, comes out, come back. Just work on it while I'm there. Oh, you want? I just yeah. trying to help you from not having to wait. Well, it hey. depends on for busy. They're not busy. You're not going. I was just normally. Thinking, so you want to sit there for two help. hours? No, That's but fine. every now it may be wrong today, depending on where I go. But normally I pull up and they go, "Yeah, man, let me say that." Oh, oh it's maybe. Greg Burgess. We got to take care of this. Oh, yeah. No, it's just guys, they have enough. This guys, is about. Greg's here. No, it's just they have enough people. They don't make you wait. Yeah. Hey, ma'am. Sorry, going to be two hours. Greg's here. Greg's here. He's got the white Hendrick truck. Never mind. He's a Hendrick. Driver, he is. He's Get also, out of the way. He's also a Burgess. How about the high country? You know, Burgess is a royalty here. Okay. <laughs> Never mind. His dad's Coach Burgess. Never mind. Just forget it. <laughs> okay. I'm not getting it. Fixed. He knows Riley Green. Oh. oh. <laughs> they hung out Saturday night at Dega.
Not true. <laughs> <laughs> Little Lee Hubbard, you know that lumber company in Piedmont? Yeah, he, That's his buddy. Yeah. Um, so how was Talladega? It was good. It was, you know, do you remember when they, I guess, and then the pandemic hit, but when they brought the the computer generated of the Talladega garage experience that they were building? Yes. The restaurant. Very nice. And the, actually the cars are in there getting worked mm. on. He can sit there and eat and yes, hang out and watch it. Nice. Got his own booth. Yeah. No, and it was packed. <laughs> so that's what y'all that was the same. We you were the in Saturday. field. You weren't grandstands. You were in yeah, field. Yeah, okay. <laughs> in that little experience there, but um, the, in that place was Saturday and it was packed, and uh, and I think they had a huge crowd turnout. They did. It's probably the first since you know we had pandemic with nobody, and then we had limited. Yeah, they had. I think it was the last one they actually opened it up. I don't remember, but this may be the full, you know, first full time, and even. The timing when they built that garage experience was right before everything hit. So just now, I think, but it's it's awesome because it. I remember when we were watching that day and they were showing how it was going to be, mm-hmm. and it's it's really they've made it. They've well, I know Lee had not been. So what when he left? What was his? What would he? What he, 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 he th- it was pretty. It was good. And here's the cool thing is, and we've had Jeffrey Earnhardt on the show before. They had Richard Childress in the Xfinity race put a number three, black number three, and put him in it. And he, he came in second. Wow, he wow. was on the pole huh. because he's got pretty good equipment. You know, but, It's good uh, to see that three running around, isn't it? Yeah, and, uh, and you know, I mean, like I say, we've had him on the show before. He, you know, he never had a quality ride, yeah. and, but he had a good car, and yeah. he, he drove it well. He, I mean, come at, at the end, he came from like sixth and ended up finishing second. So. Oh, wow. But it was fun. Like I said, I loved whatever, you know, Xfinity Series or Cup Series. Yeah. Now, I didn't go back Sunday. I went to see the grandkids yesterday and spent yeah. time with them. Yeah. So was Little Lee like, hey, I can't believe I hadn't done this all my life. Yeah, because being he so time. close. Yeah. I know. And then we went and watched uh, Riley, and we went. A lot of people I knew were there because, mm-hmm. you know, we all live in the same area, so we all know the same people. And <clears throat> he, he put on a good show. Did and, he? Uh, like I said, I can remember – the time wasn't that long ago and he was playing in the campground mm-hmm. down there. They just set their own thing up, but down there yeah. in turn yeah. three <laughs> and uh, now he's headlining. He, he did a good job. Now where, where did the live act set up on the infield? They have a big stage They do over okay. on the back stretch and that field and the people are in the field and they have a, a real pretty good size stage. That's good. So, so Riley Green and, and did that, did the concert start at dark or was it a little early? It or? was, it was dark. It was dark. Yeah. That's wow. cool. Up late. Long day, huh? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, we didn't get there that early. We got okay. there right before the Xfinity race. So, because we oh, needed oh, no okay. sense of going early if we're going, you know what? Because yeah. that would have been a little much. Yeah. But yeah. Saw a lot of people I hadn't seen in a while. Well, that's good. We had a good time. That's good. And from the infield, because uh, I got to be I'm honest with you here, I've always watched it from the grandstands. Yeah, I've too. never watched it. Is it hard to follow the race, or can you pretty much get a good idea of what's going on? Yeah, you, you can go to different parts and we'll just watch this turn for a while. Which, you know, you're not going to, you know, they have the big screen up, but you're, mm-hmm. you're I mean, you're not going to see the start finish line or anything. Can you like see that. the travel from where you were? Uh, at by the, the, yeah, at the garage experience. You could. Right there in the okay. travel, right behind Pit Road. How about you sitting a, there just eating, hanging point. out, and yeah, watching? You got pit road and you got the trial. That's that's a good seat. That's cool. That's cool. But yeah, they've got that place because I've been going there since it was just a dust bowl. Yeah, and it's so nice now. I mean, everything's clean. It's just like I say, it used to be when you left, you look like you'd been in a <laughs> dust storm. Yeah, you know. But not now. No, it's not awesome. now. It's, and, and the racing, you saw the the cup race. Yeah, the highlights of it. It's, the drivers don't like being that close, but it's from a fan perspective. It's the best race. If you game. haven't, we'll, for the main show, we'll, we'll kind of play uh, some highlights. But uh, Ross Chastain won uh, the NASCAR Geico 500 at the uh, Talladega Super Speedway on a last lap pass that involved wrecks, people going up against the wall, yeah. sliding through the travel. It was uh, it was a mess, nine. but he just kept going straight and got out it front. It all happened behind him. Yeah. Uh, and uh, it did not disappoint. So we'll have that update during the main show. Uh, also, I understand the USFL uh, did well Saturday night. Right. Birmingham won. Oh, they uh, did. The Stallions, yeah, they're two and up. I watched the end of that game. You did. Like four minutes left. Go ahead. I did. We'll be right back. Rick and Bubba. Rick and Bubba. That whatever he does, I can't call it uh, its right name because I can't jiu-jitsu. say it. So what did you say? Brazilian I call it jiu-jitsu. judo. Yeah, br- Brazilian jiu-jitsu. Yeah. Yeah. Or as Adler was wanting to call it. Oh, what a doll. He... <laughs> what? Guys, I'm in the front room. World. Making up games doesn't appeal to me as much because I like to see the strangeness of other yeah. you know, of, of other sports around the world. That that thing in India where they get out there and go crazy. Kadabi. Yeah, and, and, and the, that's uh, been going on for what, four thousand years? Yeah, that's what they said. Yeah. See, I want to see Gracious. that kind of stuff that, that I don't Kadabi Dabi. 
You know, I, I remember. Yeah, actually, actually, see, I remember like when ESPN first started, they didn't have Ooh. enough programming to fill, so we'd get things like Australian football. Oh right. yeah, Rick, Rick, remember when they score? Yeah, and yeah. and, 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 I, and I, I enjoy ha- you know dabbling in that a yeah. little bit, something <laughs> bizarre, as opposed to we're trying to make up games that you might make up at a party. Yeah, I'm not as I'm not as intrigued. Like by ping it. pong with your head. Yeah, that yeah. but but yeah. there's something funny about yeah, that funny. just from a comedy standpoint. It has its right. own. Because think about this: whatever we make up could become reality. Because, you know, the the Ocho. Take that for example. It it was made up. It was a comedy bit, and yeah. now mm-hmm. for one day a year, it's a reality. Yeah. Is it was it only one day? Can we yeah. still go see any of yeah. it? Or eight. Is it, eight. So there's no way to go back and relive it. Well, I'm sure so. Well, yeah, I mean, you, there's highlights we're rolling now on RBTV, but now, there, that, there, now is what a, is this called? Hedis? That's Hedis, Yeah. <laughs> see, that's <laughs> not real. That is uh, table tennis, but you play with your head. But see, it ought to be. That's good. I mean, <laughs> how about this? Those for, are the for only a, two people who play head. For for a sport that really doesn't exist, they have developed a fairly high level of ability with it. Oh, right. we used to do that. Oh, rock up. paper scissors. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. You had that. So, um, I mean, funny. Ha, 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 but we had the juggling dodgeball we were just showing, the uh, Kadabi, which we just talked about. Um, and then this here uh, is basically volleyball, you, but you play it with your, your feet. That's so it's kick, it's kick so volleyball. So it's like soccer and volleyball tied together. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> How okay. about that celebration? How about the names, too? Yeah. yeah. Wow. But but the pretty fact impressive. they can get their feet up that high and all just for a publicity yeah. stunt, I mean, that's that, that, that that, amazing. That block yeah. right there was incredible. <laughs> some, really other, was. some other stuff, and I didn't know this. Did you know that they had a chess boxing league? Chess boxing is weird, so, but it begins with a chess game lasting three minutes. Each boxer has a total of nine minutes for the total chess game, but the chess game is interrupted by five bouts of three-minute boxing rounds. I so, like so in a I chess game, it's I called played, chess. Boxing. So, is this real or is this a made up? It is uh, c uh, wcbo <laughs> dot org. There's Probably a chess boxing up. organization. What about the Garden Teller race? Yes, we that, that, I did not see that. that. Is, we got footage of that. that is, I heard uh, this, that was awesome. This is footage of um, Tiller some racing. Some of them are souped up. Too. Yeah, some of them are pretty souped up, and and you basically just run by. <laughs> oh and, no! And oh no! <laughs> he got it. Rick, oh, look at that one. <laughs> wow! And uh, they are. I mean, they're running as fast as they can. With a tiller. Boy, they're yes, tilling, too. Yes, sir. There's yes, some souped-up tillers. You see the dust oh, behind them? Good Boy, night. I tell you, if you fall and that thing gets on you, that could be bad. Mm-hmm. No, that's a lot <laughs> of tiller was, right there. I wish that, that was Adler running oh, right females there. Females are in it, too. Oh, that's yeah. a lot of tiller. That is. It is. Look at that. What was that we saw? That all- may be the funniest one I've seen yet. Do you yeah. remember the, the the competition? It was on the other day. It didn't have nothing to do with Ocho. When the, we covered it one time when the man carries the woman and they race and he mm-hmm. has to hold her over. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And they're, <laughs> remember how weird that was? Yes. Oh, yeah. It's very strange. Very, very strange. <laughs> it, it, you, oh, didn't oh, you yeah. towed Adler around? What was it? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. He, um, you basically hold him upside down. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And then it's like you you're going. It's like a, it's like a mutter. It's like a mutter, yeah, but you're but holding somebody upside down and you're running. Yeah, yeah. I don't, yeah. I don't know if two guys need to do that. Uh, you had Premier League darts. Of course, you had cornhole. You had, um, you had some eating championships. Uh, you had um, Johnsonville Brat. Uh, you had uh, Crystal World. It, it, it showed the lineup. It started at midnight and ran all the way through. And you had the Kadabi at one o'clock. That's probably what you saw, uh, Helms. He was at a restaurant and saw that. Yeah, uh, the world, legit. the world sumo challenge. Uh, sumo wrestlers mm-hmm. got just after. Just sumo wrestlers. Yep, just sumo did wrestlers. Did you? Did you mean Johnsonville brought? He did. What I say? He Brat. Said Brat. Yeah, yeah. I, yeah. Saw, I thought um, they had a bunch of little kids. Was, it, was there, there, they didn't know eat, how to act? Is that, yeah. a, is that an eating contest or something? Uh, yeah, yeah. yeah. See, I don't like eating contests. Uh, you That's had, a different uh, category. It shouldn't be in this. Uh uh-uh. uh Let's see what else you had. You had flat track derby, women's flat track derby. What are they doing? I saw a video of this. Let me try to find it here. I mean, it's no garden tiller race, but I bet it's good. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Oh, the, look, there's a sumo sumo wrestlers here. There's the darts. It's over there giggling, aren't you, buddy? Um, <laughs> and let's see here. Through it. <laughs> yeah. Tw- tweet away, Brad. Uh, hey, Brad. by the way, um, <laughs> I, I saw I saw um, I saw some of the. Uh, The gravy, please. Rick and Bubba, Rick and it is 10 minutes until top of the hour. Thank you so much for tuning in to this kickoff hour on the Rick and Bubba Show. Very, very busy show today, so you don't want to miss any of it. We have some stories from the weekend and a whole lot more. This portion of the Rick and Bubba Show is sponsored by carshield.com slash Bubba. You know, 
Some things in life are simple to understand, and getting protection from carshield.com slash Bubba is a no-brainer. They offer plans for around 100 bucks a month and cover more parts than ever. And when you need a repair, you choose the mechanic and the shop, and their administrators handle the rest. It's that simple. No paperwork, no headaches. It's great. Uh, and uh, plans even provide rental car options as well as roadside assistance and trip reimbursement. Uh, so uh, let the folks uh, that have helped millions of drivers uh, help you. That's why they're America's number one auto protection company. They get uh, get you covered, and it's easy. Uh, just contact them at carshield.com slash Bubba for a free quote. You can join us and get covered today at carshield.com slash Bubba or call 1-800-391-8888. That's 1-800-391-8888 to save 10% on your plan. So you can take, uh, save 10% by using carshield.com slash Bubba or by calling that number 800-391-8888. Save 10% at carshield.com slash Bubba or rickandbubba.com under the sponsors button. There's a direct link there. All right, so uh, a couple of things uh, from this past weekend. RBU, Dan Parker, getting a lot of uh, really great emails and uh, um, feedback from this po- this podcast. It was a great podcast. If, if you do not uh, know what we're talking about, uh, you need to go where you listen to your podcast or go to our YouTube channel uh, and uh, make sure that you check out uh, Dan Parker on Rick and Bubba University, our podcast. It's a unique podcast that we do once a week. Uh, that's outside of what we do for the main show, so check that out. Also today, Charity Charge Day, benefiting Make-A-Wish Alabama. Uh, Make-A-Wish Alabama. They uh, really want to help restore hope to about 280 children here in our state uh, that are waiting on wishes, and um, uh, we feel like that the Charity Charge can help them reach that goal. Uh, So, And and, and how about April is their anniversary of Make-A-Wish Alabama's first wish granted uh, and they started this back in 2012, uh, and they've granted over a thousand wishes since the chapter's founding. So uh, we are supporting them this month in our charity charge. It's Make a Wish Alabama, uh, as uh, you can go to participating Buffalo Wild Wings, and 10% of food sales go to the charity charge. All right, so there's a story that we're trying to get our minds around. Uh, by the way, Jeep's still running. Uh, there's <laughs> yeah. a story that we're trying to get our minds around about a Canadian <laughs> college's um, a tenure uh, track. Uh, position. What is that? Is that a track coach? We call uh, it tenure I, track position. I, I, I don't know, but they, they they have opened this job up, but it's only available to certain people. Okay, I thought that was maybe against the law. But. Yeah, I thought so too. I thought it was. I thought that was. Um, I thought that was against the law. It says here, Canadian colleges uh, tenure track position open, but only for women, transgender, non-binary. Or, and this is what's got us. Two, no, no, people that self-identify as a woman. Okay. Whatever that means. Okay. Does that mean men that think they're women? I don't know. It just says for only a women, transgender, non-binary, or two <clears throat> spirit people. Yeah, it says. What is a spirit? Two pe- individuals who self-identify as women, transgender, non-binary, and two spirit. So self-identify as women, it could be a woman? I don't know. Or would that just be I'm a woman? Or anybody I self identifies as a I'm woman? so confused on all these titles and this new one that got my attention. This two spirit thing, I'm not even sure what that is. I don't. I don't know. I got an explanation and it and it made I felt no better about it. I, I had no understanding after I read what it said. It was. It still is so confusing. Chaos is what we got. Two spirit is a gender variant that derives from Native American culture. Mm-hmm. Okay. Traditionally, Native American two spirit people were male, female, oh. and sometimes intersex individuals who combine activities of both men and women with traits unique to their status as two-spirit people. Now, what does that mean? Hmm. That's what I just yeah, – that clear it up for you? No, <laughs> not really. So, uh, I, uh, I'm I, sitting here trying to read more on this. I'm so confused of what of what it means that self-identify as a woman. I'll so, tell you, if you're a man, you better not show up. No. I'll tell you that. But, but no, you could be trans. You could be a man that thinks that's that, a, a that's, female that, or a man that thinks he's a, yeah. Well, then you're that you're not. Wouldn't man. that be trans, transgender? Yeah, yeah but I'm right? saying if you just call yourself a guy. So like, if let's say if you're just hey, I'm a guy, and I kind of like to be the track coach. You can't do that, that. Ain't unless you and you walked up and said I, I'm a wo- I want to identify as a woman. But I, I like right. I so I Caitlyn Jenner could could try to, to go for this position. Right. Yeah, I guess is what Caitlin I'm trying to say. Identifies a woman or, or is that transgender? 
I don't know. Gosh, I'm mighty. I can't figure it out. They I keep adding know. names. Who's on first? Now we got Two Spirit in there. I was confused enough. Yeah. Now all of a sudden we got a Native American Two Spirit thing. Why do you think they they felt led to to do the Two Spirit? Uh, is it Waterloo University of yes. Waterloo <clears throat> in Canada? Well, I tell you, they can complicate it. I'm not, you know, just but the it. story is it's only the the position is only open <clears throat> for these these individuals. Yeah, self identifying women. Transgender, non-binary, or two-spirit people. Two-spirit, which is the new one to me. I wish your name was Two-Spirit. <laughs> that that would be good. Yeah. Um, wow. But I'd never heard of the Two-Spirit person. No. Or, or whatever the variant. What's that? What's it called variant? Whew. It's clear, clear as mud. Guys. It says here, even though yeah. the University of Waterloo is a public institution that prohibits discrimination based on gender. Well, evidently they don't. It can implement special programs under this uh, Ontario this Human program. Rights Code that's designed to help people who experience hardship, economic uh, disadvantage, inequality, discrimination. In case those who self-identify as women, transgender, non-binary, or two-spirit. Okay. Okay. Got it. All right, Waterloo. And I read you what Two Spirit was, and, it, and I still have no idea. What yeah, I know. I see it here too. I, I'm just so confused. Uh, so Two Spirit that those are people that that were male, female, and then so that's one spirit, and then sometimes intersexed individuals who combine activities of both men and women. I don't know. And then and and traits that are unique to their status as Two Spirit people. So we got multiple spirits. What if it's a spirit out there in the Jeep? Oh. Ooh. Ooh. Or a two spirit. Yeah. Three. Could be a six spirit. I don't it know. Could. It could. Wow. That's a good that's a good call right way, there, my friend. Sun's coming up. It's I know. Really We're gonna, gonna be, be able, able to really be able to see now. Pay attention to what's going on. Yeah, now. probably should have waited till now to look in. Probably. But um That'd have made more sense. Probably, yeah. Uh so anyway, that's there for you. <laughs> Did you see that we had another person set themselves on fire? Uh, oh, that's always good. In note. front of the Supreme Court on Earth Day. <laughs> Climate Let me tell you something. You committed to your cause if you <laughs> torch yourself. Yeah. Uh, how do you, I mean, that's got to. That's not natural. He, uh, climate activist fifty, has died after lighting himself ablaze wow. in front of the Supreme Court on Earth Day, uh, Friday. Uh, and um, uh, I don't. I don't really understand this one. I want to show awareness, so I'm gonna set myself on fire. Do y'all get that? Wow. I don't. Wow. That's like I said. You. You really. Oh, and and you don't want to see the video. It's just oh, it's I, just I can't awful. watch it. No, no you're right. No, I don't. I can't watch that. Mm-mm. Wow, can't do it. Can't do it. Won't do it. So they got a video out there. Yeah, it's a video. Everybody running to him. Oh boy. Mm. You know this is this is not the first time it's happened. I mean, sadly, the story goes on to say there was other individuals that that want to set themselves on fire. I I, I mean, look, if, if let's say I'm really committed How to a are cause, you me by setting don't ask me to fire. set myself on fire and go, hey, you know what? We really need to draw attention to this, and I am done with it. So, you know, where's the lighter? Not it's doing kinda, it. I, not almost, doing it. Uh, kind of like I know, not near severe, but it's like the hunger hunger strike people. How are you hurting people that you're opposed by hurting yourself? Right. They're going, well, good. Now I ain't got to deal with you. I know. I don't know. All right. Well, I uh, wish we had the Jeep thing uh, resolved, but we don't. So it just continues. Mm-hmm. Uh, but I, I see where Alabama's finest has become rid- riding by a couple yeah, of times. Yeah, I've noticed that too. Uh, thank you, guys, men and women serving the community. Uh, all right. We'll be right back. Rick and Bubba join us. Rick and Bubba, Rick and Bubba. Who was it? Jason... Um, the the guy that that does the commentating what's his name the Jason actor Jason Bateman yes thank Justin you Justin Bateman just is it Justin Jason, or Jason Jason's Jason's the girl Justin's yeah, the girl yeah Jason uh, he Good I guess thing. was on there too uh, but uh, I know he was he proud was to the, come back and relive that role yeah you know um, I asked him about that when I met him that time and he he was he was kind of laughing about it because of all of the movies he had done up to that point he said boy I get a lot more dodgeball <laughs> isn't that funny and he said I shot my scenes before lunch one day. Isn't that funny? <laughs> yeah. wow, he said, I showed up like at eight, shot mm-hmm. my scenes, and was out of there by lunch. Now, Good Greg, night. there's actually a league. Good. Speaking of sports uh, that are a little off the beaten path, good news for you, my friend. Um, I know you, how big a fan you are of Little Papa Pump. Uh, little Papa <laughs> Pump <laughs> has had back surgery, and he is coming back to wrestle again for all of his fans in the Boaz, Alabama area. He's and, back, and Greg, they're they're telling us, and I they're told you. and look, I'm just simply quoting from the 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 card and the promotion. It, Greg's made this point over and over. If the M word has to be removed completely from our society, 
He's waiting on the little wrestlers to do that themselves, and they have it. Yeah. It's still called Midget Wrestling. Hmm. Great. And featuring Little Papa <laughs> Pump. And Little Papa Pump is back. So he had a little downtime. He got hurt. Greg, I've got to ask this. How in the world are they not are they having this event and you're not the ring announcer? I you know, agree. I, that would that be good. It seems like a crime. I mean, you it? are Michael Buffer in this world. You know? Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know, Hams Mac Daddy had said one time that he wanted me and him to go. He did. So. <laughs> he did. Golly, I wish I would do that's that. All, hey, that's on his bucket list. This would <laughs> be great. Look, this is a quote from the story promoting the event. Professional wrestling fans who enjoy watching midgets wrestle We'll have an okay. opportunity Saturday night when the 431 Sports Arena brings them back to Boaz. The back, Rick, mm, bring, bringing them back. Golly. I wonder right. if they're going to have a midget brawl. You know, when they have it like it's yeah. the multiples. Right. right. Mm-hmm. And, uh, Greg, some of the other notables, <laughs> Little Papa Pump, Little Patty McGregor, <laughs> and Little Mr. Kennedy. I could be a team builder, Helmsy. <laughs> we could just well, go I'd road trip. Uh, the 431 Sports, huh? Sports Arena. Huh? That is correct. <laughs> We're going to start doing podcasts from Midget Wrestling oh, stuff. Oh, y'all. They do want you to know that the arena is also available for birthday parties. Well, sure it is. Can you get Little Papa Pump to come to the party at the right price? The promoter says he will prohibit alcohol and vulgar language this time. <laughs> this time. <laughs> this where time. Is, uh, where this is, now uh, he's going to ruin it. Where is Little Papa Pump based out of? We've met where Little his... Papa Pump in the studio. <laughs> yes, yeah, yeah, where, where is his home base, though? I don't know. I bet it's in that area. He's in the Huntsville area. I got a feeling. Phone calls are coming up next. Whatever you want to talk about, 866-WE-BE-BIG. There's flat track derby right there. Yeah? Okay. I'm getting after it. Oh, I don't, I don't like it. <laughs> what is it? It's roller derby on a flat track. We got a... Are they KOing each other? Oh, yeah. There's been some big hits. Lines are available. We'll chat with you after this. 866-WE-BE-BIG. You're running the show next. Rick and Bubba, Rick and Bubba. Thank you very much. Bubba, Super Time, the engineer, is joining us as uh, we start the hour. Obviously, we've got some things going on here. we got a big announcement coming up here in a, in a, before too terribly long. We'll be letting all of you know about. Got to do some work about that, uh, and then we'll be ready to announce it. But um, uh, it'll, it'll come out sooner than later. Uh, Tom's doing a little work, and Bubba, he comes in with a bad report from the tower side. Mm. Mm. Bubba, I haven't even told you. You know, yesterday you and I were talking yeah. about uh, yeah. doing hunting and moving feeders and seeing that snake last year. Well, about two and a half, three hours later, I'm, I'm at my tower site. And look, this is a nice compound. Crusher Rock Everywhere Fence. Mm-hmm. One of the nicer ones. You would appreciate it. I thought about you. You're at the big one? No, I'm at a different one. Okay. But I'm there. So I am uh, step up on the on the little step riser, and I open the little combination, get the key out, go in, drop my stuff off, come back, step on the step, go back to the truck. And as I cut the corner... Satan's hand puppet's got her head poking out looking at me. Uh, um, where at? From where? where? It, it's up in uh, Jasper, Jasper. No, I mean, but where? Oh, under the step? Uh, oh, or? under the step. Behind, between the step and the building. Yeah. And Just poking uh, around. So I'm thinking it's passing through, but I can't let her go. I've got to take care of it. That's right. So as I'm looking, I'm going to do what I'm going to do. It. So I didn't have anything. I didn't have anything. I had a gun, but I'm going, I'm not shooting concrete. I may hurt myself. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 So I'm digging around in my number one. Don't take your eyes off the snake. That's I've learned that because they always go, they go somewhere and you can't find them. Well, yeah. I'm, and she's watching me. I dig around in my truck. It's right there. I found a 24 inch handsaw. Not long enough. Well, no, I go not near long well, enough. Well, I, I want to do one of these slice moves, right? So I oh, ease wow. it and I mm. grab at her and she tucks back and she won't come out. So I get my flashlight, and I get off far enough, and I shine up in there, and the whole floor is moving. Stop it. Good the night. The concrete is – I went back Ooh. to Raiders Temple of the Lost – Raiders of the Lost Dark. That's right. The floor is moving. Uh. I'm seeing just this. Ooh, snakes so everywhere. I'm going, I can't leave this. I, I can't even go back in the building. I, just, I was just standing on top of her. Oh, right. yeah. oh, all I had, I had a half a bottle of rubbing alcohol. I thought, well, this ought to run them out. <laughs> <laughs> so try anything. I got the alcohol and started dousing it up in there, both sides. And here they come. Little old, just 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 little heads oh, coming wow. out. And oh I just take God. that saw and whack and flick. Whack and flick. And they're co- by the way, my adrenaline is through the roof. Oh, I bet. God. <laughs> oh, late time. And yeah. do you see the type? They're coming out. Or do you just know it's snakes? Yeah, I know it's a venomous snake. Okay. And I, my first thought, this is a rattlesnake. Pit viper. Yeah, I had a, the, last year we had that real close Lava? encounter in yeah. turkey season. Oh yeah. And um, oh, so wow. I start killing snakes. And thirteen snakes later, oh, my goodness. I still Dang. see mama in there, and every time I I can hear that old rattle, just a shaking. She wouldn't come out. So I, I got to shine him a lot. I saw her head. I pinned her down. And um, and I cried. There's one photo that shows that there it is right there where I where I had, that little, I had a handsaw. <laughs> you see the fangs? Yes. She's Tom, a, I she's see ugly. big fangs. I- Rick and Bubba, Rick and Bubba. Pass 
the gravy, please. Rick and Bubba, Rick and Bubba. Ooh, it brings me to my knees. Rick and Bubba, Rick and Bubba. I can't start another. Six minutes Bubba, past the hour of the Rick and Bubba show. Thank brother. you for being with us. A brand new hour has begun, a brand new hour on a brand new day, on a brand new week. And we are thankful that you are here. This hour will start with our national anthem. Eight minutes past the hour. The Rick and Bubba Show, 866-WE-BE-BIG is our number. And here we go. Uh, we'll run down the weekend. We got some weekend stories. Uh, boy, we'll update you on that. Uh, the gang was busy over the weekend. We'll recap that for you. Uh, we'll take your phone calls at 866-WE-BE-BIG. A brand new Rick and Bubba Buffalo Wild Wings charity charge is underway today. At participating Buffalo Wild Wings locations, all of those are in Alabama, uh, but you can um, go out and enjoy that. Remember, they have added the Oxford, Alabama location. You'll be benefiting Make-A-Wish, Alabama. Uh, so go out, enjoy delicious Buffalo Wild Wings at the participating restaurants, and also make a difference at the same time. We'll hand them that check here uh, before the month is out, uh, so um, or next month or whenever we do it. Uh, so anyway, go out and enjoy that today. Also, a new RBU, Rick and Bubba University, the podcast. Dan Parker, uh, our guest, um, who has broken a speed world record uh, while blind. Uh, so hear his story uh, coming up, uh, if you haven't, uh, either watching it or listening to Rick and Bubba University, the podcast, wherever you get podcasts, or on our YouTube channel that is now available. Speedy, the real Greg Burgess, Helmsy, Adler, all here and uh, there he sits, uh, the other half of the two sexiest fat men alive. Most of you know him better as a silver tongue one, the man with a golden voice, professional lunch eaters, man of the year, the inventor of pizza and a cup, Shakespeare's worst nightmare, and the master of the Kang's English. Ladies and gentlemen, let's put our hands together for Bill Bubba Bursey! Howdy, Bubba. How about it, Rick Burgess? Friends, neighbors, associates everywhere, welcome in to Rick and Bubba, your two buddies on the radio. Let's go. Playing this uh, for all the race fans leaving Bama today. You always, you start it with Sweet Home Alabama. When you get to Talladega, you play this on the way out. <laughs> <laughs> A train rolled on, on down the line. Won't you uh, please take me far away?
Skinner. Tuesday's gone. Tuesday's gone. <laughs> right out of here. Well, there wasn't a thing going on this weekend. No, right? no, not at all. Didn't I, I tell you one thing? There's so many people packed into our state. Y'all need to head out. We got stuff we got to do. That's right. I just, I just, man, we had them coming from all kinds of stuff. Coming back next weekend. <laughs> uh, just here we go. There's always something going yeah, on. Yeah, the old the old Indy Grand Prix sold out this coming weekend. Mm-hmm. So every time you turn around, people are showing up. People racing, people playing football. I yeah, mean, there's sure. All kinds yeah. of stuff going. People on. going to stadiums game. Can't get yeah. them go the others. But, uh, <laughs> So I, I'm I, saw the Sunday, I, I saw the Sunday game, had about 80. I, I still think uh, <laughs> my idea to get all the Stallion fans right. to adopt another team right, yeah. and support them when they're not playing the Stallions would work. Uh, yeah. Just a mass adoption. Yeah, I like your idea also of bussing in fans. Yeah, the, from, the, the, from these other cities. From the other cities. But, uh, but I, that, this well, was, we knew it was going to be. This like was this. their game plan. They, yeah. they were saying, look, first year, keeping everybody in one city and uh, – it, and getting the TV coverage, uh, I watched a little bit of it yesterday. Still, really, really good, and uh, and and they're, they're they got a pretty good product on the field, and uh, it doesn't really rely on people coming to the stadium. But you'd like to have it, you know, for the atmosphere of actually watching it. Yeah. And I don't know what they can really do to resolve that. Uh, but uh, you know, like I told you today, if this is their plan, just you know, keep your nose to the grind and say, well, next year they go yeah. to their own cities, and and this year is doing what it's supposed to do. You know, well, you you have options. Stay with the plan. Yeah. Uh, and we assume that's working. Look, we're at week two, and nobody's declared bankruptcy yeah, yet. Yeah. That's positive. That's, that's better than that that's, last that's one. Better had. than the last one. Mm-hmm. Uh, you yeah. could, Rick, uh, do the adopt a team program. Yeah. Yeah. You could ship and bus and fly in fans <laughs> from those cities yeah. to to come watch. Yeah. Um, you could break your plan midway and say, look, this is going so good, we're just going to go to home fields if yeah. they've got one that they can play at. Yeah. Uh, but I, I don't know that you have any other options. Well, I think this plan was set up for them to keep their costs down for yeah. the first season. Yeah. And I think that's a good idea. And, uh, you know, I'm always saying, you know, the thing that I've asked every single time is when if, if, if all the other attempts at this have failed, then then do something different. Right. Right. And, uh, and and so this is different so, yeah, to keep yeah. it to keep it in in one city for the first season. Yeah, let it get its legs under it. And um, but we we all feel strange watching a game with nobody in the stadium. Oh, I don't like it. I can't do it. Uh, yeah, but you know, it may be a small price to pay for the league to make it long. Yeah, if if that's what works best, then then that's that's fine. And now, and, when the stadiums play, it's a great crowd. Well, I don't know. I heard they the, the term I heard over the weekend for the stadiums game was decent crowd. I watched, that, that, I watched the last three, I mean, four and, minutes. And that was from Fox. Fox actually said decent crowd. <laughs> Happened to be in Mobile, Alabama, flipping yeah. channels. Right. Uh, so and three what, minutes left in the game, and it was a decent crowd. So what number is that? What is decent? They said the first one had about 16,000, and they thought uh, they thought this one maybe was Was 10. it 16? I, I thought it was more If than it was 10. That was, I think the official. If they got 10, uh, that then okay, good. Well, you know, because I don't know that you can. Because it didn't look like 10. I don't. I guess you don't count maybe the free ones. I don't know. I guess they were saying the first one, that's how many tickets they sold. But I saw the number 16, hmm. 7, something like that. Uh, it about, looked okay. Yeah. You know. Or maybe that was I the wanted, number for I this I knew some there. people that were there. They said it was a good crowd. Yeah. No. Uh, no and well, and that the crowd, crowd was very that's, loud. Yeah. You know, especially yeah, I, Actually, I ran into some folks at church that said, hey, we went to we went to the Stallions games last night. It was it was a blast. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Uh, yeah. But the term that Fox themselves use, and they have no agenda for, to, to try to, you know, they want it to be good. Right. They said our opening crowd for the Stallions was a good crowd. This one was a decent crowd. Yeah. Yeah. Stadiums uh, moved but, to but two sti- and zero, but, but still a lot bigger crowd than any other game. It was got. an exciting game. Four minutes, three minutes left. Mm-hmm. The other teams driving down the field, and the mm-hmm. Stallions got a big pick. Evidently, the guy had his second interception of the day, and it and it was. It did yeah. sound. And good. they were playing and Sumlin's they, team, weren't they? Which they were. Which yeah, pretty good they were. Yeah, they were. Yeah. And, and he what couldn't I, believe it when the quarterback threw an uh, right. interception. You should have oh, seen his face. Right. He was like, "Wow, okay, so and, I'm out here doing this." And, <laughs> and, it, and it appears for those of you, that, you know. The Saints have been good lately, so the Saint people aren't looking for a team like they once were when we were growing up. Everybody would like to have had another team other than the Saints when yeah. we were growing up. Yeah. Yeah. But uh, the New Orleans team looks good. Yeah. And uh, just to let all the New Orleans people know, y'all, y'all's, y'all's team in the USFL, they're, they're, they're pounding people pretty good. And, and, and if, if my memory is correct, which it's not always, mm-hmm. when they tried this before, the New Orleans team was not that good. Correct. So it's a big That's the way I remember it, too. Yeah. I mean, they had Marcus to prove that was about it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. he was Memphis, was he? No, he was. He no, was. He was, he was yeah, he was. Hey, Memphis had Larry Zonka, didn't? He? No, that was a world football. Game. Yeah. Memphis, <laughs> <See>? Memphis <laughs> had uh, uh, Reggie White. They had Reggie. They had Reggie White. They did. Yeah. It all runs together. I mean, to me, all these attempts at pro football in the spring. I mean, you can get them really confused, especially when the same names being used. <laughs> that that really confused. 
Uh, all right, we'll uh, we'll be back. Eight six six, we be big is our number. We got a lot to unpack today, uh, and looking forward to it. Rick and Bubba, Rick and Bubba. Inflation is. I'm thinking about Bubba. What would he have done? I thought he would have shot the place up or burned it down. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> goodbye, <laughs> goodbye, Tower Site. I'd, yeah. I'd have been prepared, though, Tom. I, <laughs> what, I, what I, if you'd have seen that many of them? I mean, I just, guys, it, yeah. it started last night. I had to look under Must the Must be what hell looks like. I kept looking under the <laughs> under in my truck. Is oh, it? man. Oh, yeah. Oh, they were everywhere. Oh, I bet. And see, those, Even when you went to bed last night, I yeah, bet you could see, feel them. See, those steps are hollow. And uh, I dug her nest out. There's a little nest that she had in there, and apparently it's so well protected from all the predators, every one of them must have hatched. Yeah. But there's 13 so where, babies. Where was it, Tom? Where was she? St- was it? You see b- those two steps? She was the concrete up in, steps, yeah, not the blocks. But she was on the steps. Right. So uh, the, you got a video? Yeah. 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 Uh, Tom, I mean, you just got a, a pile of snake there. It looks like. Yeah. It. Uh, hey, mama's big. Too. Mama is real big. Goodness. Yeah. And mm. she's tough because when I. <laughs> She didn't want to give it up. When I whacked Ooh. her, she kept fighting me. But uh, there we go. Mm. Uh, wow. So, Tom, you've saved a neighborhood. I tell you what. And, uh, Tom, look, I there's s- one still flipping around I over there. I still get shaky thinking about it. Ugh. i got to ask a question because I'm like, Hounds, that's saw. I mean, you couldn't be a, well, I, pretty I, close. I, I was yeah. real careful. I knew she couldn't strike Ugh. if she was pinned in behind there. I was, all I was giving them was just room to get her head out. And I was going to chop block her. Tom, you didn't have a good hoe up there? No, well, I, there, I found a, a shovel in the building later, but I wasn't going to step back over that till they were all That's gone. That's right. Yeah. Tom, but how do you know you didn't miss one? There's still one creeping I, around there somewhere. I pulled, I pulled the steps off. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Were they up under that building? They were in the steps. In the, in the, on the top, steps. On top of the cinder block, in the step. Hey. There was a nest in that right step. You see the nest over in the corner of the video. You'll see I dug it out. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I and, saw that. Uh, go where is here. it? Where's the nest? Right, right there. there. Oh I pulled my it out. Gosh. And uh, that's where apparently she incubated those eggs until or whatever they do. And uh, yeah, how about that, guys? Mm. I was. Uh, <laughs> Tom, that's funny because I've got emails. I mean, the, the last few days I've got a ton of snake emails. Well, there you go. And we were just getting that time of year. Kind of joking. You got to be it. proud of Tom right here. I mean, he's Tom, taking he's taking fourteen different rattlesnakes out of commission. Can you that hear is, the rattle in this video? The way I look at it, yeah. no, she's uh, she's about rattle out. But let me okay. tell you a sound when when they start rattling, it'll shake you up. It'll rattle you. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it's yeah, meant uh, to be that way. Yep, yeah. yep. And so uh, it's like listening to Satan talk. Yeah. Mm. You don't know much. Does anybody right. know enough about snakes to know how long the, the uh, that's the, what I don't the know hatchlings stay with the mom? I'm in there about they, once they look, a month. They're, they're a little bigger than I thought they Tom, were. Tom, yeah, yeah, they're about they're about like this. Hindsight being 2020, what do you need to have with you now to take care of this situation? What would be I used to optimum? keep? I used to keep a box of nine millimeter rat shot right with me. And, but and again, I'm taking them out with that. With rat shot, you could be okay with with that because. Well, you still talking about ricochet. Anytime you got a lot of rocks or concrete, well, you got if I could, my, my grandma was wonderful with an old garden hoe. She could tear one up with right. a garden hoe. Yeah. And I'm thinking maybe keep one of those with you or a Kaiser blade, <laughs> something. <laughs> yeah, the, the garden hoe seems way. to work pretty good. By the way, WD forty works for everything. All it did was make her mad. I yeah. sprayed some WD forty in there. Yeah. It wouldn't come out. She just got rattling louder. But the rubbing alcohol. But I got, got I got to digging around and, and I found a half a bottle of old rubbing alcohol. And I guess mm-hmm. I used it to clean tape heads or something yeah. one time. And I thought, well, this ought to run them out. It sure runs me out. <laughs> I've had to use wasp spray on one. It, it didn't like that. One either. of them, mm-hmm. one of the came when the little ones came out. It kept turning its head sideways, dragging it. I guess it was burning its eye. Yeah. And it could have blinded them. I don't know. But they they started scattering, and it was like two over here, whack whack. I saw two coming out of there, go run over there on each side. You just you just killing. Snakes. Yeah, overwhelmed. But you, and, and you, you got to do the two step because you don't know where else. You're one's always looking be. to see if one's coming toward. And the little ones weren't aggressive. Mama was aggressive. She, I figured when I step on the step and rocked it. Yeah. When I went in, I'm standing on it, undoing the combination, fiddling with Tom, the key, getting good in. Good and, night. And I'm Bubba rocking this. They wasn't up under that building. She, though. No, they were they were on top of the block under the, the building. inside the step. They couldn't get under the building. It's on a slab. Mm-hmm. And um, there she was, right there, underneath my feet, few inches from my feet. Hey, and you start going hey. through all these scenarios where you step out and you're piddling around. Let's say you drop the key. Oh, and you bend, and there she is. She's right there. Uh-uh. Hey, and how many times have I? How long does it take for them to? By the way, I found a shed under there. So apparently she shed, she built a nest, she laid eggs. 
are live. They're, they're 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 eggs, right? Right. Yeah. They do eggs. And uh, oh, I thought they did live. And then she uh, she she eggs. got them to that. I don't know how long she's been in there, but she picked a great spot. No other predator could get to her eggs because that's a nice facility. I mean, it's <laughs> never would have thought. What well, you said, mom? What about the daddy? Well, I kept looking for him after I got them all out. I couldn't even hardly. It is 22 minutes past the hour. Rick and Bubba, thanks for being with us uh, as we get ready to uh, unpack another day. Well, we got a lot to recap from the weekend, too. Um, so let's uh, let's discuss what which was the big topic of the kickoff hour today, in case some of you missed that. And um, to me, this is not that surprising because I do it all the time. Uh, and that is that we arrived, at, at, and, and this person got here before anybody, right? I mean, right. Uh, I, that's why I was. Oh, yeah. That's why I was theorizing it was actually an automobile left from yesterday or last night. Because, you know, sometimes you go to a parking lot where there's there's room, you'll meet somebody, you'll jump in the car, car ride together, and then leave your car at a parking lot, and, you know, you may or may not come back and get it that night, may come back and get it the next day. That's what I thought was going on, but there's a, there's a Jeep that is outside the studio that has been running. Uh, even We don't know how long it's been running because it was running when Greg got it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, so we have no idea how long it's been running. I usually arrive to an empty parking lot. Right. Yeah, that's what I think threw us all off is that this that, – this, Particular cars never hear that this early, right? So you know, I knew you guys dealt with it during the kickoff hour, but I had suggested to Rick. I said, you know, if you have a package that nobody can identify, right. you blow it up. You do. So oh. do we need to blow this Jeep up. Oh boy! At 7 yeah, yeah. Oh, wow. yeah. Bubba was just for safety. He was saying if we want to take away any fear of it, <laughs> you know, we would handle it. You know, like a bomb squad would handle yeah. it. You would oh, just okay. you would just detonate it and be right. done with it. We'd have to yeah. move our cars first, right? And all of us put up armored shields, right? You know, right. yeah. So. <laughs> But that's one way to, to – I'm a little shocked that it's been talked about this long and nobody has said, that's so-and-so's Jeep. I need to tell them they left it running. Well, the, the you know, do you is – it, is it a problem where they're charging the battery? Or, as we've all mentioned, with the, the push-button start now. Oh, man. I have met people and got to talking, hopped out, you know, going to go with somebody somewhere and leave a vehicle run. I've done it before. So I do it it's all the, easy to do. I do it all the time. Um, uh, I, I, I did, I wasn't me who physically did the one that was the longest that also caused a security situation like we have here. Yeah, yeah and that was Bones. That right? Bones left my truck running for the same exact reason, said he – the push button, you just forget about it, and uh, he said he left my truck running near the uh, the terminal of an airport for hours and hours while we were while I was speaking in another state. You you want to feel helpless? Have an airport call. Nothing and say, you can do about it. You got to do something about Rick's truck, and oh, nothing we can do. We're in, we're in Georgia. Uh, You're so, like- so um, so yeah, I've done it. I I've gotten out several times at Godspeed, uh, where I go and try to do a little better. People have come in there. How hey, you realize your truck's running? <laughs> but, but because even though I've got the big you know Ram fifteen hundred lift kit as a Hendrick driver, it it is not a loud running vehicle. No. Right, uh, right, and, right. And, like, and so I you can get out, walk away from it, and not even know it's running. Yeah, uh, and easy uh, to do. And and I've done it many times. So that's what I was thinking happened out here. But you guys bring up another point. I also remember having battery problems. Yeah, mm-hmm. and mm-hmm. sometimes I just leave my car running because I'm trying to uh, get my battery enough charge. I can turn it off and then it'll crank yeah. back up. I don't know, but I mean, you know, when you do what we do for a living, a Jeep uh, that is turned on and running next to the studio makes you a little nervous. It yeah, does. I mean, it does. Well, you have to give. I, it I'm two not crazy looks. about it. No, right. no. Right. Now that the sun's come up, I think we go look again just I, to make sure we didn't miss yeah. anything in the dark. Uh, we did. Mm-hmm. We did find uh, the uh, the guy that's in charge of landscaping for this uh, the, for the building uh, a few minutes ago out front, and he said he believes that is someone that works in the building. Because he sees it a lot, but normally it's not parked down here oh, okay. or running. But don't you th- <laughs> so. don't you think that almost goes back to my? And it's just a theory. I work here, so I'm comfortable leaving my car here when yep. I met somebody to, yeah. to ride. Oh yeah, here. no, I think that's, that that's got to be a, a, right. one of the things and, that could happen. Because I don't think there's anybody in the building that would get to work before Greg. I, I mean, uh, I, yeah, I, I, unless they were normally, working overnight. I, I mean, normally no. Yeah, yeah. and, and Adler so, wanted to know what he'd take for it as is. Uh, yeah, like it's it it's yeah. one like it's, it's, it's like it's running. But you can hear this conversation. I tell you what, once you meet me where I work, there's yeah. a huge parking lot, 
and that's why it's not in the normal spot because mm-hmm. that's that, that's where he would park it if he was right, coming to work. Right. He wouldn't park it there if he never does on a normal work day. That's mm-hmm. like a park where you just turned in to meet somebody. Right. Right. Yeah. Look, look, I came right off the road. I parked it right there. Would be easy to come back to it, so it for whatever easy. reason. Yep. We didn't mm-hmm. come back. And when I got in the car with my buddy to ride or didn't shut it off. with the lady or whatever, mm-hmm. I didn't shut it off. Yeah. If your key fob gets too far away from the car, does some of them cut off? Some do. Mine did not, unfortunately. Yours, yeah. obviously not. Yours, Yours you're in another spot. Not. Not. Most of them will just start warning you that it's yeah. out of range. Yeah. Or yeah. But yeah. it won't cut off. All right, yeah. that's it. I'm going out to look at it while I've. While yeah. I can look, well, we can look. I can speak know. with authority that this mine did not have that. that mine did not have that option. Yeah, yeah. Because That's, we tried everything and so it could we, be if we touch the doorknob, it blows up. You realize that, be careful. Yeah. Y'all realize that I got on a plane. Oh yeah. Left the state, was gone Bring. for hours. I'm not talking about a few hours. Right. A Half long a time. Yeah. Came back, it was still running. And got in it, and of course now it was cold in there. The, the, air, <laughs> <laughs> the, the, air, the air conditioning had been cranking windows right in the yeah. truck. <laughs> what, so they won't overheat, not moving. Uh, not, 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 not that, not that no. fine not piece of machine. Not, not, not old big, big daddy. Yeah. Here's why I think he accidentally left it running. Back to your point with gas prices, who would leave it running? Nobody. Nobody. Yeah, because that's gonna cost him. Yeah, it is. Yeah, that's yeah. a pretty penny. Yeah, a buddy of mine. We were getting on a plane. I mean, we got them. They shut off at the traffic light. Mine does. Yeah. So, you know, <laughs> oh yeah. yeah. So we we're leaving uh, to go um, go somewhere for like three, two or three days. No, don't break. Uh, and it's been years. <laughs> it's been years. <laughs> so a buddy of mine that I was meeting there had a friend drop him off, so he didn't have to park his car there and all that. He goes to get. We're checking in. And he goes to his pocket and he goes, "Oh my gosh, my fob is in my pocket." And that person drove off with his car. Uh, and and he calls him and goes, you've got to turn around now. That thing might go dead. I don't, I don't know what's going to happen. Unless it's Rick's. He starts yeah. running out trying to get back through TSA. No, I need to get my fob back. Yeah, there, there, there's a mess. There, There's many. I'm getting a text from now from saying that a lot of cars, if if you're not in there, uh, you know, if you leave it running after 15 minutes, it'll cut off. Okay. But I think to myself, but. Yeah. Well, I know this is, you bypass that somehow. Yeah. I have uh, this has happened before where a key is laying in the garage. Mm-hmm. We get in a car, we go to the grocery store, and we start getting the alarms that they're talking about. And and I realize we don't have the key. No, I hate that feeling. And so one of us has to stay in the car, leave it running, while the other goes in the grocery store. And and it never cut off on this particular vehicle. Been there. We don't have that vehicle anymore. But that that's sure. happened. Well, and the whole time I was panicked, like this thing's about to shut off. See, I'm I'm not that afraid of this automobile. Because frankly, just from my very, very limited investigation of terrorists, they rarely drive this kind of car. Yeah, everybody <laughs> That's knows. True. Yeah. Everybody knows they drive a white Toyota. Yeah, yeah. yeah if there yeah. was a white Toyota out there, trouble. We got problems. We got problems. Yeah. <laughs> right. <We got problem. laughs> they must buy them by the boat. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Huh? especially if it's got a machine gun mounted in the back. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah. 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 Oh, landscaping. That, that truck must be really easy to mount a machine gun in. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, all I big fifty cal. Yeah. <laughs> 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 all right, I'm, I'm going out. I'm looking in. Bottom of the, bottom of the hour. Rick and Bubba, Rick and Bubba. Function. I He's like up, a Rolling Stone. Yeah, he Tom, I'd have had to take the rest of the day <laughs> off after that. Look at that thing moving. I Ooh, started God. trying to work, and I couldn't, I, I, I couldn't think. I kept yeah. going, uh, what am I doing? Yeah. And when your adrenaline uh, leaves you, your body is like, I'm exhausted. Yes. You're, just, you're starting to cramp. You're just exhausted. But that was a, that was an evening, an afternoon rush. It's quite a battle right there. Wow. Yeah, yeah. see where they were right there. Yeah. Tom. I thought about you, Bubba, on this Thank time. you, man. Hey. Well done, Tom. That's what you got to do. <laughs> Satan's hand puppet. You got to fight Woo. him every turn. If God, can, if God can curse him, so can I. Well, nobody likes cursed animals. <laughs> nope. <laughs> we got them. 15 minutes. God past. took their legs. Never forget that. That's right. <laughs> That's right. We'll be right back. Rick and Bubba, Rick and Bubba. All right, is this the giant burger story? This now? is the giant burger story. You ever heard of a gridiron burger? I've never heard of a gridiron burger, no. Well, if you go to see the Arizona Cardinals play this year and you want to drop $75, you can have one. Oh, I, like Se- that. I thought that was the regular price of a burger. Oh, I mean, what? Not. <laughs> Wait, I'm, I'm $75 for a burger? $75. Wow. But here's the good news. Here's the good news. If you can eat it in one hour, you get a free jersey and you get your picture on the Jumbotron. <laughs> That's easy money. Uh, well, let me tell you what a what a gridiron burger consists know. of. Yeah. Bring it. It is a seven pound, seven pound monster burger Good that is man. made up of five one point three pound beef patties, 
five Did you just hot say dogs. Five? five. Good lord. That's five. Huge. Listen, five hot dogs, five brats worth, Good night. and twenty slices of cheese. How many brats? Golly, yeah. five. I don't. Look and at all that in there. Slices of cheese. I know you got an hour, but that's a lot Rick, of food. You can't the eat burger, anything like this anymore. No. The burger no. also this includes. This is the kind of thing that did me in. Now, listen, <laughs> if that's not enough, five beef patties, five hot dogs, five brats worth, and 20 slices of cheese. It has eight pieces of bacon, yeah. eight chicken tenders. Look at that thing. And 12 ounces of fries, all wrapped up with lettuce, pickles, tomatoes, between a 10 inch bun. How do you even approach that? With a f- Where's your first fork? bite? Yeah, where, where you, and a knife. Do you just do you just put it in a Does bowl? that all end up just being a pile in your plate? Yeah. And scrambling it, it up? Yeah, I would think. How, how could it not? Because you, you can't bite it. No. Now, the, the I'm very shelf. confused by the days we're in right now. We're in a super <laughs> hyper health era, and then we're in this. These kind yeah. of foods, it's like yeah, now we, you, our, Rick, our, our it's, world's turning into, look, just go one way or the other. There's no in-between. Rick, right. it's, it's like science. I hate to point this out in politics and everything else. For every action, there's an equal yes, opposite you're reaction. Right, you're right. The further you go to the left, the more you get the Trumpers. And, right. it, and the further the Trump pushes, the more you get the Bernie Sanders. You right. know, yeah, it's, I, it's just extremes everywhere, right? Mm. So it happens in food, too, I guess. So the, the chef who has prepared this has turned it into a challenge, offering fans, as I mentioned, a free jersey and a picture on the Jumbotron if they can finish every bite within one hour. We're going to have people getting sick at the ball game. I mean, you, no, do you want that sitting next to you? No. I think it's as tall as a cup, a souvenir cup. Now, That's the, how tall it is. I think i just buy a jersey and move on. Yeah, the, 75 <laughs> bucks, seven-pound burger, 20 slices of cheese, five hot dogs, eight pieces of bacon. And I didn't do you wish throw I a chicken the finger in there, too? And didn't you say something about chicken finger? No, yeah, multiple it's in there. I chicken see it. fingers. I see yeah. it. So – Eight, Eight chicken thing. fingers, you're right. They have not released the exact calorie count of this burger yet. Oh. Oh but MailOnline.com has taken the pieces apart, and they have estimated that the burger will be at least 8,600 <laughs> calories and a staggering 805 grams of fat, not including the secret special sauce on it. Good night. The cheese brings the caloric intake to over 2,000 calories alone, according to various counter uh, calorie counters who have taken a look at the recipe for this burger. You know, Helms brings up a good point. I think being, I out, ju- just being at the Astros game and walking through their pro shop, you get an authentic jersey. Now, you're in the hundreds. But you yeah. you get some that just have – I mean, it's a jersey, but just the you know the numbers or the name or, or something just – just put on there and it's not sewed in and stuff, you could get a jersey close to this. Yeah. I mean, yeah. so that's what you're – if you're just getting a jersey in your picture up there, All right, so I don't really this. know besides you, saying you did it maybe. Yeah, that's you've one got, thing Well, you, you get it free then. You've got the – If you eat it, you don't pay for it. Well, it doesn't say that in this one. The one I, I saw, it said, I saw a story on but it. But you think they would get it free too. I the mean, story I saw it. was, and I may be wrong, My it gosh. said it's like these other big challenges. If you don't eat it, it's $75. If you eat it, it's free. So and then, and then you get the other things too. Yeah. If the gridiron burger may be a little too much for you, they have a step down version of that called the Gridzilla Burger. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's only twenty two dollars, but it's a knockdown version of what we just read. And it's still big. And how about this? If you uh, We're back 35 minutes past the hour of the Rick and Bubba show. 866 We Be Big. A to B.com slash radio uh, is asking you if you uh, have a fleet fuel card or you're kind of the person over the fleet, uh, why would you use a card, especially now with the price of gasoline uh, and diesel? Uh, why would you use a card that gives you discounts um, only at specific stations? Why would you do that if you don't have to? Uh, the A to B dot com slash radio. You go there. We got you a fleet fuel card that gives you discounts anywhere you fuel up. Because if uh, if your fleet is filling up at a place that accepts Visa, that's pretty much all of them, uh, then you're going to get a discount. Uh, and also, uh, you do not have a setup fee. You do not have a trans- transaction fee. 
Uh, no monthly fee, no late payment fees, no over-the-limit fee, no gallon limits to the amount of discounted fuel. Plus, you're going to be building business credit when you pay on time, which I, hopefully you've made that commitment. If you ever need help, 24-7 customer service team standing there ready to go. Uh, so in today's world, you deserve to save every time you fill up. Uh, so why don't you join us and apply for this today at a to bcom slash radio. No credit check required. And for a limited time, we can get you a $50 credit if you use the zero fee card. The website, again, the letter A, uh, the word 2, T-O, the letter B, dot com slash radio. Also a link at rickandbubba.com under the sponsors. Okay, so looking back over the weekend, and we do have stories coming. Uh, Bubba had an adventure this weekend that we will uh, walk through with him a little bit later today. But um, So I know that uh, in, uh, in Sweet Home, Alabama, and, of course, this one involves anybody that loves um, NASCAR racing, big weekend at Talladega Super Speedway. Uh, beautiful weather. Uh, it was it was uh, it was wonderful to to be able to as as the world comes to our state to us to kind of get. And that was a little warm, but it, but it wasn't crazy hot. Had a good breeze. Had a good breeze. Uh, but it is beautiful right now in Alabama. I mean, you yeah. you it's boy everything's turning green and blooming. And so, uh, Greg, you went with Little Lee Hubbard Saturday. Uh, you went Saturday. Yes. To the, is that the Infinity Series? Yes. Arca yeah. ran early. Uh-huh. And then then Xfinity, you catch any Arca Xfinity. This ended up because we knew it was going to be a long day, so we I said the uh, Xfinity is one I want to see, and it starts like at three. Did you uh, did you get a warm welcome in the infield? Yeah, yeah, they well, had a parade, took me right to it. No, <laughs> right, yeah. the, you know, and we talked about it. You remember when they came to the show and they showed us the the virtual version of what they were going to build, yeah. the garage yeah. experience. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, it's done now. Of course, I think that all about like everything else hit about the pandemic, and so, but it was full. That's where you you have a restaurant and then you the cars are in there being worked on. I uh, forget the top ever how many qualifiers they their vehicles are in there and then you got you can you know you're right behind pit road and you got seats you can watch the trial oval. It's it's nice. It, it's it's really nice and just when you remember what way it used to look when we used to go when we were kids no, it was a dust bowl. Yeah. yeah. And now it's just I mean it's clean. It's I, and, I and the infield was full. If I'm talking about them big ORVs. I have to ask you something though. <laughs> show, I have to, enough good, show, show enough good. Show enough good ones. ones. That's yeah. it. Let me say this first before Russell comes and runs me down. What they've done is the right thing. Let me say that first. And it is primo oh, and it yeah. is nice and it, and it's 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 top of the it's line. It's a fan experience like they want. But is there a side of you that looks in here and says, you know, are you a little bit of an infield purist? You say, well, now, you're right. I mean, if you were back in the 70s and right, 80s, yeah, right. you look at this and go, huh, nobody's even grimy like we used to be. <laughs> we used to have that dirt all over I us. Bet, I bet it, it's that, like comparing when the Oakland Raiders played yes, on the infield yes, with the dirt and yeah. the rocks versus them playing inside now on artificial turf. Mm-hmm. I mean, it's just two guess, totally different things. I bet the way you it is, now, but you're, I see where you're coming yeah. from because we're purists. You don't, see, you don't see anybody falling off scaffolding? There's no <laughs> scaffolding. Rick, they ain't Wait. one pickup with scaffolding in the no. back of Did one person fall off one of them RVs? No, and I, Rick, I didn't even see many of them painted up school buses like we used to see. Oh, what? I mean, they may be a few them? mixed in there. But you remember the great school buses. Oh, yeah. Uh-huh. yeah. Then there were people who would rent a U-Haul truck and sit in the back of it and on top of it. I mean, the late J.D. McDuffie let you take a lap? Sure yeah. he would. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, now, you're right. He'd look, he'd be drinking a Pabst Blue Ribbon right next to you. Rick, I would say dri- Aren't you driving today? Yeah, here in a minute. Rick, this is physically a lot less uh, torture than it used to be. Because remember, you were you had, you had were dirty, you were sunburned. All the drivers, well, well, you'll get this because this was your world. All your drivers looked like they went to trade school. They were mechanics. Oh, yeah. You know, oh, yeah. Every one of them could pop the hood. They weren't these young guys. No, like and none of them were in shape. No. No. Every, every no. one of them liked that. You could see them sitting in a chair outside the, the drugstore or the convenience store in your town, and they could drive. Oh, they could drive. They'd mm. smoke during caution laps. Oh, sure. <laughs> Absolutely. You know, the open face helmet with just <laughs> goggles. Has it become yeah. too too pristine? <laughs> I, look, experiencing both, you're right. But, but now, do I prefer this one? Yes. Yeah. Right. yeah. But <laughs> if you were, if you want to draw fans that are going to come there and, yeah. and not just have the purists, this is certainly the way to go. Oh, yeah. It's a much better experience. Oh yeah. But now, but, but I'm telling you, we got some stories y'all ain't never going to have. Rick, did you? <laughs> yeah. We were talking oh. about qualifying the other day. Do you remember when we went down there to qualify to do qualifying? You were on the air. I was doing the engineering work, mm-hmm. and we had set up early. We had the perfect setup. And this crew come in and roll that giant board up in front of us and block the view, and you like to got in a fight with a guy. Do you oh, remember Oh, I do that? remember. I yeah. forgot all about yeah. that. Yeah. Rick, that's another thing. You don't see the fights like you used to. I know. Oh, boy, that'd be Got to miss that a little Good bit. Night. And, and then, he had some big qualifying Next thing board, you tell me, his bathrooms are clean. And, yeah, and he, he <laughs> rolled it right in front of our view after oh, we'd been there for about hours. that. Set up. 
I forgot about I that. I meant to mention that the other day. I, that had left my mind. <laughs> and you said you're going to move that board. <laughs> yeah, and, 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 you got a choice to make. Yeah. Hey, let me say something straight up. The board's going to move or we're going to have a real problem. I mean, this is about to get ugly. How bad do you want that board? Now, is it worth? Remember that line? Yeah, it, it, yeah. we had quite a standoff you must there not for know a about minute. That. <laughs> right, so the, so you're going to stick with the board? Is it worth this? Because let me tell you what's going to cost you. I remember, I remember Charlie Compton, who, worth I, all that is. who I knew. He, he was one of my ham buddies, Rick, and he was over all the all the wiring and and all the technical things at the track. And I remember him coming up, and he said, "This looks like we got a standoff here." <laughs> I said, "Charlie, you have to get him move that board because this is about to get bad." <laughs> yeah, that was back, you know. That was about, you know, it's always good to have a resolve, but that was that now I don't I wouldn't have a resolve to to you know to go to to, to the what it was going to take to get it moved. But yeah. in those days I was resolved to well, do it. Well, you told him you're about yeah. to break his board. They would got broke board. <laughs> right, so do you want a board laying around here in a couple pieces? <laughs> Cuz I'm on, I'm on I we've been sitting here Mr. Mr. Oh, Engineer. Oh, we heard hours ahead of time. Yeah, you're going to show up put that board in front of me. I ain't going to. Yeah. It was a giant too. Hey, it was big as hey, that curtain with the rollers on it. Whoa. Yeah. What? <laughs> Blocking our view? <laughs> no. We're no. here with our cell cast ready to go. You better, you Are you better. kidding me? We're about to have a board problem. So we had a big finish at Talladega, huh? Yeah. Right yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, look, I'm going to hey, tell you. Before you move to the big race, uh, Jeffrey Earnhardt, who we've had on the show a oh, couple uh, times, yeah. they put him, Childress put him in the number three black one for the experience. How cool is that? He was on the pole and uh, came in second. All and right. He ran, you know, good all day. Who won it? Yeah. Uh, it's Noah Gregson. It's I think I may be wrong. I think that's Dale Junior's team. Is it? His, he owns the Xfinity team. Hey, yeah. who was the crew chief for that? Uh, Larry McReynolds actually so. was a crew chief yeah, for, for, for Earnhardt like, just for this race. Because I, I didn't want to step out, but I saw a video of him going nuts. Yeah, that was because Childress just put this together. They said just weeks ago, he said he's going to put Earnhardt in the black three, mm. and Larry McReynolds is going to be on the pit box. And and they boy, they had a fast car. Yeah, they were good. And before we get to the Geico 500, Riley Green was in concert Saturday night. Oh yeah, night. look, now, hey, hey, shout out. Hey, Greg went and rubbed ra- ra- elbows with him. <laughs> we were, listen, everybody. From Lee the, Hubbard. I saw everybody from the Pleasant Valley community backstage. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I saw people I ain't seen in years, and uh, we had a great time. And, and like I say, we laugh about it because you know now they have big. I mean, this is a big stage, big setup, and every this race every year they'll have a. a Artists normally it's country, but they're usually you know like uh, Georgia, Florida line, and all these have been there. But I remember I used to go for ZZK and introduce the the act sometime. And I remember leaving and in the campground in turn three, Riley was set up just on his own, him and his buddies, and he was putting on a show. <laughs> How funny! And then now he's the the headliner. I think it's the second time he's headlined. I he, got real confused. He did a good job. I got real confused fun. because I got and you're going to laugh at this, bub. I was like, I guess they're trying to do a bunch of different musical tastes. I'm a little surprised they got Riley Green and Macklemore. <laughs> but you know you're talking about John. Yeah, uh, I, I, didn't, I didn't realize that we were talking about John McLemore a master of Masterville. Master <laughs> but, uh, well, they want to mix it up. I was like, yeah, you know, I saw, I saw, uh, talked to McLemore. I was like, man, they really. <laughs> well, Talladega, that, that's, they're they trying to reach out. all audience. With special yeah. guest, Ryan Smith. Right. The, uh, hey, he had a huge crowd. It was. Uh, yeah. Did you was, stay for a little bit of it? I watched a few songs, and it was, the boy was getting late. Mm-hmm. You know? you, you Did little stay, Lee you, Hubbard enjoy it? Yeah, Lee gets sleepy. He don't like to stay out late. Right. Little Lee Hubbard gets sleepy. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he enjoyed it. He her. didn't leave before why grandpa's died, did he? Uh, Rick, I, I, we cut out. What? Well, it, it was hard to get to the Y'all stage. Y'all could have been sitting there holding each other and crying your eyes out. Oh, my God. <laughs> we, it was hard to get to the stage. It was, you know, big All right, crowd, so that, huh? this means but, that Greg thought he was a bit, right, right. and you wanted to go ahead and leave. Thought, thought I was a bit. Yeah, yeah, you backstage. No, and, yeah, right, it was good. So yeah. you were backstage because that's where you ought to be. Well, I mean, yeah, you, yeah. you discovered him. Man, no, <laughs> here we go again. <laughs> I mean, no. you, you he don't. hates that story. Did he say thank you? He does you? not. He loves that story. No. He brings it he up. He thinks is that the only story y'all got? He Every t- time we talk is to him, is Greg that's the only not thing the Reuben Kincaid? Not tell that story? Is, is Greg not the Reuben Kincaid to the Partridge yes. family? Yes. To, to what he is to Raleigh? <laughs> Bubba, Green. I, I'm gonna ask you a question. Well, but I went ahead and handed him off to the professionals. So, <laughs> so my baby brother booked Riley Green to play his daughter's 16th birthday party. And I'm supposed to never bring that up. Uh, right. Rick, right. That's when Riley was playing at the taco. When they're I'm when he did that, he was at the track. Just playing over on the side for fun with his friends. Right after Greg, he's on the main okay. stage. Let me tell you, Greg, y'all, let, I have nothing. To let do me with tell you this, Greg. 
reached out and he put his hand on Riley Green's shoulder <laughs> yeah. and, and turned him into gold. Yeah, I'm sure. I think he had a little help from little Lee Hubbard. Well, now Lee was working on the inside, I'm sure. Greg, <laughs> hey, Greg, you know, he, he promoted him uh, in the timber crew, crew and wood business. Oh, yeah. 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 That's, that's, that is yeah. true, by the way, Bubba. That's for you a to fact. Say, Bubba. Right. Yeah. It's a fact, I know Jack. what you meant. That's a fact, Jack. <laughs> Bubba, let me ask you. That, you know what Greg is to country yeah, music? Hit that spark. Greg is to country music what that fat guy was to boy bands. Oh, here you I mean, go. he, he goes <laughs> like, <laughs> Wilford Brimley. What was that guy's yeah. name? Yeah. <laughs> he looked like Wilford Brimley. It started every one of them. I have, I, I have nothing to do with this conversation. <laughs> okay. So, but we had a great time. And so we're not even going to talk about it. Yeah, we we won't even talk about it when Tim and Faith called you and asked you a few things. Well, Rick, I didn't want anybody to know about <laughs> Let me ask you, did Riley recognize you from the stage? No. The man of course that discovered me is back here, Greg. Yeah. I would have. Greg, yeah. come on out, Greg. <laughs> okay. <laughs> we'll be right back. Rick and Bubba, Rick and Bubba. This is funny, just looking at this one, the Dirty Fry Bird. Mm. <laughs> uh, it, it includes uh, <laughs> six fried chicken legs. Uh, and a pound of fries all mixed together. Well, Look at that platter there. They get creative. They with really are. They really are. Uh, and you wash it down with a twelve dollar beer. And mm. maybe if you yeah. if you have a flavor for the Southwest, what about the Taco Dilla? Oh, I saw that oh, one too. Oh, I was kind of in my but, but ballpark. It is there. a quesadilla. Quesadilla. The a what? Quesadilla. A case of what? Thank you, Napoleon. There's too Quesadilla. many names. Quesadilla. There's too many names hyphenated here. Yeah. Uh, it, it, <laughs> and it's topped with four tacos. <laughs> so they have a big old plate flat, mm-hmm. and then they have the tacos on the top. Are they just trying to kill people? <laughs> they they are. really are. It's like the Heart Attack Cafe. Really. See, I said this. This is not intriguing to me. These food dares. It's, it's never done anything. You remember for I me. tried one on the air, and I and it knocked, almost got sick. <clears throat> yeah. And I thought I could do it. I thought I could do it, and I, I didn't even get halfway through it. But too I mean, that, but that's not enjoyable yeah. to me. <laughs> I like too to much have, bread. You know, they 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 have here in where we live, and we've been. Talking about it for years, and finally the boys is kind of them wrapping up their their summer. We took them. To, we have a place here that has just a hamburger, but the quality of it is supposed to be so incredible. It's a seventeen dollar burger. Good lord! And of course we've been like the steak burger. Ne- never did you know, never did do it. Never did do it. And finally the boys both went one day and we did it, and uh, and it was very good. Very very good. Uh, what is what kind the, of fixings? You what get is the that? hamburger we ate that was off the I don't secret think you menu? Did. Remember that. The meat mm. something. Yeah, what was that? It was part of the documentary that. Well, we have oh, to ask oh, no, 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 That was that the Arby's burger. That was that Arby's thing yeah, where but, they piled all that meat on it. But what was it called? I forget, but I it had know. meat. Like, we, it was, it was you remember, we ate meat. one here it for was. breakfast. Yeah. Meat, meat Mountain. Mountain. That's right. it. Had every meat that they sell at the restaurant. You could feel your, your blood flow just sludging. Yes. <laughs> well, we ate one, and I mean, I didn't eat for like a day and a half after yeah, that. It was, I mean, it was. that's the most I think I've ever ate at one time. Go until supper amazing. time, because you mean. No, I didn't, I didn't eat that. Bubba. I didn't eat the whole day. I was full. Good night. You ate breakfast the next day, though. The next day, probably. 24 hours. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Big burp and sleep, and I'm ready. <laughs> sure. But no, I, I don't enjoy that. Why would we want to do that? See, I was miserable. That I just day. like I, to have a good quality, normal burger that you could eat. You when know? I tried to eat that one on air, it was miserable. Yeah, that, what, what is enjoyable about There's that? not one thing. You didn't have an hour either. No, I didn't. No, I didn't. And it, what was it? It was like 10. You had minutes. Minutes, and a lot of thick bread got me. How do you like the quesadilla? Quesadilla. <laughs> I can't even say that today. Quesadilla with the four tacos you on top You need to go of feed it. Tina. <laughs> you know, <Napoleon>. Case of <laughs> uh, to me, again, it's, it, we're just getting weird with it. Can I, I just have now. some Southwestern food? <laughs> yeah, we're going to get some. I mean, it that looks pretty good, but it, it's kind well, of I don't, weird like, too. I don't like where they cram all Case the fries in there and all that. that. I hate all that. What was that stuff that Russell brought us from Talladega that time? The the big meatball? Remember that yeah. gigantic meatball? Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. That's pretty good. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, it just, <laughs> but it's still nothing. What do they call the big bubba? Some, nothing tops when they walk around with that turkey leg. We've talked that. about it many times. Well, disgusting. you look like a Viking. <laughs> it's not. I mean, they, it, it's not comfortable to try to eat it. It's, it yeah. I'm out in 100 degree yeah. heat and I'm yeah. gnawing on a turkey leg. I'm at a it's theme park. Too. I'm at a theme park. It's 99 degrees. We're on black pavement and I'm walking around with a turkey leg. <laughs> yeah. trying to eat Golly. it. Uh, <laughs> no, who, who wants to do that? I don't even like the turkey leg. No, me either. I don't even like it. Huh. I don't mm-hmm. even eat that on Thanksgiving. What's wrong with a nice turkey breast sandwich? There you go. Huh? Slice it up. Slice it up. Give me some sauce. It might be good. <laughs> Not a big food dare person. Not for no. 75 bucks either. $75?
Mm. Like you said, I'm getting a pretty good jersey for that. Mm-hmm. That motivated me. I thought most hamburgers at a, a big time sporting event cause that anyway. I'm right. not speedy. Right. Well, yeah. Oh, concession prices. That's unbelievable. They must laugh about it. I wonder how much we charge. Yeah. Oh. We'll be back. More Rick and Bubba next. Rick and Bubba, Rick and Bubba. Uh, we are <laughs> saying goodbye to another intern today, Pops of Troy. Uh, uh, heads, Troy. Heads off to Troy. Yeah, today's my last day. It's a sad day. Uh, Pat, it doesn't, it doesn't seem like you've been here that long. Is it yeah, me? Yeah, I know, right? It just doesn't seem that. When did you get here, Pops? Um, summer June, intern. right? Yeah. June was, was, was Time June, flies when you're having day. fun, doesn't mm-hmm. it? Yeah, it does. I mean, it was only like two days a week, but I mean, it feels like it just flew by. Yeah. yeah. Right. You know, yeah, it feels it. like it just kind of flew by. Mm-hmm. I got yeah. a voice. Yeah. Yeah. It just flew by. Well, you know. <laughs> I mean, I got to say, though, it was a lot of fun, and I did learn a lot here. And, did you, you really? Know, I, I got I to thank you guys. Like, this was amazing. Like, I, I don't think I could have a, a better place to intern at. Oh, thank you, man. So, And I know you're excited about getting in the biz, and it sounds like you may mm-hmm. have a, a gift to be uh, in the biz and on the broadcasting side. Now, what were you doing yesterday? Because again, I was recovering from the surgery. I was sick, and I and I heard. Um, <laughs> do I? I said I was sick. I was sick. <laughs> Eight minutes to the top of the hour. The Rick and Bubba Show. We are back. All right, so uh, let's take a look. Uh, NASCAR, what a finish. Um, I'm not trying to say I haven't been uh, around NASCAR in a long time. I don't even know who Ross Chastain is. Uh, but um, uh, I, I'll tell you what. Uh, I, he's I, an up-and-coming guy. They got a, a lot of young. Now, here's what's weird about, I would say weird, different. I, I was watching the footage, and he stands on his car, and he takes a watermelon and slams it. Okay. And they say that I he, saw that too. So I read, and they said his family's been in the watermelon business forever, and it's, it's like a tribute to his family or something. Yeah, I, I guess think. when he wins, they bring him a watermelon. <laughs> yeah. but, but Bob, I want you to look at this. This is what I love about the Talladega, the, the big tracks, and like you, Greg. It's really the only ones I watch. Oh yeah, I hadn't watched in a long time. The I don't want to say this because I know we want to keep the place packed, which it was. But the TV coverage now is unbelievable. It is. You're I right. mean, they, they've got cameras everywhere. If there's a wreck, they will be in the car with the guy who got hit. Oh yeah, and yeah. you'll see him get hit and hear him talking to his crew and the, all the conversations but see this is it bubba look how many cars are still ready yeah. t- ready to they at one time they had 38 cars within two and a half seconds of each other that's insane and i love that my yeah, love my too. love of bill elliott rick will not allow me to appreciate this because no, no. I, I hate restrictor plates let me ask you, know? you adler are we going to yeah. get in trouble should we just what C- I mean, can what do you can think? we do oh, this adler oh that can means we are we're going to be in so trouble. we're going to so archive people are going to be disappointed today <laughs> yeah probably so. Uh, but, probably so but at least we'll see the finish yeah. but, but so here they all come. credit to fox sports <laughs> here they all. fair use thank you fox sports for allowing us to use this fair use. <laughs> so. does it go to the outside he's gonna have to here he goes and he's in the wall opens the door up for the one here Ross comes comes Dane. Dane. and on the outside kyle larson added oh, oh my Dane. gosh how about you <laughs> ross chastain Ross is the boss of Talladega. Ross just kept it straight. Everyone else went everywhere. Well, he was able to. The five move, making that move to the outside, getting a big block by Eric Jones. Got him done. How did you hear the guy, the crew, you say, winner, winner, chicken? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, look That's at that bad. footage. He did just stay straight. Everybody all he was did. all Everything he around kept it. going straight. Well, the others, I mean, I know they wreck their cars, but they're not going to win if they don't try. Yeah. <laughs> right. Yeah. Might as well give it a shot. Yeah. Would you go for the win or just say, I got a good position here? Well, I, he, was in, he was in third when that clip started. I, I think it always it depends on your situation. Well, everybody, there's so uh, many people around you going for it. You better I mean, do something. If you've, if you've been. Uh, you know, called on the carpet by your car owner for tearing up the car. Yeah, too many I know. Times. That's what I'm. Wondering. You might you might be glad with third place. Mm-hmm. Uh, if if you think you know, I'm not going to be. I, I may never get back to Talladega again. Mm-hmm. I'm going to retire. I may go for it. Yeah. Uh, see, look, see, look, I'm sitting right yeah. Here. I'll see it. Yeah. See, yeah. And, and see, these guys start fighting, and he just. Boy, so, somebody shot way up. Well, that was 43. Was that? that was Jones. He was trying to block. Yeah, it looked hit. like. <clears throat> Boom. Mm, good night. Boy, then, when, <laughs> boy, he, he got on it, didn't he? And the mm-hmm. McDonald's car just barely got <laughs> tapped in the end. That, and and yeah. there you go. That's Bubba. Bubba well, Wallace. I, I, yeah. Oh, look, there's Greg and Riley. What? I thought you said you didn't go Sunday. <laughs> can, I, can I tell you what's what's funny is I, I when I was watching, it was one of the early wrecks. And, and of course, they have cameras everywhere. So, so uh, oh, what's that guy got? 
Is it, I don't it, think it's that, for that us, for us. No. Man, so that guy behind <laughs> you, Greg, I was looking out your window. Yes. Some guy came out with some food. Hey, not but, much breaks your concentration yeah. like that. Yeah, wow. that, that guy, that Somebody guy was, flag him down. That guy was serious, and I thought to myself, here comes here comes listener of the week. But, <laughs> I, think, Jeep on but I think listener of the week has already been spoken for when we get yeah. to Bubba's story. Maybe the month. Yeah, but anyway. Year. But what I'm talking about, so yeah. the, 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 they have so many cameras and so many microphones now, and sometimes it can be a little much. You want to say, I'd like to hear the commentators. Yeah. You know, kind of like when we first did the first USFL game. You're like, love all this. And even <laughs> Prayer talked about it. But let's still do it all at one time. We do yeah. want to hear what the announcers are actually saying. Yeah. But anyway, to be able to get in the car, and I didn't know about this because those cars are so safe. The driver, it was the 14 car. He is literally in his microphone as he's been hit going, bam, bam. And he's doing <laughs> <laughs> he, goes, he goes, he goes, well, bam, bam. Okay. And, but then, look, and you, you talk about they can't have nothing. This is the crew chief. This is the can't have I just put it on and you're done. <laughs> Shut it off. Yeah. Shut just it off. Go straight low, to the go low. And look, then, then he comes back and he goes, car's on fire. Get out. <laughs> yeah. Hey, just get to a stop and get out. Car's on fire. Yeah. How do y'all feel about it? Do you it? remember our instructions when we drove? If the car got on fire, you cut the engine off, you 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 get a deep breath, you pull the halon thing and then get out. Oh, know? yes. I remember thinking, yeah, because we said, by like, golly, if this thing gets on fire, you, all you're going to smell is bacon. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Ain't no hey, way we can get it, out of this car. It took about four people to get me in it. I know I ain't getting ain't out no by myself. Ain't no way we can get out. Ain't no, no way we can get out. <laughs> hey, you're right. Get down. Car's on fire. Just get out. <laughs> That, I remember him saying, "Get a big deep breath before you pull that, because it takes all the oxygen out of it." <laughs> yeah, oh yeah. But I didn't. But I didn't think that I was going to hear the guy in there actually doing <laughs> doing the noise as he was getting hit. Yeah. Bam, bam. <laughs> yeah. Ooh, ah, ooh, ooh, that's gonna leave him. Yeah. Cars on fire. Get out. What do y'all think about him about him moving the number up further so you can have more uh, door for the sponsor? Well, I understand the sponsors want every dime of what they're paying. Yeah. I got that. But it kind of grew on me. I didn't like it at first. Yeah. But it's okay. I did not it. like it when I first saw it, yeah. but as the race went on, the cars actually looked pretty cool. Yeah. yeah. They, they, uh, what yeah. is moose.org? What not is sure. It? It's a uh, kids, uh, I don't know, some kind of international kids caring. I don't know what they Here's what I noticed just in him. Be a moose. Uh, I be a moose. Be a moose.org. Yeah. Yeah. Here's pretty, what I noticed. It's, it's helping kids, and it may be, I don't know, That's I don't want to step out. Cancer or something, but it's just it's helping children in some okay, form or okay. fashion. Now I'm going to change my view. When you first started, and the only reason I know <laughs> that he feels bad. The only reason I know He's about to make is a because when I saw it a minute ago, I thought, Look "My gracious, up. what is that?" No, no, I want to. And it takes you to a website, and it's yeah. about kids, which is why you put it on the car. And that's there why you give it more room so people can see. I was a little scared when I saw it say "Be a moose." I see. I was all over. But what I saw was this, and nothing against nothing against the organization. They obviously they obviously do good work from what we can tell, but what. I saw you do, which I've done before. You committed to mm. thinking, going to explain it to us. And I, in the beginning, I thought you went, I don't know that I have the effort. If I want well, to put the effort in it, because you knew you weren't quite sure, and you realized you'd stepped into the arena. You just ran it. And now we're all looking at you, and we need you to finish it and tell us tell us what it is. And it, and it wasn't nothing like I thought it would be. Right. I yeah. didn't know it would be caring for children. Kind of, that's yeah. good marketing. It is. Mm-hmm. And, uh, and then See, I saw – look, they, they, this paid for their, their – uh, <laughs> Their sponsorship on side of the car. Right. How many people you think go yeah. into their website? What right about now? the? I saw one this purple car that was running good early. It had like Tootsie's down yeah. the side of it. Yeah. Was that a Nashville <laughs> restaurant or something? Or? I can't remember. Because it had Nashville yes. on the back, Music Did City it? on the okay. back. Of the car. That's yeah. so. Um, oh, that uh, which uh, might be a ad to Daniel yeah. Suarez. That's in mm-hmm. that is. He was running good early. Yeah, I don't know whatever happened to it. Who does Little Lee Hubbard pull for? Uh, he don't know. He ain't been doing nothing. He don't even know who that was. Was that his first time? Together? Yeah. What do you think? What? He liked it. Little when Lee they Hubbard. Come, you know, when they go, Wah, when they come screaming uh, by. Oh, yeah. That's the most amazing thing, Rick. Yeah. Little Lee Hubbard, Hubbard has never heard, done NASCAR, man. Yeah, he's yeah, heard we, cars run like that up Highway 9. Before. Well, no, that's true. <laughs> that brings shame to Calhoun County. I know, but we took care of it. Okay. <laughs> All right. Boy, the boy did you. Top of the hour. <laughs> Rick and Bubba, Rick and Bubba. So I heard the boys saying we're we're headed to this was the day before yesterday. We're headed to the studio tomorrow. And no, it was yesterday. It was, yeah, it, it was yesterday. yesterday. Well, this one they were telling me yeah. though, not before yeah. last they were telling me that the next morning, which would have been yesterday morning, and I, you know, and you're kind of in that haze, and I was like, <laughs> do I even want to pursue that? What 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 yeah. are you doing? And, and then they said we're going to do a podcast <laughs> with Pipes of Troy. <laughs> what what was that? Well. um... I mean, I kind of want to do a podcast because, I mean, like, you know, we talked about it earlier. And then I thought, what if we got Brooks and Brody on? Right. All right. And um, so I asked them. They were both down for it. 
And um, oh, I bet. Before, before I asked them, I, I I made sure that they asked you to make sure it was okay. Then I asked Hemsley if it was okay if we used the production room on Wednesday. <laughs> and um, you know, after we got to go ahead, uh, we went down on Wednesday, and um, we it, it was some gold that we recorded. It was really good. We got like two old episodes. <laughs> That's, That's great. So good. It was really good. We're calling it PBS, um, Pipes, <laughs> Big Love, and we're calling Brody Sal, so PBS would work. Sal? Did y'all just, uh, you just say we need an S? That's, that's yeah. the fourth yeah, nickname. I like, that. I like that. Hey, that's the fourth nickname for him now. <laughs> Sal. Actually, Taz, at, Young Broderick, uh, Sal. Yeah. I may go with Sal. Adler and uh, Sophie actually gave us an idea of uh, J. So PB and J. Right. Uh, okay. okay. I don't know. it. We're, we're 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 thinking about it, but um. Well, Brody's first name is James. So oh, that, it is. Yeah, dude, that could work. Yeah, <laughs> look at it. Write it down, quick. <laughs> Wait, I, I already I already told him about it in the group text. Dude, actually, I don't know what are they saying. Rick, one know. of the things that that caught me off guard about this one is because I always ask the interns when I know they're going. I always ask what their last day is going to be, and so about two weeks out, I always say, hey. Is there something that you didn't learn that you want to? Right. So I can't make any promises, but we can certainly help you out. Sure. I usually get no takers on that. Nobody says, hey, I want to do this. He immediately fires back, you know what? I would really like to work on my voice and maybe possibly do some recordings mm-hmm. and those type of things. So we set him up last week in the production room. He started tinkering around and doing Good. some things and Good. working on some things. And so that's how this developed into the podcast. With your boys. Oh, good. And I got to tell you, when when they text me Wednesday night to ask me if it was okay to come in, I thought, I think this is excellent. R- Rick's boys being here and him knowing that, and he can't be here, it's got to be uncomfortable for him. If I had not been <laughs> such in recovery mode where there was nothing that could really stop me, nothing mattered other than <laughs> pushing through what I was doing, you really could have asked me for anything. Yeah, it sounds fine. Just, yeah. Two. It's but, a two. But yeah, your kids being up here and you not being here is a terrible feeling. I bet. But, uh, well, when we when I, I saw them, I was, I tried to because I didn't know this and I, I was like, what are they doing? Yeah. Well, I'm like, what, they what walk they by the here? window and you're like, well, what are they doing here? Right. Yeah. And then what's going on with Rick? We don't know about. Right. And then talking to Brody in the kitchen about you was priceless. Because I was like, did you even know your dad was having surgery? I didn't know. They don't tell me anything. Yeah. They stay still <laughs> on. Oh yeah, yeah. Played for the Carolina Panthers and played for Florida State had had made some comment, which I didn't know, uh, that he could have been further along as a receiver right now if he had not been drafted by the Panthers and played his early seasons with Cam Newton because if he had played with a better better quarterback, bottom line, he would have had better numbers. And then uh, I guess in preseason, the Bills and the Panthers were about to play each other. Yeah, like, yeah it was about a week before they uh, yeah. they were going to play. So yeah. Cam decided to go out and say hey to his old teammate, Benji, and uh, yeah. they, uh, they uh, you know, it – it added a little extra fun to a preseason game that really nobody right. would even have known the score of. Right. Uh, to get to see them have a little bit of a discussion. Uh, it didn't look like Kelvin Benjamin wanted to, uh, much to do with it and tried to get away from him. Cam finally waved him off and went on. So, but they had they had a pretty good little discussion well, there for a minute. I mean, you can see, but um, you can see, you know, if someone had something to say about that in the press, and you thought, well, you know what? Look here, here we are in the same stadium, and. <laughs> Here we are walking around pregame. You probably go over and say, "Now here I am." Let's, An let's old talk teammate about it. too, you know. Oh no doubt, but it and it looked like they discussed it for a minute. But yeah. that, uh, I mean, do you not know that moment's coming where all of a sudden you look and here comes Cam uh, walking across the field? I've been talking crap about you in the press, and here you are. <laughs> here you are. <laughs> Both of them big men. Big. That's men. that's two big men there. Yep. Maybe yep. they should have fought it out. Yeah. yeah well, not? you know, go but, at uh, it. So anyway, we'll we'll see. I'm sure he'll roll the numbers up with the bills, but. Um, <laughs> uh, but anyway, we'll uh, we'll we'll see. Yeah. But but, but yeah. You, you said Calvin Benjamin made the comment that if he'd played with Aaron yeah. Rodgers, yeah. Roethlisberger, yeah. Tom Brady, those kind of quarterbacks, he'd had better numbers. Well, well yeah. I, I mean, th- those th- those those people are going into the Hall of Fame. I mean, yeah. if 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 I you know if you're a receiver and you get to play with Aaron Rodgers or Tom Brady, you probably do have better numbers. I I, I bet you would. Well, I you think. Know? Um, <laughs> yeah, you would tend to. Right. You know, Cam's numbers, he had some record-setting yeah. early years. He had a bad year uh, along the way in there, but he, he also had an MVP year, too. So, you know, I, I don't know. I think uh, Calvin, Calvin Benjamin, Calvin. Calvin Benjamin uh, you know, he, he's one of these receivers that's going to get kind of the, the, the blame, too, that he, he doesn't always give it 100%. He did score a touchdown on the first drive last night and then uh, leaped into the stands and then – 
the Panthers came back and scored one to tie it up. So uh, it, it it made for a much more interesting preseason game than normal. Yeah, I've seen so little professional football. I don't know if Calvin Benjamin's even Kelvin Kel- Kelvin's done well or not. I haven't seen enough games to know. I don't know. No, I know zero about it. But I do know this is interesting to see each other in pregame after you've been mouthing. You know, mm-hmm. <laughs> it looks like Benjamin's trying to get away from him. Cam won't let him for a minute, and then he waves him off. Yep. Yeah, so he said he wasn't even trying to listen to Cam. No, well, he ain't, no, he ain't gonna be listening. He said, "I ain't even <laughs> trying to listen to him." Right. So I, I didn't know they had some big falling out until you told me about the big comment. In the press. Boy, you can tell he's asking him about it. Yeah. It. Oh, and, and see, there's another guy. He's he's a linebacker there, and Cam kind of pushes him. Out. He says, uh, let, "Let's have a word here a minute." Six minutes past the hour. Rick and Bubba show, Buffalo Wild Wings, Rick and Bubba charity charge again today for Make-A-Wish Alabama at all participating Buffalo Wild Wings. Enjoy that and make a difference at the same time. A new Rick and Bubba University podcast out now. Uh, Nathan Parker uh, is our, I'm sorry, Dan Parker is our guest. Uh, So enjoy that story from this uh, past weekend on Rick and Bubba University, the podcast. Speedy, the real Greg Burgess, Helmsy, Adler, all here. And Rick, I want to be clear, too. People who know Dan Parker close and personally sometimes call him Mike. Yes. That's his nickname. Yeah, yeah. A lot of people don't know And that. the people super close do it two times real close together. <laughs> uh, welcome back, Bill Bubba Busty. There he is. <laughs> oh, Rick, glad to be here. What a weekend. What a weekend. What a weekend. Bubba, t- how'd your weekend go, buddy? Well, let, let me set the stage for what I'm about to tell you. Um because we have a lot of people new to the show, a lot of people passing through that may not fully know. Buddy. Well, hey, good morning. Uh, <laughs> when I'm not in the shot, I <laughs> that, that may not know our personalities or our background or sure. how we approach things. Right. Well, you know, I take care of my equipment. Yeah, yeah. You know, oh, I, I believe in the right tool absolutely. for the right job. I try to take care you of the equipment. You love people messing I like to have yeah. a plan. Absolutely. You know, when I go out. And, and this was drilled into me by my my father, who was a World War II vet. I'm a little late on the tree. And, um, you know, he, he was a big believer in that, Rick. He he would suggest that. Preparation. Uh, sometimes mm-hmm. demand that yeah. Of, yeah. of young Bubba. Absolutely. And um, <laughs> so, you know, I kind of I kind of grew up with that mentality. So we uh, we had a, um, uh, you, you know, if you if you cooked scrambled eggs in a 50-gallon drum over an open fire and stirred it with a boat paddle <laughs> while the uh, Empire of the Rising Sun's firing at you, you'll, yeah. you'll kind of develop some, you some rules that you kind of right. go by. Absolutely. You know? That's it. Uh, nothing like cooking scrambled eggs for breakfast and firing at zeros for the <laughs> afternoon. <you know? laughs> so, <Yeah>. uh, <coughs> that'll, uh, that'll definitely get you hardened up. No doubt. Yeah. So uh, the thing about this is we had a, had a mission I needed to go on. And we, we have a little piece of property, and we're trying to decide exactly what to do with it. Mm-hmm. Are we going to hunt it? Are we just going to use it for timber? Are we going to use it for mixed purposes? Are we going to clear cut it, sell the dirt, resell it? We're still trying to work all that out. So we're going to access this property, and I, I carried a guy with me who's a, a real seasoned pro at this. I, I'll keep his identity out of this just to protect him. But for the sake of this of this story, we're going to call him Bobby. Okay. Bobby, all right, Bobby. All right. Hey, Bobby. 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 Hey. Call him Bobby's a, he's a real outdoorsman. I mean, he's he's killed uh, bears with bows. I mean, he's he's hunted all over Canada. I mean, he's he's a real deal. Can I ask yeah. you a question on yeah. that and uh, on Bobby? Yeah, you're saying we are trying to decide. Do you mean you and Bobby? Well, I just or, or do I you just mean your mean, family? I just mean yeah, me, we, us. You know, kind of a corporate. Get some input from everybody. Kind right, of, but it, you're ta- but you but I'll you, eventually have to make the call. But yeah, you know, but you're just, not. You don't have a partner in this. No, movie. It's, it's, your, it's, your, it's, it's your family's. Life. Not yeah. not other than the lovely Betty Lou. Right. Well, he's yeah. consulting you, Bobby. Who's, who's my life partner? Who probably couldn't care less what you do. <laughs> right, but uh, the uh, yeah. who, who don't even know where it is. Right, really. yeah, so, right, yeah, and don't so, care. So, so Bobby is just right. here to help you. Bobby assess- is assessing. Helping. Right, we're yeah, assessing. Okay. okay. So, Rick, we uh, we load up, and the we're, and you got to keep this in mind for the rest of the story. We're in a Ram thirty five hundred diesel mm-hmm. big truck, right. big sure long truck, 
we have a 16 foot trailer and we have a UTV on the trailer. Okay. And it's, it's fairly big. It's a, what they call a six seater. I call it a four seater. Mm-hmm. I, and, agree with, I agree with you on that. And we're, we're going to go in now. One of the problems with this little track of land is accessing it is not very easy. Right. It is okay. on a road that may be the worst road since roads were invented. <laughs> right. Okay. okay. Right. And timber companies and trucks mm. has been tore, hadn't been maintained properly. And it, it has some ruts in it, Rick, that are knee deep and some that are waist deep. Oh. You know what I mean? Oh, wow. I mean, serious uh-uh. ruts. Yeah. There's some mud holes on this road that, you know, we were talking about it earlier. When we were growing up, we lived in mortal fear of quicksand oh, yeah. in the woods, oh, which yeah. I don't know of anybody that ever fell into quicksand. I saw it on TV. I all don't the think time. we have quicksand. But remember in the swamp we had, yeah. we thought there was quicksand. Word got out yeah. there was quicksand. But but up to your knee and you thought you was not a lot of quicksand in Alabama, yeah. but we thought there was. Yeah, yeah. yeah we thought it was a possibility. Right. But There's, all you got to do is somebody stick a, uh, a limb in there and pull you out like it does in the movie. Right. Yeah. You, you hope if somebody's there right. to do that. So. There are various mud holes on this road, and there's one in particular that I told the story a few weeks ago about oh, yeah. getting this particular UTV stuck in to the point I thought it was going to be swallowed alive. I remember that, yeah. And uh, thank goodness to my uh, Mountain Brook redneck friend, Thomas Morrison, who was quick enough to get out to save the day. Yeah. So if this one the one particular mud hole I have nicknamed Miney Bitch, Mighty Mitch. Mighty Mitch. Mighty Mitch. Mighty Mitch. Mighty Mitch. Is that no, what, you what you said? That's not what you said. Yeah, I, I said Mighty Mitch. Mitch. Yeah. Good night, Bob. What, what, the, what he said the first time is what he said after he was mad at me. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Bobby. And Rick, I, I think. Why, yeah, why Mitch? I feel, I feel pretty confident that. <laughs> We if they recording. ever if they ever drained this mud hole and uh-huh. it was ever, you know, cleared out, they could find bodies, oh, they yeah. could find automobiles. It's a real deal. There, may, there may be an eighteen wheeler down oh, in boy. that thing, as far as I know. <laughs> a logging it, truck. It, Rick, this mud hole's so yeah. big, I have caught fish in ponds smaller than this. Oh yeah. You know, yeah. it's it's like one of these show enough deals. So if you try to go down this road, the locals have wor- have workarounds. Well, you well basically, to. they'll just go through somebody's property to get around it. Right. Well, you can't and go through Mighty Mitch. No, no, not, oh. not, not, and keep it all together. I mean, it almost swallowed me once. Right, so yeah. you know, yeah. uh, I don't even deal with Mighty Mitch. You, I so mean, you I'm go like, around him too. Yeah, I, mm-hmm. I ain't dealing with that thing. Mm-hmm. You know, I, I, I know how this will end, so I don't deal. Mighty with Mitch it. is a dangerous ditch. So, <laughs> so we had to park Man. about a mile away mm. from the actual property. Oh, no. Mm. So then we take the UTV and we go in. So where, whose property are you on now? Well, it's, it's the road, okay. you know, but we're going to our, our, pro- our place. Mm-hmm. Your so place. We, we go in and um, we're, we're surveying the area. We, we got a couple of things done. Got a tree that was blocking the road. Now, we're loaded to the hilt with chainsaws you and be. batteries you better be. and all kind of other equipment. Which is also going to play into this story. So now I got to ask a question: Are you in, sitting in the UTV while Bobby moves the trees? Yeah. Uh, no, I, I actually help probably more this time than okay. I normally okay. do. All right, all right. Uh, well done. A lot of times I just I'm the driver. Of course. <laughs> You're right. Yeah. Of course. And, and you have to you have to put the seatbelt on to get up to speed. Right. So I get tired of taking that. Thing. I understand. Oh yeah. So um, we're we're clearing that. We're 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 coming back out this one road and and the guy with me named Bobby. Right. Uh, looks over and says, "Hey, there's a trail right there. Why don't we see where uh, it goes?" Oh, oh, oh. Famous last word, and I, Bobby. Gosh. And I, I really, I'm like, "Come on, mm, Bobby." I didn't want to I mean, do that because we had other places to go, you know. And I said, "I don't know if I want to do that." I don't know about but that. you got to explore your new land. And and he said, uh, he said, "Well, let me let me walk down here a ways and just take a look. And we'll see how open it is." I said, "Okay, I'll, I'll wait right here." So he went down and come back. He said, "Yeah, it's open for a pretty good ways. If you want to try it, now it's tight." Okay, and there's limbs all you know. Sure. We have a limb there. Spiders Bobby. everywhere. Come on, Bobby. And, and and keep in mind, we're we're on a day that it's going to be 85 degrees. Oh yeah, mm-hmm. warm. we're in snake country, mm-hmm. tick country. Mm-hmm. Oh, that's all so you are about. Listen, we're we're armed and ready. I'm, I'm expecting Mitch. because in the past. My history of running into rattlesnakes has been 85 degrees. That's yeah. that's prime time. Too Sweet hot. Spot. Hotter than that, they'll stay out of the yeah. sun too. Sweet spot. 85 is hey, we're hey, we're going to town. You uh-huh. know what I mean? Right. So we're about to explore a little side road with my friend who we're calling Bobby. Come on, Bobby. Bobby, you know better than this. You and me and Bobby McGee. I mean, 
Is this all to avoid Mighty Mitch, this new trail, or is no, this just this an is, adventure? We, we've already worked around Mighty Mitch. We're oh. already way down the road. Oh, no. So you really, you're, really cl- you're clear. clear. About a mile and a half, we'll to be, be exact. Rick and Bubba, Rick and Bubba. Right, right, right. <laughs> he yeah, he's following him around, around too. Yeah. Oh, yeah. you know he's all in that ear. Oh, yeah, right now. He, he, he so why, just, were you, why you want to say something like that? Yeah. Why, hey, <laughs> huh? why, why, so why are you wearing me out? Why, why you want to talk to huh? me, though? Why can't we just talk about it right now? Here, so, right here? I mean, here I am. I'm why, standing why you right say here. That? Why, why you say that? Why are you walking away? I <laughs> thought you were my boy. I ain't even trying to listen to you. Did, did I not throw I, you I'm some trying, passes? Did we not have some touchdowns? Look, you, did, didn't we go to the Super Bowl? Look, I'm as tall as you are. So so anyway. But yeah, um, that got that got a little little heated. Yeah, yeah, that's good. That's that's a good little story. Don't know why you do that. You know, you, but I, you know, it's such a better story than somebody kneeling or holding their oh, fist I, up. Or, well, there's plenty of news you know, about that. that. Yeah, yeah, I understand. We got some kneelers. That's fine. Look, if the NFL wants to just say we're we're uh, we're just destroying our product, we're going to continue to do so. I, I mean, it's, I, you, you know what was strange too? Does anybody the, learn from the, the Dixie Chicks? Anybody? The, the NFL passed some new rules. Well, then the Players Association objected to it, and they decided that they would table it, okay? Now, we all thought that meant, like, for a week. Right. <laughs> Until they worked it out. Right. So they tabled So I thought when they tabled it, that meant they wouldn't pass any more rules about it and the players wouldn't protest until they worked it out. I thought that's what they were doing. But the players get to, get to keep doing what they're doing and the owners can't do what they want to implement. I, I don't see how that's a, that's tabling uh, the, the, the issue, huh? Uh, I see we got a new TV. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, well, yeah honey, I it? shrunk the TV. Yeah, I, 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 the brackets are bigger than the TV. <laughs> well, that's a, well it's, that's the way it's sitting on there. It's kind of right. Is that, uh, no, it's still pretty small. <laughs> the, yeah, I, yeah. The, 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 uh, a little smaller than the other. <laughs> right, yeah, it is. I, mean, I told Bubba what I love Let's about him. Adler. Is that he, Let's call it Adler. Instead of just going and exchanging it for what we need, he stayed with it, which is what I love. Oh, yeah, yeah well, <laughs> okay. well, well, looks good, though. We need some in the hall, too. <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> mini yeah. tube, mini tube. <laughs> little, little tiny TV. <laughs> well, uh, we'll be back. Isn't that funny? It looks tiny and it's 32 inches. Isn't that something? Yeah. I guess it's that big one right above. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's it. yeah that 36 <laughs> makes it look a little smaller. <laughs> it we'll, does. We'll be back. More Rick and Bubba right after this. Rick and Bubba, Rick and Bubba. This is, um, but there is an update on it. This um, bizarre and really tragic story a- involving a man who um, started tapping on the window of an automobile in New York City, uh, thinking it was his Uber driver, and then the driver inside uh, we thought, I guess, he was um, being approached um, and was uh, maybe going to be carjacked or something and got out and punched the man, and he punched him so hard he fell and then hit his head on the, on the, on the concrete as well on the curb or on something hard and and it killed him and now we're we're discovering with a little more information coming out uh is that um you know of course here's that term early sunday morning again Mm -hmm. uh that uh, the person who was killed uh was intoxicated but he was confused about whether this was his uber driver or not um, and uh, the tourist name is Sandor. Is it Sosbo? Uh, undoubtedly, I don't know where he's from. I, I'm, he's from Florida, but yeah. you're right. I, it, it, that's a tough last name there. They now are charging mm-hmm. Jamil Jones with assault uh, in connection with the deadly attack on the tourist, and come to find out this person is an assistant men's basketball coach at Wake Forest. Uh, so that's who they have arrested and charged with assault. Um, and uh, I guess they're saying that uh, his response to someone, you know, tapping on his window was was more than probably called for, and mm-hmm. especially since it killed the man. Uh, so um, uh, Jamil Jones punched allegedly punched the man who was also the same age, they're both thirty five, saying there was some sort of confrontation Sunday. This is where we talk about him being confused about the Uber driver, and it was the pavement. Said he got punched, then he fell on his head on the pavement and knocked him unconscious, and he died two days later. Uh, and then Jones fled the scene, and um, and they're, and they're not no exact they're not sure exactly why they decided to arrest him, uh, but their sources now saying that that the tourist was intoxicated and was banging on cars outside his brother's hotel while looking for a ride that he had called, and undoubtedly when he banged on jo- Jones' car he didn't take it very well, and got out and punched him, and then when he punched him he fell on his head on the pavement and it killed him. And, and and now mm-hmm. the the person who's being charged 
<clears throat> with the assault is an assistant basketball coach at Wake Forest. Yeah, and the medical cool. examiner's report will determine, which it's obvious to me, it says whether the punch led to his death, and if so, the charges are going to be upgraded from assault to, to something else. But it seems like the punch most definitely led to his death, right? Or he wouldn't have fallen back and hit his head. Well, Rick and Bubba, Rick and Bubba. Pass the gravy, please. Rick and Bubba, Rick and Bubba. 20 minutes past the hour of the Rick and Bubba show, looking back over the weekend. Uh, Bubba retelling the story, so he's gone out to this new piece of land uh, with Bobby. Uh, that's what we'll call him. He'll remain nameless. Um, and he, the, when we left, you had gotten past Mighty Mitch, the Dangerous Ditch, and Bobby, which we'll call him, says, hey, look here, here's a trail we, we might want to go down, and you've never been down this no, trail, No, right? we hadn't, and it was grown up. It was very tight. We're right. going through there few inches of clearance in some of the trees you know mm. but it's grown up limbs are hitting you it's 85 degrees yeah it's getting there and uh so we're we're working our way down the trail and the trail comes to an end Uh-oh. big tree across it grown mm. up don't no way around it get it bobby so i said uh bobby we're gonna have to turn around and go back James, oh. this is it we're gonna, we're gonna get back on our trail and get right. back on our plan for the day i had a plan were right you a little bit frustrated with this written written detour or no no no, no. Okay. I, I i thought i agree you in you know, you know, we've, this we we've got to, you know, we're solving mysteries. We got to go and right. look. We you, gotta, don't, you don't know this place. You need yeah, to we got to go and explore where you know yeah. only few people have tread. Right. Mm-hmm. And um, now this is okay. So where you are on this adventure, it is your property yes, now. Yes. Okay. Yeah. <clears throat> but we're deep. We're oh, deep in deep. There. And we're coming back out. And I think there was a limb I was trying to avoid mm. as it was hitting me. Mm. And I got over a little too far to the right, mm. and I ran the right front tire into a tree. Oh, my gosh. Okay. It was kind of an abrupt stop. Really? Yeah, well, okay. oh, and so I backed up, you know, and tried to go again. And immediately as we started going again, I realized, hey, we got a problem because I couldn't steer. Oh, no. And we got out and looked, and we broke the steering rod. Oh, oh no. On oh, the right no. side. And oh, you know, yes, you did, oh, man. man. That's not just a little bump. Snap. So oh, good. As, you hit that tree pretty good. As we're trying to move forward, oh, no. oh, wow. the wheel on the right side is just turning completely in like I'm plowing. With yeah. It, you know? The wheel yeah. on the bus will not yeah. go round and round. <laughs> and, and we can't we can't make it go. We tried to stabilize it a few times. There was no way. So then, Rick, nice we have way. a perplexing problem. We're deep in the woods. Mm-hmm. We have a lot of equipment out there. Snakes and ticks. Mm. We're in a snake and tick just infestation. Infestation, right? Good term. The snakes know you. No, they know you're dead. Now they're moving toward you. And <laughs> we're trying to figure out the best plan of action. Of course, your cell phone never works. No, okay. not, so if you, not if you're out there on some good land. So I told our friend who we're calling Bobby. Bobby, I said, Bobby, we're gonna have to hoof it back, man. We're gonna have to get on it. So we begin heading back to the truck through infested. Jungle, oh, woods. Yeah, sure. Are you okay at this uh, point? Were you naked and afraid? Well, <laughs> now keep in mind, I'm I'm dressed for heavy woods action. I've, I got my snake boots yeah. on. I got uh-huh. my jeans tucked in. Uh-huh. Sweating. I got me a white shirt on to spot ticks, you know. Hat. <laughs> Time out. You wear a white shirt to spot ticks? Yeah, tick? you're supposed to. How about Y'all just a little bit of spray? Never heard that. I just I, sprayed I'm sprayed, too. That. I'm sprayed. I'm sprayed with so much deed I can taste oh, it. Yeah. You know what I mean? If I'm gonna hit the woods, yeah. I'm gonna get the deed out. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna yeah, we are it all works. deeded up. Watch out, Bobby. Mm-hmm. So we have to walk through these woods, and then we get back to possibly the worst road in the history of roads, and we have to hike back to the truck. Now, Rick, you know hiking is probably not one of my not strong suits. No, it's not. <laughs> Especially after not. walking uphill, I mm. felt like most yeah. of the way. Yeah, yeah. those snake boots uh, uncomfortable. Right. Yeah, they're they're yeah. not the best they're walking boots. Right. No, they're no, really they're no not. Chuck Taylor. No, no, they're not. No, and there's not there's not a donut or a corn dog waiting on the other side. <laughs> <of thing. laughs> not even a granola. Bar. Thank you for no. mentioning we had not had breakfast. Okay, oh, okay. buddy. Mm. And well, we're, we're, we're planning we're, on your part. We're spinning into lunch now. Look at no. where you snap that thing. Good That's gracious. So hit, man. we get back to the road. We make a few calls to some people, you know, friends, and none of them are in a position to help us, which mm-hmm. I understand. Yeah. But we had to make the call. <laughs> what kind of distance is this land from where your friends would be? Well, it depends on where they're at at any given Say time. Say they're around their house. Uh, <laughs> if they were at their farm, 20 minutes. 
if okay. they were at their house an hour and 15. Oh. This is this becomes their Saturday if they, if yeah. they decide. Right. But, yeah, I mean, people, they people got all yeah. kind of stuff going on. I understand that. Sure. But we, we're USFL trying to game. see yeah. if there was anybody close by. Well, you people are very busy. If you don't believe yeah. that, just ask the USFL trying to sell tickets. Sure. <laughs> sure, yeah, it is. A lot going on. Hey, are you really stuck on I'm that? I'm just funny. So, Rick, we <laughs> – I love uh, Rick Green jokes. <laughs> we, we're, cl- we, we're headed back, and – at one point before I get to the truck, I know it's the high is only 85, but it felt like it was getting close to 100. Well, I'll tell you why. Because Ooh. when you live in Bama, yeah. and, and we've come out of uh, you know our winter and Cold the early spring, yeah. and it's been, we don't, we're, we have to kind of ramp up to the heat that we're going to have in the summer. Yeah. And that first step into it's rough. So Rick, <clears throat> ruts in the road, giant mud holes, we're, we're trying to work our way back. And the last little part of the walk, the, the land has been clear cut on both sides of the road, so there's no shade, and we're out in the sun now. Mm. And mm. at that point, my mm. hat began to feel heavy. You know what I mean? Uh-huh. My gloves were heavy. Uh-huh. I mean, I'm I'm, you know, I'm I'm starting to come out of my white shirt. Right. You know yeah. what I mean? Right. I'm oh, like, picture that. I'm burning up. Yeah. Don't care if I see ticks or not. I don't get man. out and walk a lot right now. That's well, a shocker. Yeah. <laughs> and. Uh, so Especially we, on this great terrain you're in. <laughs> right. Yeah, that we, makes it that much easier. Yeah, even if I, you were going to walk for exercise, you wouldn't go there. Yeah, no, right. no, no, it's an obstacle course. Right. right. So I see the truck. We finally get to the truck, and I am just winded, of course. And now i got to climb up in the truck, you know, which is not an easy chore mm-hmm. in its own. Mm-hmm. Now you're a muddy mess at this point, too? Oh, yeah. Sure. Did you say hello, sure. truck? Sure. Start mm-hmm. petting it. Yeah. Hello, truck. Well, mm-hmm. right now you just love the truck because it's got AC in it. I but, love but here's, How many times do you think you saw the truck before you really saw the truck? <laughs> here's, here's, well, <laughs> the mirage. <laughs> there it is. There it is. Uh, but we, we've had to leave saws and back because there's no way to walk out with all that stuff. Well, I mean, I'm just glad to carry me out of there. Yeah. Well, what you would you just put in the back of the vehicle and say, well, here we go. You got to leave it all back on the vehicle yeah. that you left behind. I mean, it's yeah. it's it's stranded. So yeah. I'm I'm trying to think now. Do we just go back and try to get that? Do we try to get the vehicle? Out? How are you gonna go back? Finally, make make it to the truck, and we start to head out. How's Bobby's attitude right now? Oh, Bobby's always got a great. Yeah, that's attitude. what I. He, he's, that's right. he's, Did he ever he's say, "Hey, this is on me"? No, it w- it wasn't on him. I was driving. It's right, on me. But it was his trail. But I'm the I'm <laughs> I'm kind of mad at myself. Uh huh. Yeah. And I'm kind of talking to myself as we're walking back. Sure. And hungry. Greg, you've seen and, this. And Greg, Greg's kind of used uh, to seeing that I'd when I'm when I'm it. a little down on myself. <laughs> right. right. <laughs> oh, I bet halfway through that walk back, it got real good. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I, yeah. I started talking about mm-hmm. several things yeah. that you're familiar with. I won't go into. <laughs> right. Right. Um, yeah. yeah. You don't so, hit the tree. The Bobby diversion really ain't no big deal. Yeah, it's no, no big deal. No. I was driving. It's all. It's all on me. We're having a it's fun day. Mm-hmm. So. Bob has the idea. The guy everybody we're needs calling a, Bobby. Everybody needs a Bobby mm-hmm. for the attitude alone. Hey, he, he's got a, an idea that we could go and get a rod and possibly U bolt it on both sides and stabilize it enough to get out. Only okay. a Bobby would think of that. Mm-hmm. And, and uh, that's a, now where's a great the rod plan. and the U bolt going to come from? Well, we got we're driving to town now. We're in gotcha. the truck with an empty trailer driving to mm-hmm. town. Boy, that mm-hmm. air conditioner feels good though. Oh, it yeah. does. And you it probably really got does. you something to eat, didn't you? Get some crackers in there? Not yet. Not what, yet. No crackers well, in the truck? Hungry. Where are you? Uh, no, are you punishing Bubba? Way. Well, we were only going to be out there for a little while. But we you thought don't we'd ever be back leave without lunch. You leave mm-hmm. crackers in the truck? You're around. I like you, Bubba. It's, I think I Bubba. snacked on them here in the parking lot one morning. I ate the last pack. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> you got your emergency pack. You, you realize we got food in here. <laughs> right. That's so, real. We got crackers? <laughs> no, we don't. Really. We, we get to a <laughs> large box store. Okay. First one we come to, and Bob says, I'm going to go in and try to find what I think we need to fix this. In the meantime, I'm getting on the phone calling the place that I bought the, the UTV from to see if they have any ideas okay. how we can do That's this. That's smart. Right. And, okay. and I'll, uh, I'll share that name with you and tell you a little bit more about it okay. uh, when we come back. What big box store are you at? The orange one or the blue one? Orange. 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 Yeah. I know exactly where you are. Bottom of the hour. You know, big trucks and big trailers don't go through dry foods, really. No, no, no they no, don't. No. I, t- I bet you tried it. <laughs> I-, I have before. But I- <laughs> <laughs> hey, you are getting out again, <laughs> having to go in. <laughs> no way. Sir, take no. those muddy boots off, please. <laughs> we'll be right back. <laughs> Rick and Bubba, Rick and Bubba. I mean, if they say the pavement is actually what killed him, but he wouldn't have hit the pavement if he hadn't been punched. But yeah. the intoxication maybe will open up to maybe some gray area. Right. And 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 can this, the man who's being charged, the, the basketball coach, can he 
make a case that he thought he was right. under some sort of attack right. and was defending himself. You know, it, it's not going to be that clear, I don't no. think. I think it'll be a – Yeah, that, that's going to be a, a technical – issue there i don't know that's that's strange i mean you hear it you, you don't know i mean you don't know who was the aggressor you don't know you know if you had a video of it you'd have a better feel for the situation but you know you know florida has you been can see the, it either way really. yeah yeah that's what i'm talking about this one because when, it's one thing for somebody to say i'm tapping on windows now they're saying he was banging on cars yeah because he was drunk well you're in new york city it's it's uh, early wee hours of sunday morning uh, and a guy comes up and starts banging on your car i mean he may have thought Hey, I, I mean, this. I'm, I'm going to de- defend my car. I don't want him. I don't want him banging on it. Yeah. And I, I don't want him breaking my window or something like that. And you punch him, and then he falls down, hits his head, and it kills him. Yeah. You know, um, New York. I was looking here. They have a. You know, Florida made the news here recently because it was. A, it's a stand your ground yeah. state. Right. right. Uh, New York has a self defense law. That's what um, I was going to ask. That, that, that but it's a little weaker. Uh, they say than some other states. So, unlike Florida. Um, a, uh, you know where a citizen has the, uh, a duty to retreat from attackers if they feel they uh, they can safely do so. Uh, f- New York's a little bit weaker than Florida, so it'll be it'll be interesting to see if he, that's his defense or not. On um, that he felt threatened, like you're talking about. You know what this uh, this assistant basketball coach is. It was supposed to be his second season coming up, and I did not know that Danny Manning is the head coach at Wake Forest now. Yeah, yeah. So this is one of his assistants. Yeah. So. So there you go. So uh, unlike Florida, right. I want to make sure. Unlike in, in yeah, that's Florida, that's going to have a lot to say about it. Unlike in Florida, New York State, ha- a citizen has the duty to retreat from attackers if they feel they can safely do so. So I guess that's going to be the big discussion. Whereas in yeah, Florida, could you get away from this? You, is yeah. one of those times where he really wished you were in Florida. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you know, yeah, if, he, if you if you're if you're understanding your ground, the guy probably is fine. I think so too. Mm-hmm. Yeah, in New York, who knows? Well, right. no. So now, since we know that, then it, then where it happened, they're going to have to determine: uh, Did Jamil Jones could he have simply just driven his car away, and there be no altercation, or did he really feel like that he couldn't safely drive his car away? He needed to get the guy off his car. That's where it's going to boil down to, I guess, based on their state rules. Yeah, mm-hmm. New York's crazy. I mean, you remember oh, yeah. Bernie Getz? I, that oh, well, well, now, that's crazy. Sure. Yeah, if he punched him and then sped away in his F- SUV. I wonder if he could have sped away in his SUV b- without punching him, like you just said. Yeah, that, that's what we're going to be talking According about. According to that law, they're going. Yeah, that's, that's what's going to come into play. That's what we're going to be well, talking you, about in court. Well, mm-hmm. you don't know. I mean, the guy, if he if he tried, he obviously got out. I mean, he may have felt felt threatened. He couldn't he couldn't get away. I don't know. I don't, again, I hate to say this, but it goes back to I have to go back to classification point A, where it all went south. That's right. There's just not a lot of good happens after midnight out on the street anywhere. New right. York, I know New York City is a city that doesn't sleep. I got that, right. but maybe it should be. Yeah, maybe maybe <laughs> New York should. Uh, yeah, yeah, I mean, you just there's just so many of these tragic stories we have. If the people just went to bed at midnight, right. they'd have been fine. Well, hmm. here's another one too. How about don't be intoxicated? Yeah. Well, I mean, I, mean, I know that, and we all learn from mistakes and all that. But I just. I want some of the the young people to know that you know talking about this now with having more they're going off to college. Life has enough obstacles yeah. that you don't have any control over. Mm-hmm. Don't create more of them, you know, to make it even more difficult for you to maneuver the waters of life. Yeah, yeah. there's some things that would make that a lot, lot, a yeah. lot more difficult. And, was, I, and I speak from experience on that. Yeah. Um, so, so learn. This a, guy, it says he's a tourist. Uh, he was from Boca Raton, Florida. Okay, he is yeah. the guy who was killed. Correct. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. And this happened at one fifteen a.m. Yeah. Mm. That's early Sunday morning. Mm-hmm. So many of these stories happen with early Sunday morning. Middle of the night, intoxication, New York City, banging on cars. And I mean, certainly though, if there's something that could have been avoided, then then that's up to the courts to decide. But I'm just saying, there's a way to not end up in that situation too. There's there's a few steps that are made here. Yeah. You know, it, it's yeah. it's in, because you know you have to sometimes, and I, I'll. I'll tell you when we get back, I had a funny incident happen, you know, because we're now moving into that mode. And sadly, it's painfully obvious if you're listening to the program mm-hmm. on the various medical issues and, and operations and all this that we're aging. But there's there's a certain there's a certain wisdom, though, that comes with aging, you know, and, and some of these things we say, if you'll just we're really just trying to help. Well, you've seen mm-hmm. so many things. You, right. you, you go, well, I know how this is going. In, so why? Why play the drama out? Let's just let's just avoid the ending that we didn't want to have. I remember my oldest son saying to me one time, and I said, "Now, when we talked about this, I was so 
35 minutes past the hour the Rick and Bubba show. Thanks for being with us recapping weekend stories. Uh, would you like to have custom made furniture delivered right to your door? Well, then you need to go right now to allform.com slash Bubba. We love this company. Uh, you know, it's uh, Allform makes outstanding, high-quality, handmade-in-America furniture, offering flexible, uh, modern design to fit any room uh, in your home uh, or, or, you know, maybe you're, you're fortunate enough to have a, a lake house or you need something for the office or, you know, whatever the case calls for. Uh, they make outstanding uh, furniture. And I tell you what, from armchairs uh, all the way up to, to sofas and sectionals, Love seats. Uh, they have you covered. It, you pick the legs that you want, you know, with different options, and pick the fabric that you want. All the fabrics are pet and child resistant. Uh, uh, so you just you design it the way you want it. They send it directly to the door. you got 100 days to keep it. Um, and then, uh, you know, if you don't love it, which we think you will. I've seen the quality. We, we've ordered from them, and we love it. Um, you know, then, of course, you could return it. We can get a full refund if you don't like it. Uh, but they'll ship it right to your door with, hey, trying to find stuff now. You ever go into a furniture store? Remember me telling that story where I go in there and I'm going, all right, we, we like this. Oh, we don't have that. Okay, well, then why is it even out here? I mean, why, why do I want to come in here and point at furniture that I can't have for months? So what you can do here is have it about three or four days, uh, and it comes right to you. Uh, so go right now to allform.com slash bubble. We're going to give you 20% off anything you buy, and you get a forever warranty. That's the kind of quality we're talking about. Allform.com slash bubba or rickandbubba.com under the sponsors. So, Bubba, when last we left you and Bobby, the you, guy we're calling Bobby, you have a UTV that uh, that can't be steered. Yep. It, it is in, in deep, the, deep in deep. the woods. You've had to walk out of the woods, eighty five degrees, back to the truck over a mile. You're now back. You're now back to uh, in snake boots, a, a big uh, a big box <laughs> store, and blue jeans. Right? Yeah, oh, not blue jeans. Why did I, you wear some Columbiana pants or something? That's all I had. Good I had not to wear shorts. Too thick for that kind of oh, heat. Little oh, dickies. Good night. Little dickies or something. Oh, man. It was miserable. Uh, oh. So I almost just stripped totally off by the time yeah. I got out of there. That's How about what, the cornstarch? You had yeah, to get yeah, in there. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> so, you, so you sweaty, hungry, and angry. So and we're, hot back, we're back at, at the, the big, big box, box store. store. Bobby's gone in to BBS. try to find parts to fix the problem. Everybody what we needs hope, a Bobby. What we hope will work. I'm on the phone. And I call the folks where I got the uh, the UTV from, which happened to be Silicaga Marine and ATV, mm-hmm. and uh, they're they're fairly close by, so that you know that was a big asset. So of course I call and ask for Zach, the salesperson, and Zach's already he's working a deal. He's uh, well, of he's course Zach's working a deal. Yeah. Rick, so why, Zach is why is the number one salesperson. One the, well, he, he's a, he's a sales monster. Yeah, he is, is what he is. Yeah. And he, he I, is to I sales. Known, I should have known he was working a deal. How about this? Mm-hmm. He is to sales what Mitch is to mud holes. Absolutely. <laughs> so I, I tell the very nice lady on the phone, I said, I explained my situation. I said, give, give me your best technician. I, I got to talk to somebody that knows what's going yeah, on. Yeah, don't give me some. Mm-hmm. I, I don't want, I want the, I want the one. So I get on the phone with Jesse and Jesse, I describe the problem. I send Jesse a picture. Jesse's very helpful. I mean, he's he's the guy who can get it done. Mm-hmm. He said, "Yeah." He said, "I don't think the U boat thing will ever work because of the different size of the mm-hmm. of the two Ooh, sides of this." Bobby. Come on mm-hmm. back, Bobby. Well, we had to well, try. Well, Bobby's just trying, he, yeah. Greg. I mean, he, he's shooting half court shots, you know. <laughs> so Jesse says, "Let me see if I can find somebody to come out there and weld it for you." Whoa, what? And I'm thinking Dang. that's great, but. I don't know how we're ever going to get him to it yeah. because there's so welding. many, so many things to get over and around and through. Yeah, I don't know how we'll ever. How do much it. equipment does a welder have to haul back in there? Well, I'll tell you in a minute. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Hang on. Oh boy. So we we head back out and we we at this point Jesse's trying to find somebody. We don't know if it's going to be one hour. Yeah. Five o'clock. Mm, right. Monday. You know we have no <laughs> idea. So Bobby says, "Let's try to go back in and let me try to fix this." Bobby, and I like his determination. We, yeah, yeah. I mean, the guy we're calling, he's still leaning on Bobby. You, Bobby. you know, and so we don't officially have a welder. All we got is Bobby right now. Right now, welder we, is just an idea. Mm-hmm. And and we get to looking at the map and talking. And uh, I said, "Well, you know, there's another way into this, but I've never been down this road." Oh, oh, well, y'all, your word. adventures, my goodness. <laughs> 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 Goodness. So I did said, you just you know, did you buy this land side unseen? <laughs> yeah. I said, yeah. And I'm so worried said, y'all haven't eaten. I don't know why, but I am. Go I look said, at it uh, before you buy it. I said, 
I said, Fly a drone. the guy that I'm yeah, calling I'm saying. Bobby, I said, mm-hmm. um, if we go down this road and we come to a point we can't go any further, I don't know how we're going to turn around a 3,500 truck and a 16-foot trailer on a small dirt road. Oh, wow. First thing and I think, I think, yeah, Bobby, you drop I think Bobby said, well, we can just drop the trailer, turn the truck around, then turn the trailer That's, around. Yeah, you could. And uh, but it, it, the road is so small. By so the way, small. sixteen foot trailer is real heavy. Yeah, it is. Yeah, um, especially yeah, when you're tired. We'll, we'll get to that in just a minute. Mm. And um, oh, so, no. so we go to the other side and we look at the road, and the road looks like it's been worked. It's got fresh gravel on it. This, okay, it, you tell a bulldozer's been in there working it. I thought, hey, they may have worked that thing all the way to where we need to go. Right, that'd be perfect. So <laughs> we get on it and we start mm. going, and they had worked it a pretty good ways to where they were doing some control burning and some timber stuff. But then the new road stopped right mm. there. Mm. So we had a decision: do we go forward no, or another not? Another decision. Oh, don't, don't, don't no. So we thought we're going to go for this. Still waiting on official welder feedback. Are you? Have you lost your cell coverage? Yeah, that's Great what I'm worried. Yeah, thank uh, you for that. It, it's it's uh it's sporadic. Okay. okay. And uh, so we, we head down this road. We have to go through a few mud holes. Bobby gets out with a stick <coughs> and checks it to be sure it's not quicksand, Rick, um, of course. Well, we so. you, we had that we right know, right so we, we're almost <laughs> to where we need to go, and we run into another giant mud hole. And Bobby gets out with to a stick. To the level of Mitch? Wow. No, it's not oh, that Bobby's big. getting out a lot. Okay. Bobby gets out. Like well, the guy we're calling, on. Bobby. Well, he's the only one who can get, out, get back in this many times. Yeah. Right. And and he's out there with a stick, and he he gives me the wave. This this is no good. Oh, I don't think we can get through oh, this one. Now we're goodness. backing up. So now we're on a not quick, uh, mm-hmm. very tiny dirt road. No moss. With a giant truck <laughs> and a giant trailer. Mm-hmm. And we decide we're going to drop the trailer, spin the truck around, oh and then spin goodness. the trailer around oh, and get it out. Good gracious. Well, about an hour and a half later. Hour uh, and what? a half? Um, it's very hard Heck, to turn. the welder could be there by now. It, yeah. It's very hard to turn a truck around. Yeah, it is. When you don't have any room to do it. And it mm-hmm. it, it requires you to go forward and back like 60 times. Yeah. Your, your truck pull is like trying to pull turn an back. ocean liner around. Yeah. yeah, it'd be like trying to spin an aircraft uh, yeah. carrier around mm-hmm. at the, your, your local marina. It's right. just mm-hmm. not a good match. Right. Yeah. So we finally get the trailer off and to the side, and I'm working the truck, and we finally get the truck by it. So I'm like, well, great. We, at least we're going to live. We can get out of here. But then we got to move that trailer around. Mm. Oh, Bubba. So me and Bobby are both trying to pick that trailer up. Mm. And we're not doing too good. A hey. little heavy. Yeah. heavy. Poor so, Bobby. So I said, uh, yeah, trailer dog. yeah, I'm not, I'm not helping. <laughs> Poor old Bobby. I said, Bobby, let's try this. Use me as a counterweight. So I go stand wait, on wait, the. Wait, wait. I, this is a statement I want to write down. <laughs> Did you just say on this show to Bobby in quotations, "Use me as a counterweight"? Yes, okay. I did. All right. All right. I because knew you I, might need me. I knew at times the when, human counterweight when the trailer would just be parked somewhere, Rick. If I walked up on it, it'll oh, it'll sure. rare up. Well, sure well, it will. You better believe it yeah. will. So remember that when you're trying. You to step on my foot, I'd rare up. I go. <laughs> I go get on the back of the trailer, <laughs> and Bobby is able to move the trailer somewhat now. Instead mm-hmm. of no moving, we do have some movement because of your counterweight, right? But You're we're, we're still now. trying to we're still trying to spin a sixteen foot trailer around on a twelve foot road. You know, it's mm-hmm. just not a lot not of not a lot of room. So we oh. work at it, work at it, work at it, and uh, we're we're not getting anywhere. And I I finally told the guy we're calling Bobby, I said I'm gonna just hook a pull rope to this, and we're going to spin this trailer around because we got power in the big truck. Oh, yeah, we do. And and Bobby was give out at this point. Of course he mm-hmm. was. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. He, he, he wasn't looking good. Mm-hmm. And um, oh. so we tied it to it, and we pulled that trailer around and almost a couple of trees with it. I bet. Uh, but, hey, the old 3500, she'll pull with she the daily wheels on there. She can't turn around, but she no, can No, you can't spin <laughs> around. But once you get her pointed in oh, one yeah. direction, hey, oh, yeah. look out, baby. Yeah. yeah. So we got that trailer around, got it hooked back up. It took about an hour and a half total to turn it around. Good it night. took a little time. And uh, Do you remember what you originally were set out <laughs> to do that day? Well, I, I told Bobby, uh, the guy we're calling Bobby, I said, uh, I feel like, you know, we got good money chasing bad money on this. Everything we do, we're going in the wrong direction. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. It's like you're the so, Biden administration. So about then, I got a call back, and, hey, got a welder headed your way. But he doesn't know where to go. And well, I yeah. said, well, this is going to be hard to tell. Who does? It's going to be real hard. Yeah. Now you're going back. But I, 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 I told him where, where to come to and then mm-hmm. called me. 
So we get back around, we go back around, and we end up parking where we originally parked on the other side of Mighty Mitch the Mud Hole. Do you regret okay. not leaving the trailer there when you went to town? Yeah, uh, that's my question. Well, Did you need the trailer when you were going? No, but, uh, you know, we wasn't on our property. So I hated to leave it, oh, you know, out in the road I, somewhere. Okay, you know? okay gotcha. Kind of like we shouldn't left, we had, couldn't leave that deer at the time we was with Moultrie. Right, <laughs> right. So we're rest, set we rest, up. Rest we get, we get yeah. back, and yeah. Bobby now While has, has kind of got rested back yeah. up, and, and he's he's kind of on a personal challenge. He wants to fix this. Thing. Yeah, I, I have never felt such inefficiency <laughs> in my life. It's driving me up. I mean, this, no, it, this, this was as efficient as we could be. I know, but so, you, y'all so are doing we get things back. that just make your life too complicated. And Bobby says, I'm going in. What? And I said, I'm waiting on the welder. And he says, I'm going to beat the welder by getting this done. So Bobby walks back in over a mile, and I'm waiting on the well. In the air conditioning. Well, it, the truck was probably running. Your <laughs> Bubba said, look, Bobby, you go in there. I'm waiting on the well. Somebody's got to do it. Somebody's got to. Somebody's got to show it. Rick and Bubba, Rick and Bubba. Did I tell you he said exactly, exactly how it went? I said, so, I said, do you think I have some power that I can see the future? Or could it be that I, I can put scenarios together because of my age and say, I can tell you how this is going to go? Yeah. And I'll tell you a funny one that happened on Sunday at church with a young with a young right. father. I said, now, I'm going to tell you exactly how this is going to go. <laughs> of course, he didn't listen. He had to learn the hard way, but that's fine. <laughs> you know what I mean? We'll, we'll be back, bottom of the hour. More of the Rick and Bubba show coming up right after this. Rick and Bubba, Rick and Bubba. It's medical talk as the show ages before your ears and your eyes. This time we focus on the real Greg Burgess. Briefly. Who, uh, who, <laughs> had, who had the sugar, and we're looking at his new numbers. Well, the, the, the funny part is I went Monday, Tuesday, I can't remember. Mm-hmm. Anyway, and, and the doctor told me, he said, I'll call you. He goes, I know you want your results, so I'll call you and let you know. Because they could Anyway. So he, I'm waiting. I'm going, well, I guess, he, you know, he's busy. I guess he's not going to call Yeah, we me. kept thinking, where are the numbers? So I called yesterday and left a message. He called me back. He goes, so this is your number. I said, what do you mean? He, he Where I had filled the paperwork out? You know, it was two things. I don't write very well. Right. <laughs> That's one. The claw. And the second thing is, I'm in a hurry filling that paperwork out, and I don't think, well, that ain't important. And I'm just flying through oh, it. Oh, yeah. You yeah, know, yeah. just, you know how you fly through it to get sure. it done? Of course, sloppy it call. Yeah. Anyway, he'd been calling a number that wasn't mine because I'd written it down. And then to make it even worse, he said, So I tried your wife's number and she didn't answer. I said, Really? I said, What number did I put down? He got it. I, I'd written it. He couldn't read it right either. So, so not, he couldn't so, read, not only he couldn't read your number to call yeah. you back, he could not read your wife's yeah, number either. Be, because of my writing. Because so you, with, wrote, you wrote two numbers now and he couldn't, yeah. you couldn't figure it out. There was like up. a zero that he thought was a nine. <laughs> <laughs> So, so, like, with important test results, he couldn't get in touch with you. No. He told me, he said, I put them in the mail today, so you'll get them. He goes, but since I got you on the phone, okay. Well, right, wait, I'm I, reporting I, this, and then I'm done. I'm not talking well, about I health want, anymore, I, audience, I hate health talk. I know. I want the audience to know that Greg said <laughs> of all these lifestyle changes that he'd made, if they had no impact on his numbers, that he was going to go completely into 600-pound life. Absolutely. <laughs> I was going to be a big old, just old tub of goo. <laughs> 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 but I've got some encouraging news. Right, to get through the boring part. And he's down about it. The, the I, th- I think he wanted 600 pound live. Yeah. The A1C is a score. And somebody, I, I, anyway, I don't, I, I don't know what it means. Well, Greg, we know you had sugar. But I, it was at a 12.3, <laughs> which I hear is horrible. Yeah. Okay. My daughter in law's a nurse. She said, You should be in the hospital. What are really? you doing? Okay. It's down now to a 7.8. All right. Hey, 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 we're down now. Uh-huh. We're down. Our number's down. So what's normal? What should it be? It should be between uh, below seven, I think. So you're, you're, you're almost there. I think. See, I didn't pay attention when you told me. Now, but here's <laughs> a typical me. I don't remember what my total sugar score was, but now it's 130. It was higher than that. Yeah. So it's down. Yeah. Okay. So that's, that's it. And I cholesterol's said. down. Oh, yeah. But, yeah, because they put me on a statin. Three months, it, always, it went from like a 260-something to a 131. Ooh. Right. So, well, wow. Yeah. He said, just keep doing what you're doing. Yeah. Watch that liver. All right, that's it. I'm done. Okay. That, 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 so that, that's it. That liver well, play. I don't know. Well, he gave me that, too. <laughs> high gear now. He checked that, too. He said that looked good. <laughs> yeah, you got to keep eye on that. Let, let me tell you. He what, gave me the number on that. He said that was good. I know. Well, well, Greg, and you're almost there, but the same thing happened because, you know, our family has horrible cholesterol and genetically. And so I was trying to put off the statins as long as I could because, I, you know, long term, I worried about some of the side effects of that, some that are theories and some that may or may not be true. I don't know. But when it gets to the point where the doctor finally says, "All right, now you're in the you're late in the third quarter now," 
of your life. Mm-hmm. You, you, now you're at the point that your high cholesterol is more dangerous than any side effect. Yeah. So now we'll, sh- and he even yeah. used the term, at your age, we will now shift. Yeah. And I thought, <laughs> oh, and I, so what you're saying is I won't live long enough to have the bad side effect. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? And, yeah. and, and so, uh, so anyway. So but, I agreed with you. That's when, when I heard you say that, I thought, well, I'm on board now. Yeah. Because well, I was like, sense. yeah. Yeah, because that, that was one of the concerns. But anyway, so congratulations, so, Greg. That's I, good. That's yeah. huge, Greg. Well, I'll tell you, show's got to do a little better. No 600-pound life for you. Look, with the show's got like Greg. Up, but we're addressing our problems. I like Greg. And here's what I didn't want to do because this is typical me. I get a good report, and then this morning I eat something ridiculously horrible, so I ate oatmeal this morning. Okay. Okay, so you thought those numbers might throw you into a Yeah, and it's still made before security. the weekend's over. Yeah. Right. Right. <laughs> so you're saying we're not done yet. Yeah, there I'll, will be a point this week and you go, well, my numbers look pretty good. Yeah, let me <laughs> get the chocolate See, shake. See, <laughs> the, the storyline here is not we're falling apart. The storyline is Greg's numbers are better. That's right. You don't have your gallbladder anymore, and my artery's open. <laughs> so there. All right, now we're so, done. Uh, we don't want any calls on blood sugar, none of that. Right we're now, done. so for right now, it seems like all, all the skin cancer seems to be control right now. Here. Uh, well, yeah, I'll have man. that next I, year. Yeah, it's not, every year with me on that. I got my head on I, that one. I want to ask you, because you're the, Hamza, you're the only other one that's had a gallbladder out on the team, right? I'm Assuming, I don't Anybody know. else? No, all right. All right. So here's the thing: we know now that my gallbladder was really, really bad. Okay. Yeah, that, sure. that, that's that's Here that's been go. that's been no no no. Boy, it's been a doozy. So, Bubba, where are we now? So, I'm on the side of a dirt road waiting on a welder to come by. Mm-hmm. Bobby has worked his way back to the vehicle trying to do a mechanical repair. Why, why won't Bobby let it go if we know the welder's coming? Well, we don't know that the welder can weld it. And okay. if Bobby could get there and get it fixed, we could call the welder off uh, and, and drive out. But we really didn't know what we were up against. So, right now, Rick, it's all hands on deck. So you you're, you've been a counterweight. That's been your contribution. Right. Yes. That's about what I, my contribution for the week. <laughs> right. Yeah. And uh, Rick, it's as the welders coming down the road. I see what looks like a giant mud buggy coming down the road. Mm. But I could hear angels singing. Oh because yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah. The rescue was here. All right. You know, we're right. gonna get something done. Now. Oh yeah. And that's when I met Charles Walker. Who will be listener of the week for sure? Okay. Uh, okay. Probably listener right. of the month. Well, it sounds like yeah. he's about to be listener of the month. So, Is he kin to Betty? Uh, well, I asked that on the way right. down. Yeah. We were we were trying to run that family tree, right. um, but he's actually in a Can Am Maverick. But I would just call it a giant mud buggy okay. to me, right? And Rick, he <laughs> he's got all his welding supplies on, which I've never seen a portable welder in a mud buggy. How about that? Mm-hmm. Um, that is, that's a new wow. experience. So I hop in with him. He's ready. We go. I have to show him the local mm-hmm. bypasses right. to get around all the things. Hopefully Bobby's not and, laying there. And he yeah. is, uh, you know, we have to work through some trees to get there. We're off Bobby the road dehydrated. again, you know. What's his first name again? Charles. So how's he handling the mud buggy? Oh, he, he's he's a pro. Awesome. Look, this is what gave me great confidence. When he was coming down, I said, man, we got a lot of room to park, not a lot of room to wiggle here with the trailers and all this stuff. He said, I used to drive a wrecker. I got it. Mm. And I thought, oh, yeah, no, you record got, driver. Yeah, oh, you and your huh? record. Well, I said, we got a pro. You know what baby. you found out? This is Silicaga's bones. That's right. That's right. We yeah. got the, we got the real deal. Right. Here. <laughs> and, and, so we we get out there. We go right to it. Bobby has already the guy we're calling Bobby right. has tried to uh, do a, a physical repair. Couldn't get it to hold. So still He'd already tried to drive. It wouldn't work. Yeah. So, so we've heard of Charlie Walker's war. This is I mean, and this is his. <laughs> we've heard of Charlie Parker's. Bobby's <laughs> over in the shade trying to recover. Right. So, yeah, Bobby's give out. I got yeah. some water. And Bobby's, block, Bobby's Charles, blocking Bubba's phone and his contacts. Uh, uh, <laughs> Charles Walker gets out, Rick, and he gets a generator out. He gets a portable welder out. He's and, serious. And, hey, he gets up, up on there and the sparks <laughs> are flying. Oh, he is yeah. making it but work. He's going to solve oh, it. So, so then uh, the guy we're calling Bobby and me, our job is to make sure there's no snakes crawl up, you know, with yeah. all this going yeah. on. And he's welding up under there. Uh, help and, me uh, real quick. It looks too short, that piece. Well, it's, something... probably, it's probably the way the tires turn. You see it's turned uh, way in. Yeah. So if you, you, you level them back up, it would be pretty close. Okay. But he even brought some supplies if you needed to oh, build yeah, a little bridge. Little this is oh, Charlie Walker. What are you talking about? Okay. The great Charlie Walker. All right. Now, now how much room so, does he have under there? Not, not a. 
Not a, did y'all dig a hole or no, something? No, he just got up under there. He was laying. Oh, wow, he made a, it happen. What a Charlie! Mm. So we're listen. Got we're we're welding, and, and right. it's, it, it's taking all, all. It's taking him. all the generator can handle. You know? <laughs> yeah. Well, then the generator <laughs> oh, goes dead. Oh, you can't even have a generator. You can't. Too I much thought, on. I, mean, I thought you this is even. this is just fitting for this whole day that <laughs> oh, this yeah. wouldn't work. Yeah. Yeah. So this was my big contribution. I go, hey, did you open the air hole on the gas lid. No, I didn't know it had one. I opened it up, cranked it, ran. Look at look at counterweight. You were there, counterweight. I, I took it off the <laughs> economy setting and let it let it dig. And let man, it, that Counter generator, oh, air hole. Wow. Hey, that generator. I mean, he it, it worked like a top. Yeah. Charles Walker got out there, did one of the best welding jobs I've ever seen in the field. Ever. He gets up. We got to wait for it to cool for a minute. And I said, "Well, do you want to put some water on it to speed it along?" He said. Of course, if we hadn't had water, I was ready to pee on it. Right, yeah, <laughs> right, so yeah. And he said, I had to actually make it stronger. I said, hey, put the water to it. So we put water on it. And it's steaming, just contributing you know. with Did you take Bobby's yeah. water from him? Give me that yeah. water. Yeah, Bobby, Bobby I know you're dehydrated. Bobby, you're done. Give me that water. <laughs> <laughs> I know your urine's yellow. So <laughs> we, we start easing out, and here's our fear, though, because we got some rough terrain to go over. We still got to get around Mitch the Mighty Mud Hole. Oh, yeah. And, uh, now known and I said, what What if it breaks again? He said, we'll just keep welding it till we get out of here. He oh, said, we're getting this thing Charlie out of here. Charlie ain't going to leave you. Oh, I love hey, Charlie. Because he's a good man. man. I need a Charlie. Charles yeah. Walker is number one. Mm -hmm. So he's following us out. We get out. We get all the way back. We get around the giant mud hole, and we get and get on the trailer. Oh, boy. And yes. Charles Walker is listener of the month. I mean, oh, by that. far. So did you you have, did, now, is it... Did you take it straight back to where you bought it and, and go like, hey, y'all really look at this thing? Or is it fixed? I mean, is it No, any it, it needs to be repaired because we may have damaged the other side of that rod, too. Mm -hmm. uh, but they were already closed for the day. It was already after 1 o'clock, Speedy, okay? Okay. We started at 6 a.m., mm -hmm. so that's how long Did it you just drop on. kick the whole project that now? Yeah, oh, yeah. Leave. yeah. Well, we got to get Still out don't there. Know what's we got to get out there while we can get out of there, Rick. We'll go back another day, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So... You know, we I thank everybody. Everybody goes their their way, and I drop Bobby off for the guy we're calling Bobby. Right, mm -hmm. and I head home, and I, I'm thinking, man, I'm so glad this is over. We, I feel like Apollo 13. We didn't accomplish what we went, but right. we got home. Yeah. Everybody's safe. Yeah. Yeah. Right. We got yeah. our equipment out. Right, you know, didn't have to leave that out there. And uh, so I get home and uh, to the to the lake, and we're I'm unloading the UTV off the trailer for a minute, and. I, I don't. I guess I would just give out oh, at that point. Uh -oh. And and I hit our mailbox and completely KO'd <laughs> what? it. What? What is it? Are you making that part up? Adler, I think we have documentation oh, of the mailbox. Oh, 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 I mean, uh, that way to end it. So this, now yeah. he's. Oh, yeah. oh, so oh, that's oh, where the mailbox used to be, right there. Took her right off. <laughs> Good right off. gracious! Yeah. You couldn't believe it. Could you? No, it's, it, gets, it gets better. It gets. Look at the back of the mailbox. What? You can see where it was Wait attached. How much, how much worse than what I just saw? Uh, <laughs> oh, <goodness. laughs> that that one's done. <laughs> but let me tell you about this mailbox. Why this mailbox is funny? Well, that was a because of our homeowners Bird. association, which I knew going in yeah. what the deal was. We have to have a certain type of mailbox. Yeah. Sure you do. These wow. mailboxes are five hundred dollars. Oh yeah, they are. Oh, yeah. Installed, yeah, right. okay, by a certain company has to do. It. You got the market cornered. <laughs> but where my mailbox is, I thought we were going to get mail in it. But our mailbox, we have to have like three people on our street which, that have mailboxes, which we don't. So they won't even deliver mail to my five hundred dollar mailbox. How do you well, get then why'd you have to what? get a mailbox? What are you talking no, about? I, to, I, I can't, I can't you know, get it there. Why have I got to get a mailbox if they're not going to let, let me use uh, it? Greg, I just don't have one. Greg, I'm afraid you're looking for logic here. Oh, yeah, I'm not you're off really. the road a certain – I can see my mailbox from the main road. I can see it. But they won't bring nothing. But they won't in. deliver mail because right, they got to have getting... like three because that's against the rules. So, so but well, you then you go until there's more than three here. I shouldn't have to put a yeah, mailbox. Yeah, I'm not getting. Well, mine. I didn't know that going in. Oh, I know, but yeah. they should have told you. That. Well, you're not going to so, replace it now, are you? Because well, now, no now, now, now here's my problem. Yeah, that's right. I need to pay five hundred dollars to fix a mailbox that can't even get mail. No, well, that, that ain't real. Yeah, that's a you know going to be a bird's nest. What there is one in the paper box if you look in there. What a day. Uh, so the then world. I had to go, and Betty had, I'd been trying to keep her updated, and I said, well, you know, the final blow is I just destroyed our $500 mailbox. <laughs> that doesn't so. get mail. Yeah. Uh, and it was about 2 o'clock then, and I was really hungry. <laughs> <laughs> really hungry. Rick and Bubba, Rick and Bubba.
actually saw it. Thanks yeah, for right. the picture. No, buddy. no resistance on that. I'm anti. Anytime something in the early stages of gangrene, it's not good. Frig, no. Don't, don't even use that word. No, no. Let me tell you what's, what was. And, and I, I don't know. I don't think we do a good enough job of talking to people about what to look for. I mean, it's like you know, when, when I got to the point where I was having excruciating pain, I knew okay, something was up. But can I tell you that since that sick, horrible, angry gallbladder has been removed, there are parts of my body that were hurting that I thought were just hurting for yeah. physical reasons that are not hurting now. Yeah. Wow. But I thought, I, thought, or, I, I thought my right shoulder I know. had something wrong with it. It doesn't hurt at all now I know. since that's been taken that, out. That's because and, of the, and, and, and yeah. of course, the back pain through here is gone, which yeah. that makes sense. Yeah. And, uh, or, and Or you're still having the benefits of the painkillers. Well, I haven't been on those for like four days. No, I can speak so, to that. That was that's exactly what's going on. Uh, and, well, the reason why, and yeah. I've also looked, Bubba, to your point, these type of pains I had. I'm, now, I'm glad. I just didn't want you to get too happy. No, no. But what I've done, I've researched the gallbladder, and now they're saying oh, okay. shoulder pain, yeah. Uh, yeah. high back pain, uh, problems. Like sometimes I would feel like that 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 I was that I, I would eat nothing, that many things, and I got to where. A gas bubble would form there, and I kept thinking I had to burp to get All it out. All these things started months ago, and now that it's gone, and that's exactly what's I happened. definitely. Well, what I'm saying is, I was getting signs <laughs> that I didn't know were signs. Of Absolutely. That. Oh, they're coming yeah. for mine. Yeah. You know that yeah. we yeah. did. We did. Greg's Our, got a rock on the best of what 2010. Yeah, yeah. 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 So that's well, my rock's gone. So, uh, are are any of the symptoms uh, feeling like a cinder blocks tied to your foot when you get out and try to run around? No. Okay. Yeah. I guess no. that's just it's a not going to help. <laughs> is that one so of the your gallbladder? Uh, sure. <laughs> you're right. Yeah. Speed's got that look on his face. He thinks he's having So symptoms. the gallbladder really is, I mean, you're like shoulder issues <laughs> and upper back they're issues. They're saying where it is. That, they said baldness. Again, the pain it, will run to those areas. Yeah. You, you, any, anywhere from, from up here all the way down to, to the love handle on the side of the gallbladder and all the way Just around. Just crack. All the, all the way around to the sternum. <laughs> uh, all of that. Any any pains in there can be related to it. That gum. See, I thought, I mean, I didn't know because I couldn't tell the difference between. <laughs> He's so bad. Uh-huh. <laughs> Mr. Symptom. Right. And, and then you then <laughs> you, you can talk him into any, and why Greg, any ailment. And why Greg doesn't want to talk about, you know, these this anymore because the emailers, are, they kill you. You know, hey, man, congratulations on your gallbladder. I'm a week ahead of you. And uh, doing great. Of course, I'm still having issues with my belly button. Okay, thanks. Brick, I thought I felt better. Then I hit a brick wall. Yeah, you know, I was feeling like, good till my belly button went in the south. Yeah, uh, is that, don't, don't still even open like it up it, for discussion. You're still look like it's leaking shellac. Ugh. Yes. Well, keep in mind too that they shaved me, so now I'm I'm, I'm slick too, <laughs> slick tummy, which is funny. Hey, for a while I you thought keep that look. How about this? For a while I thought, man, I really I did a good job getting a tan this year, and I didn't realize it was that stuff I put all over. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. I, thought, man, I, I told him to put it on my legs, even though I wasn't used. <laughs> right. So man, I was pretty good. I, I flexed in the mirror a couple times. Yeah. <laughs> did it feel weird, shirt laying laying there with no hair? Um, uh, I didn't notice it till I got home. Yeah, you okay. need to keep it that way. Yeah, no, it's, that'd be your well, I'm, I'm not overly hairy anyway, so it wasn't so bad. But now that itching thing is getting. Oh, bad. sure it is. Yeah, there's a yeah. point where it's growing back out. It bothers you, and then it gets through that zone. Right. And right. Again. So anyway, right. that's it. We're done. Uh, well, uh, Greg, we're waiting on the numbers. We're Good done. numbers, Greg. Good numbers out. Greg's numbers are much better. So just keep doing what you're doing. Greg, you got numbers. Had a boy. I'll be eating a full Had a pizza. Kid. I'll be eating a full kid. pizza when I get home. <laughs> Greg, don't do that. I'm kidding. Yeah. I'm kidding. <laughs> Top of the hour, we'll be back, 866, we be big is the number. Our website, Rick and Bubba, spell out the word and, dot com. Rick and Bubba, Rick and Bubba. Bubba, you want to get an update on the California fires? You know, the California wildfires wow. and fire now, they've all burned together, uh, largest in, his, in the history of California. Hmm. They're now being called the Holy Fire, Rick, why is in that? the media. The Holy Fire? I, I don't, I Anybody guess. I know why. Well, I, I guess they figure that, uh, you know, this is an mean? act of God at this point. I don't know. Well, but okay. Have you seen, they, I think they've had eight deaths so far, uh, quite a few injuries, and the, the amount of acreage that has been burned it's, it's, is unbelievable. Holy fire. Well, we have a— uh, Not the mother of all fires? Yeah, the, the, an uh-huh. Air Force staff officer uh, has put forward a strategy. He says the Air Force can help with this firefighting by— Dropping a few bombs on California. Well, hello. Now, before you think that this guy is just off the table or that it's a sick political joke, he points to the fact that this has been done before. As a matter of fact, in Sweden just a few months ago to help fight a wildfire out of control there. Really? The Scandinavian country dropped a 500-pound bomb on on a fire at a military munitions range on July 25th that burned for two weeks and threatened homes. Um, he said it was instrumental in putting out the fire, said 
The, uh, the bomb momentarily deprived the blaze of oxygen and successfully extinguished it within 100 yards of its detonation point. He said that the Air Force has the ability to drop a bomb anywhere in the world within a three-foot circle, extremely close to friendly forces on the ground while avoiding collateral damage to buildings and infrastructure. He said the same technology and same skill can be used to place these bombs into an area that would wrangle in and help maintain this fire. Where are you on dropping bombs on Cali? You know, if it would work, I think the people in Cali would probably go, hey, let's give it a shot, you well, know, I mean, at this point. Yeah, because you're you talking seen about the damage. pictures, I mean, it is, it is unbelievable. Over 173,000 acres <clears throat> so far uh, have been burned. You know, we talked about, was it, I guess the last time we talked about it, that it was, this was, this came from a flat tire or something. This how it got started. Yep. But in this article, it says here that um, Forrest Gordon Clark, 51, is being held uh, and says that he has got two counts of felony arson, a count of felony threat uh, to terrorize and a misdemeanor for wow. resisting arrest. Um, I, I don't. It is six minutes past the hour from the No Name Studio. Thank you for being with us today, recapping the weekend. Rick and Bubba University, the podcast is out. Dan Parker, our guest, incredible story. Uh, it's another Rick and Bubba Buffalo Wild Wings charity charge today. Uh, participating Buffalo Wild Wings, you benefit Make-A-Wish Alabama. Speedy, the real Greg Bird, just Helmsy, 80 Man Adler, all here. And uh, Bubba's back. And uh, Bubba, what a story from last hour. Wow. Well, it, you know, wow. I just felt like such a failure, and then to come back yeah. and oh. KO my mailbox. Good gracious. But I do want to just say again, thanks to Charles Walker, the mud buggy welder, who uh, mm-hmm. who saved us, man. I mean, just pulled us out. Uh, Jesse back at uh, Silicon Marine and ATV. Mm-hmm. Everybody back there, do, they do a great job. So Thanks, guys. Uh, we got out. God, what a, what a terrible. Mm. That, that's the, you can't even have a piece Rick, of them. When I was walking out. At one point, God. I thought, well, we're not going to make it. Uh, we're just, just not going to make it. They're going to find you right here. <laughs> when, you're, when your hat feels heavy, you yeah. it's bad. Yeah. You, know? yeah. <laughs> you discussed how much the uh, mailbox is going to cost you. Yeah. yeah. How much does a, a mobile welder cost you? Yeah. Well, we haven't got the mobile welder bill yet. Mm. Oh, boy. We'll see. Mm. That's probably uh, going to be more in the mailbox. Probably you buy you a couple mm. of mailboxes. That's why Bubba's showing a lot of love. <laughs> yeah, he is. <laughs> yeah, that's, uh, God, I, I got to say it again. <laughs> Great, just one more time. One uh, more time. Uh, Charlie. Uh, Charles, Charles Walker. <laughs> Charles Walker, ladies, ladies and gentlemen. And gentlemen <laughs> please welcome, <laughs> from List- parts unknown, Charles Walker. <laughs> Listener of the week. Yeah. Yeah. But you know what, Rick? I, Rick, kinda, I just can't say it enough. <laughs> it it, it kind of hit me. That the there, Mud Buggy Welder. There's a there's a big service for Mud Buggy Welders out there. You, you know, I never thought about oh, yeah. it. You better oh, believe yeah. there is. Oh, Don't forget he's still got to pay to get it fixed, too. Sure. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's well, not over. Yeah, oh. yeah, but he can't do that because he's got $500 in a mailbox and can't get mail. Hey, now, listen. That's I, about. I think I may take that chainsaw that didn't get a lot of work this weekend and in that mailbox. <laughs> oh, I'm telling you. We're not going to worry about it. And, Bubba, you didn't get nothing accomplished, so you got to go back in. Oh, yeah. Don't yeah, forget that. Don't yeah. forget, too. He's also got to carry that buggy bag to get worked on. Oh, that's, yeah. right. that's what I'm saying. Greg, it was, it was one of the biggest loser, 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 loser deals I've ever had. He had a pressure wash his snake chat. Greg, he went to church Monday with an L on his forehead. <laughs> <laughs> just to punish himself. Yeah, well, Greg, feel, you know how he punishes himself. Hey, my oh. knees feel good today. Too. He's well, right. I, I will Greg say wishes this. he'd been there to hear the speech. Oh, I don't know. About halfway on that walk yeah. back. Yeah. yeah. I started oh. talking about donkeys again. <laughs> <laughs> and, and showing. Yeah. Well, I didn't notice you. you I mean, you're, you, ha- you don't sneak through here, but. Uh, I mean, you were hurting, it looked like, earlier. Yeah, sure I am, mm-hmm. Speedy. My knee's big as a softball. Man, well, hey, what a workout, though. I yeah. mean, hey, hey, it's a good start. The man's been beat up, yeah. Speedy. I'll, hey, I'll never complain about walking on flat ground again. Yes. No. Ever. No. Flat ever. ground. No. Snake no. boots, giant rocks with ruts is no. much worse. No, no, Did you ever worse. nearly slip and fall? It had to break would, you fall. <laughs> Listen, I, I had my gloves on because I thought if I slip on the side of one of these mud holes and yeah. go in here, that'd be perfect. I bet them gloves went hot. We, we heavy. <laughs> they felt like five pound weights by the time I got back to the truck. <laughs> <laughs> this year, uh, this year's new CD. Use me as a counterweight. <laughs> 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 Got to be it. I mean, we we couldn't move it at all if I hadn't done that. 
Yeah, right, right. Hey, I'm on the I'm on the back of the trailer. Hi, Bobby. <laughs> he goes. Bobby was worn out because you know I was being a counterweight, so he was doing all the work. <laughs> it was terrible. But look, here's the thing. Sorry, Bobby. I'd love to if have you, but I got to be the counterweight. If we tried it with Bobby, the guy we're yeah. calling Bobby's a counterweight, I couldn't have moved it because well, there wasn't enough weight yeah, back there. Enough. It's funny, Greg, because some this actually this is a story over the weekend, which I'll get to in a minute. What what, what we did, but so we I actually got into discussion from with some of the farmer people about how much more difficult it is to move a hog versus even moving cows <laughs> because and, and they they said like if you take a hog and you're and they, they said they've done this before and you can't you got him in the trailer finally you know we're talking about a big one and you go and realize the processor says we can't get to you today oh no. they literally will just go back put hay and food in the trailer yeah, and, leave, and just leave him in there till they can go because because trying to get him in and back is such a hassle and i said well why is that they said well you can move cows but these hogs have that low center of gravity i said oh i've been there <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you can't move them <laughs> you know that's one thing i, I faced a human counterweight <laughs> I, I, and <laughs> i have discovered there's one thing i'm pretty good at that is being a counterweight yeah. Yeah. you know i make the joke about me playing for the usfl i think you've been that one technique <laughs> <laughs> Ain't nobody gonna move you. Uh, hey, he gets down there. You can't move him. <laughs> Low center right. Rick, I think I could get one yard on any given situation. <laughs> one yard. I agree with that. <laughs> so uh, wow. So um, that's crazy. Uh, o- over the weekend too, um, and you know, I I tell people this all the time. Uh, you know, er- everything out there is unique. Uh, but, but there's in, in, see people out there will say things, you know, like, Hey, well, yeah, you know, I've done youth ministry and I'll just kind of nod my head. Oh, that's great. You know, I'm, I, well, you know, all this thing we do for our women's ministry and, you know, we do this and, you know, we got our seniors, you know, and all this at our, uh, at our you know, church and we got that. And I said, well, let me tell you something. If, if you dare to take on men's ministry, men's ministry is a unique world. The dare. Uh, if you dare to take it on. <laughs> And uh, so we, we dared to take it on uh, two years ago uh, and when we launched the manchurch.com. And it has taken us on adventures all over this country and, uh, you know, trying to get, get along with churches and, and, and try to say that, you know, if we, if we keep saying this thing on Father's Day about the Barner research and the influence that God has given a man, probably a good idea to maybe try to come up with some kind of game plan to reach and disciple men since God has given them so much influence. But when you go to men's ministry, it's it's a whole different world, and um, sometimes a picture will sum that up better than me even trying to explain it. Sent this to you guys over the weekend, but let's let's share it with the audience today. This was from me in Gordo, Alabama. Hey, uh, that, that I'm in Gordo, Alabama at Highland Baptist Church, and uh, and it was great to be with these guys. Could have used that equipment, Rick. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. And uh, if you don't think men's ministry is unique, do you know of any other ministry in the church that 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 features a monster truck for Jesus? You talking about the heaven bound mud bogger? Yes, that's exactly what I'm talking about, Greg. And uh, I heard the, uh, the, the he takes on the grave digger. the the guy who uh, the guy who goes around and does this. Of course, I've lost his card. He didn't give it to Bones. He gave it to me, so it's already yes, gone. That was a mistake. But anyway, um, that's a great paint job. It man. really is. This goes around to men's gatherings all over. And, Crushes cars and and, and and I love that font. Yeah. By the way, and when he said he comes up to me, you know, people. There's always these things that go by. You know, while you're talking, people coming at you, which is always great. <laughs> You know, there were a lot of big fans of the show there. Saw a lot of Rick and Bubba T-shirts in the crowd and uh, all this uh, stuff. And, Heaven bound. And he comes in and says, hey, before you leave, I want you to see my monster truck. Right. You, you kind of hear that in passing. <laughs> You're like, wait, you know, like what? That. Did and, then, and then then I notice he's kind of waiting on me. And uh, and Bone says, okay, you, are we getting ready to go? I said, well, I think I'm pretty sure that guy right there wants me to see his monster truck. Yeah. That, and Bone says, you talking about the one out in right. the parking lot that's heaven bound? I said, I guess that's it. I I, I don't know. Can he wail too? Bubba, he oh, might I be. Able, you you yeah. take that. He may be able to get in your new piece of land in that thing. He can oh, put yeah. a portable welder yeah. on back there. He'd go through change. Mitch. He'd go through hey, Mitch. He got go, him slip a time. Hey, he goes everywhere. <laughs> he said he'd be on the road taking it to the next place today where he's going he's gonna to get down. So I do want to thank um, uh, the folks at uh, Highland uh, Baptist Church. We had, uh, the, you know, like th- this this past uh, this past weekend. Uh, I can hear it. Yeah, it's yeah. you know. I, I was talking. One, one thing I got to hear this past weekend that was really cool is, and and it was kind of the the same everywhere. I know where you went, Helmsy. They haven't started it yet, but all the other. We had five man churches in five different places in three days, <laughs> with you know five different speakers, 
Uh, and and so the report we were getting back, except the one you went to, Hamzy, all of them, the, 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 every single one of them, the shortest amount of time that any of them had been doing the strategy was 30 weeks. Okay. So these were all people that were more than a year in. Like I say, the, and that was my home church that's been doing it for 30 weeks, which Andy Blank spoke there on Thursday. So I've seen what's going on there, and, of course, I saw what was going on at Shades Mountain, you know, it, which you're still part of there, Helmsy, when we, where we kind of started it. And and it was so cool, and I was talking to Sean McDaniel, who's the, the pastor there, and he said this has, this has radically changed the men of the church. And he said we've, we're, we're, we're going into our second curriculum now, and they let some of the men get up. I'm not talking about just good old boys like, like uh, you know, the, 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 the mud bogger welder. Uh, I mean, these are these are the salt to earth, blue collar, hardworking yeah. guys, and for them to get up just and and talk about, you know, that that w- what we kind of hope would take place is actually taking place, and uh, I, I I will tell I told them I said I was probably as moved by that because it's been a lot of work, it, it continues to be a lot of work, it, it costs a lot of money uh, to invest to to build these curriculums and to publish them and. Make them available, and uh, and you know, and sometimes you you think to yourself every now and then, and he didn't have to do it, by the way. God can just say, "Do what I told you to do," and you may never hear anything. But every now and then, you know, you think about Jeremiah. I mean, he didn't have anybody ever say, "Hey, good job," hmm. uh, and, and until and I had a uh, one of the guys that speaks, Brian Gunn, told me this for the first time, and it really moved me. He goes, "Imagine all the frustration that Jeremiah went through," and he says, "I don't even want to talk about you anymore because every time I do, everybody hates me, everybody's trying to kill me, nobody's listening." And, uh, and he says, uh, but there's a fire that shut up in my bones. We're so connected, I can't help but talk about you, even, mm-hmm. even though I don't want to. And, uh, but I think about this, and I'd never thought about this before. Think about all the stuff that Jeremiah went through. And these are these little nuggets where you never know when they're coming. Jesus is asking the disciples, so who do people say I am? And then they start firing off different things. So, well, some think you're Elijah, and some might think you're John the Baptist, and all of a sudden, some think you're Jeremiah. Think about that. Mm. So all that he did, and all of a sudden, somebody says, people think that Jesus might possibly be Jeremiah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So Jeremiah finally got his pat on the back, didn't he? And he sure got it in heaven. Yeah. Don't but you know he was going, hey, did y'all see that? Yeah. Yeah, check so, that out. So anyway, uh, thanks to all the guys that went out, thanks to all the churches that are doing this, and and uh, and, and all of our guys just gave such good feedback back from – the last three, the three days now, four days ago, um, for all this that's going on, and thanks to the folks in Gordo, we had a Rick great evening. Bubba, Rick and Bubba. Spring is finally here. Is he part of the? Is it? Is he? Was he the guy that started I, I, it? I don't know the the initial story. And keep in mind, this this narrative could have changed over time. But initially, they thought that it had started from a guy who was going down the interstate with a flat tire, and his rim was causing sparks on the side of the road. And that's not unheard of. As a matter of fact, we had the same thing here in, in Birmingham a summer or two ago on the median of the interstate. Really? So, you know, it don't take but one spark. Uh, in California, too, even if you have a, you know, a two- or four-cycle engine, you know, for, like, yard work, they have to have extra uh, spark suppressors yeah. on that. Yeah. In case the engine backfires, it, I mean, it could burn the whole state down. So, Well, apparently they've made an arrest in connection <clears throat> with the Holy Fire, they say, and it could uh, carry a life sentence. It says, it says that he is so being held a on one million, that, uh, one million dollar bail, and uh, it was he was expected to be in, in court yesterday, but I guess I don't know if that happened or not. Um, it says, um, it says here that the fire is only five uh, percent contained. Mm. There's a lot more to be done. Yeah. So um, now the officer points are, out. Are, is everybody open to trying that? The weapon of choice would be the five hundred pound. BLU 129B low collateral damage bombs dropped from a B1 bomber is they have a bigger shock wave and less shrapnel. Well, it's a dicey thing though when we start dropping bombs. And look, the uh, the guy says they also should try using supersonic jets that could fly low and close to the fires and use a sonic boom could produce the same effect on the ground. So, I mean, it's worth looking at. He said, too, that he would like to see the Air Force uh, experiment with some of these, and it, he thinks they could even des- design a better bomb for putting out fires than what they're commonly, you know, would be using these military weapons for now. Hmm. Where are you on dropping bombs? 
I mean, I, mean, <laughs> Look, it's just I, like, I think you got to try it, right? Well, I mean, uh, how about this? If, if we only got 5% contained, we're, we're going uphill. Yeah, well, I mean, it's, it's out of control. Um, the, there's there's a ton of fire fi- uh, fires going on out there. Yeah. I mean, it's just the whole place seems like it's burning. Now, the, I'm sorry, here it, it says uh, that there are more oh, across the whole state, there's been 600,000 acres burned. Somewhere. Good night. Look at that. Good gracious. I'll tell you, speaking of fires and, out and of control. He, and he said, and with this, he said smoke now covers three oh, quarters of the state. Can you imagine how much smoke? No, oh, I know. Unbelievable. Um, so, um, speaking of fires out of control, don't you have an anniversary weekend? I do. <laughs> I do. Happy anniversary, <laughs> Betty. Yeah, so. 29 yeah. years this weekend. So, the real day is Sunday? Yes. The, the 12th. The, mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. That's on the 12th. But I'm, you know, I'm trying to, to work the deal kind of like we do with birthdays. I'm turning it into a week celebration. Well, it should oh, be. Oh, yeah. Yeah. New heart and all, yeah. That's right. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Blood flowing. That's right. Got that, that stance got that Look thing out. wide open, ready to go. <laughs> Empty nester. Uh-huh. Goodness right. gracious. Kids are That's all right. going to college. Yeah, no conflicts there. Hey. Here we go. Uh-huh. Let's talk about a fire. We won't drop any bombs on that one. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it's the bomb on the heart. <laughs> so, uh, so 29 years married this Sunday. Ready, boys? One, two. Happy anniversary, baby. I got you on my mind. So, uh, brother, you're almost at 30 years. I didn't sing that time just to see what it sounded like. Yeah. So. It's pretty bad, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. It, it takes all of us, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Kind of, Fill it up. It's kind of like the old show, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> well, well, thank you. Guys. What's your I big plans? Yeah. Uh, you know, really, the uh, well, we're, we're going to spend the weekend together. Um, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You know, really. You know, staycation the, <clears throat> or local getaway? Daddy going out. to the lake? <clears throat> you know, I don't get into too get down much near all the water. that. But, uh, yeah. We uh, we'll we'll have a we'll have a big weekend, and um, you know it's uh, it's just amazing. I mean, uh, Betty's such a wonderful lady, and she's put up with so much over the years. God love her, you know. But she keeps us laughing sometimes intentionally, sometimes not intentional. Right. But uh, we always laugh. Yeah, you know I, I've been married to you almost as long as Betty, so we have, <laughs> we have so much in, <laughs> we have right. so much in common. Yeah. <clears throat> Did you see the picture that I put on Instagram this morning? No, or, yes. yeah, big hair. Oh, you yeah, know, sure. And and this is one of my favorite pictures of Betty. I think it is my favorite picture. <laughs> it was back. She she had these made right before our wedding. And, uh, boy, it was back in the big hair 80 days. Yeah. Man, alive. Boy, I, Rick, one of the days you were out, we had a story. Oh, my gosh. Uh, the guys were doing a story about a show that was – it actually was had, had aired before, but they were promoing it heavily again about the 80s. Mm-hmm. And we got into a discussion about the 80s and how great it was. Sure. And, you know, just thinking about that reminded me about it even more. Sure. I mean, that's, that's big hair. There you right go, there. Rick. Yep. yep. How about this? <laughs> 22 minutes past the hour of the Rick and Bubba Show, 866. We be big is the number. Uh, and it's time for you to join us. Uh, all 10 lines are available. Whatever is on your mind, yeah, making comments, asking questions. Bringing information to the table. And we would love to speak with you at the end of 30 seconds. The buzzer sounds. Your time on the program will be over. We'll be moving uh, to our next caller. As you are lining up, speaking of the man church this week, we got them going on. Northside Baptist Church, Jasper, Alabama. Sammy Gilbreth will be speaking there this Thursday night, April the 28th, 630, as they continue to walk through the men's discipleship strategy. I'll be there coming up for their next one in July. Uh, Also, Enon Baptist Church, Morris, Alabama. I'll be there this coming Sunday night. Uh, Looking forward to being with all of you as they continue the strategy. And then our very own Helmsy will be headed out to Mobile, Alabama, West Mobile Baptist Church on May the 7th. Uh, He'll be speaking at their next man church. Uh, And then he'll also be going to Landmark Church in Montgomery, Helmsy again on the 11th of May. Uh, to speak uh, at their man church, and then Rich Wingo, May 14th, First Baptist Church, Crestview, Florida. Uh, and you can find all those by going to themanchurch.com. If anybody uh, involved with the show is speaking anywhere, you'll find that at rickandbubba.com under Upcoming Events. So let's go to the phones, 866-WE-BE-BIG, uh, all kinds of lines available. So if you make a move, you will get in. Let's go to Gulf Shores, Sunny 105, where Craig is standing by trolling 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 keep them phones a trolling here we come phone trolling phone troll craig welcome to rick and bubba go right ahead it is time to celebrate anzac day the day 
um, Australia was, New Zealand was slaughtered by the Turks in World War One. What, what day, Rick? I missed that. I, I have no idea what Is you're it saying. Is up there on the board? I can't see it. A-N-Z-A-C. Okay. A-N-Z-A-C. They celebrate on April 25th. How do you know that, Craig? And I'm going to probably regret saying that. How do you know that, <laughs> Craig? So, growing up in Fort Worth. Uh, Rick. Well, I, it's a phone troll. Uh, the, uh, Guys. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it, it, it was you a, asked a question. We buzzed it. I mean, no timeout. Uh, I'm, good, I'm, no. I'm not in charge of the timeouts. My hand's too sore to raise yeah, it. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, yeah, it's, uh, yeah, it's uh, I, you know I don't know my my history very well. Well, the Australian history is really out of whack. Yeah, for World War One. That's right. Yeah, mate. It's uh, a. Do you say Anzac Day? Anzac. I couldn't understand what he was saying. That's no, he got that's one reason he got a time, he didn't get a timeout. Um, hey, Rick and Bubba, show. What's your name? Where you calling from? Uh, Jennifer from Hudson, Kentucky. All right, Jennifer, Jennifer. go right ahead. Good phone. Oh, uh, yeah, I just wanted to comment about the question the other day about the cell phone towers. My husband used to be a cell phone tower climber, and the reason why they take the towers down, they get too old and become dangerous, and they decondition them. Okay, we, yeah, it was a power line uh, tower that oh, we saw yeah, destructed yeah. Oh, the okay, other day. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Yeah, well, I would assume they they'd have they have like an end date on, right? Yeah, I guess. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, you'd think it'd be pretty long though. Yeah. 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 Jake in State Farm. Uh, Jake, 30 seconds. Go ahead. Oh, what a beautiful morning it is. Yes, yes it, it is. is. It is. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Thank you. And I uh, just want to give a shout out. Less Hemsley, more Dingo Danny. <laughs> Dingo Danny. <laughs> let's, uh, let's go to Jason in Alabama. 30 seconds. Jason, let's go. What's going on, guys? Buddy. Uh, we're going to have to, we, we're gonna have to uh, check on Bubba. Uh, I don't know if he's drinking, smoking, or what, but he's wrecking boats, UTVs, cars. Yeah. What's going on with him? I've been a little rough on the equipment he's, this year. And that's just yeah. not like him, he's to be not, rough on the equipment. Exactly. I, I, yeah. I don't. I don't know yeah, what's playing going hard, on. Rick. Right. Playing hard. Well, you know, <laughs> once once he starts going non denominational, anything's possible. <laughs> <laughs> He left the old CB- SBC. Oh, That's Rick. it. <laughs> You're going to get me all kind of emails today. Nobody's left anything. By the way, I, I've been, somebody, yeah. I haven't been following it, but I understand they, well, the SBC, they're, they're, everybody's really being cute on Twitter. And they, they got some, some young ones in there that are causing a lot of trouble. Uh, <laughs> No, that's straight up. Okay. Yeah, I mean, some people I, that I that would know and I have great respect for said it's it's ugly in there right now. I'm being completely serious. I'm not even saying that to do before you go to another phone call. Uh, you know, but here's the thing: all you, got, hand all, all you got to do is go. On, Rick's go. got a pen in. His hey, 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 hey. Let's go. Let's go. All you all you got to do is go on social media because that's where they are doing it. I mean, it's not like it's being hidden. Uh, Adam, thirty seconds. Go ahead. Adam? Hello? Yeah, you're yeah. on, buddy. Go ahead. Hey, I just want – sorry, sorry, sorry. I just wanted to ask Bubba if the guy he doesn't want to name had access to a bulldozer this weekend. Uh, Which one did I know? I thought Bobby. I Bobby. Bobby. Oh, you, mean, you mean the guy known as Bobby? Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. No, he, he doesn't have access to a bulldozer that I'm aware of. If he does, I'm going to be very disappointed. <laughs> <laughs> Jim in Georgia. Jim, go ahead. 30 seconds. All right. Hi, how you doing? I saw Henry Cho in Carsville, Georgia, on Saturday, and you, your name was brought up, and he wanted me to tell you guys, hey. Yeah, wonderful. He, is, is Henry he, still as funny as ever? He was hilarious. Yeah, he, yeah, he, he is. He is a funny, funny comedian. Yeah. And, Good guy, too. Uh, and I'm glad, you know, because sometimes we think we're friends with people, but they don't feel that way. <laughs> yeah. So uh, so that, that, that makes us feel I think better. Henry's yeah. still pretty high on the list. Well, he he still think, acknowledges us. Yeah. Uh, yeah. There's, give us time. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Jordan, welcome to the Rick and Bubba Show. How are you? All right. I'm doing good. Late to work and find my keys. All right, Jordan. Fire it in there. Mm-hmm. I worked, I worked on a black, either a Suburban or a Tahoe. I'm a mechanic. I worked on it about six months back. Jordan, I didn't get I, any I, of that. I, I don't even. Does he think he, 
Does he think he's calling the car show? I mean, <laughs> I don't he know. He said he worked on a black Suburban. What, what does yeah. that even mean? I, I don't know. That even, it is his fault. He's a mechanic. <laughs> he said, I write the Greg, Greg's got it, but I don't know what it is. He worked on the Rick and Bubba vehicle. It was wrapped with Rick and Bubba. Why didn't he just well, say, he that? say that? Oh, Rick and yeah, Bubba, nine. Rick and Bubba. He said. Dolly Parton called wants her hair back. <laughs> That's right. Mm-hmm. I mean, that, that. Beautiful bride. You know, I, I wish we could just come to an agreement as a society, maybe in the 20s coming up, 2020. From 2020 to 2030, we just make that the 80s of the new millennium. We just, we do. We do exactly like we did in the 80s in the 20s so everybody could experience it. 80s part two? Yes, that's it. That's it. We'll take your phone calls next at 866 We Be Big. Rick and Bubba, Rick and Bubba. Uh, the, the gang's all here today, and we're glad you're here with us. Our number's 866 We Be Big. Bills and put your helmets on. Bubba, Space Force in the news. Ground control. <laughs> Earlier this year, President calls. Donald Trump announced that he wanted a new branch of the military called Space Force. Down engines on. Space Force. Well, this is what you've been waiting on, buddy. It would leave uh, that. The Air Force kind of handles a lot of that now, and it would break it apart. He said it's going to be important. What, what a lot of people don't know, this is not the first time this idea has come up. In January 2001, shortly before President, w, uh, President George W. Bush took office, a commission led by soon-to-be Defense Secretary Donald Rumsfeld, recommended a military department for space. But the proposal, known as the Rumsfeld Report, was largely forgotten after terrorist attacks of September the 11th. <clears throat> so this is not a new idea. Right. Trump says we have enough to deal with in space. They need to be specialized. We need to be ready for that. It is going to be the next uh, uh, battlefront, so we just need to, to be the leader in this and not play catch-up to anybody. So uh, Vice President Mike Pence was uh, set to roll out the administration's ideas on this at the Pentagon yesterday, and this would be the first new branch of the military in more than 70 years. Um, now, Congress will have to approve this. So the fact that Donald Trump has proposed it probably means Congress will not approve it overall. <laughs> yeah, that's uh, uh, yeah. they'll have a little trouble getting that through. Uh, good idea or not, you yeah. know. Uh, but what I thought was strange about it yesterday, uh, Pence unveiled. It looks like uh, six logos, possible logos for the new branch of the military. Right, come on, it's a big public. Up. The public is going to vote on which one they like. Wait a minute. Right, and you, y'all are saying, oh, boy, here we go. Now, Rick, now you know me. I love the military. Yeah. And I'm a patriot. Yeah. And I love space. Th- this is. But I'm going to tell you, I, I, don't, I don't care for any of these logos. They look a little Teletubby to me. You know? <laughs> How you like that one? <laughs> now, yeah. now we're talking. Now um, we're yeah. talking. Now. Guys, I, can't we do better than these logos? Well, if you, if you look. Uh, and Speedy's got some of the comments. Let's hear Vice President Pence. And Adler, if you can find some of the logos of the other branches of the military, let's just compare them to what we're talking about. So we'll have something to, to work off of. Okay. But here's Vice President Pence. At the Pentagon this morning, just started speaking. Let's ago, listen in. President Trump directed the Department of Defense to immediately begin the process necessary to establish a space force as the sixth branch of the armed forces. The President made it clear that our ultimate objective is to create a new branch of our military that's separate from and equal to five other branches. Today, the Department of Defense will release a report outlining the first stages of our administration's plan to implement the President's guidance and turn his vision into a reality. So, uh, so then, we're, so we're going to have a sixth, I mean, it's coming. They, I mean, they, don't they have, have a theme song, too? Yeah, you gotta have that. Yeah, because I, I'm gonna I'm gonna suggest Major Tom. I think well, that's I mean, a good one, don't you?
airport says the best one. That's right awesome. Mm-hmm. That's a great um, one. Yeah, that that's a good one. Yeah, that's Greg good Rick one. and Bubba. Yeah. What uh, what is the one in the middle on the bottom? Is that just the Defense Department? It must be because yeah. that, that makes six, and we don't have six. So, right. so yeah, I think that because I, I noticed that. I mean, that's, that's I, I where remember Space that Force one is, off the flag. That's where Space Force is going to go. Yeah, it's. Uh, but you know, they they all uh, serve their purpose. I mean, The gravy, please. Rick and Bubba, 35 Rick and minutes Bubba, past the hour of the Rick and Bubba show. 866, we be big. Rick and Bubba family, Bubba, listen up. We got a brand new sponsor. Are you ready? Learbubba.com. Now, look, the pandemic uh, broke the economy down pretty good. Uh, everything else happening out there, too, with the, the current administration. Look, you can almost. Yeah, Bubba, if you just look off in the distance, you see a recession coming. Oh boy. This may this may be what we – if you look at uh, our economic history, usually the next thing we face uh, when things are like this is a recession. I hope, hope not, but it may be coming. A Federal Reserve survey just broke some bad news dating back to the 50s, and this is my point. Whenever inflation and unemployment have hit today's levels, history will suggest a recession may be near. Now, remember what the last recession did to that retirement? Oh, oh Rick. baby. Hammer time. Uh, none of us can afford to let that happen again. So the team at Lear Capital shared how investing in physical gold and precious metals can be a brilliant strategy against what's coming, and we want to share this opportunity with you. So smart investors are buying gold and precious metals now for two reasons. Number one, gold can be a great hedge during a recession. And two, the closer a recession gets, the more your gold could be worth. So join us and don't let your retirement take a hit like what happened back in 2008. We don't want, look, we had that. You don't want that to happen again. Uh, talk with the team about owning precious metals for your savings and retirement accounts and uh, make this extra important right now because we're going to get you up to $10,000 in free bonus coins. This is going to be based on the value of gold coins that you purchase. Visit Lear, that's L-E-A-R, Learbubba.com for more information. Or you can call them, 1-800-707-4575. That's 1-800-707-4575, Learbubba.com. We also have that linked at rickandbubba.com under the sponsors. All right, so... Um, we got a couple of stories today. Uh, let's start with the one that's uh, least troubling. Uh, that's uh, that's uh, an animal rights activist, Sasha. Is it Zemel? 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 Who knows? Uh, Z e m m e l. Uh, this is the NBA playoffs. Is that is that where this happens? Uh, mm-hmm. And uh, uh, this this is going to uh, she's going to try to protest the Timberwolves owner Glenn Taylor for animal cruelty. You know what he does? You know what? He, why, why they're saying animal cruelty? Any a rancher or something? Uh, he has chicken farms and egg factories. Yeah, that's what I'm, she deems to be animal cruelty. Right. right. Uh, so, uh, so t- here, can, can I do audio or no? Yes. Uh-huh. Uh, hey, we. look. Hey, focus right here. Right. Okay. All right. <laughs> mm. Oh, security was ready. Security was ready. Watch the security guard. He's ready. Look, there it is. They were already watching her. Yeah. You see that? Yeah, they were. And down she goes. They had somebody about three seats down, and when she made her break, so did security. Hey, they were on her. Well, the, we had a story last week. Same owner and this group, the woman came out and tried to glue herself to the court. <laughs> did, did, did you just say glue, glue herself to the court? It wasn't working, but she got out there in the middle, but it's the same guy because he is a chicken farmer, and he also had to kill a bunch of chickens because they had the flu, that bird yeah, flu. Yeah, bird flu. Yeah. Avion. Yeah, 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 they're all mad about it. So, so, that, so there's, that's probably why they were on alert because we've already had one nut out there. Wait a minute. Well, they, they had another one. They went into the stands and got another one that well, because didn't make the break. From the another court. view, there's a video. And we have right here. Here. This is it here. Right here. So the, the person uh-huh. videoing is the one they go in the stands after because she's with this one. This, okay, because she, she, she wants to shoot yeah, the video. Yeah. <laughs> Boom, down she went. Down she went. She didn't even – Really get inside the three-point line. And she was trying to be dressed as a referee or something? Is that what yeah, it was? Yeah, they, there's a picture of them hauling That's her funny. off after the fact. She's got a whistle around her neck. As, as that video stopped, you could hear her going, I paid for these seats. 
<laughs> right. Yeah, well, you don't pay to run on the court. <laughs> oh, let me uh, tell you, how about security mm. being on top of that one? Here's yeah. what huh? is, is, is that a female security officer? Uh, I, I couldn't. I, so. I, I don't know. I, I don't know. I couldn't, tell, I couldn't tell. Reason, I, I don't think it's just a skinny guy. Yeah, I thought at one time it might be, but then on the other video I saw it. I don't think it, it follows is. us like I, bad I don't money. That's, that's Charles. Charles Walker. That's a guy. That's a guy. <laughs> yeah, it is a guy. Okay. Yeah. What? Because what I was thinking, I, I wonder know. if they. I wonder if they thought even yeah. far enough ahead to be sure it's a woman that, that tackles her. That may be a woman, not a guy. Because that you know, if you were playing and say, "Look, we don't want to hear yeah. about some guy tackling her either." Here. Let's let's make sure it's a female what about, security. What a great but I could be wrong. Fight. I don't know if that's a man. I, I think it may be a woman. Now that I look. Well, the other shot, this shot here, mm-hmm. um, is looks you like could, a woman. It, it looks like the. Wait, hold on. Yeah. Just stay with this video, and it looks like a guy walking off. But who knows? I don't know. I think it's a manly woman. Mm-hmm. Okay, great. Just stay with it here. It's hard to tell. Yeah, I think it's a dude. Yeah. I think it is a dude. Oh, yeah. We've got braids. It's hard to tell. Well, let me tell you, they were waiting. The, the crowd turned security on Security moved as quick as yeah, she moved. Yeah. yeah. Well, you know, yeah. like I said, the, the glue lady, it, it didn't work. So the they're, they're probably on high alert after <laughs> yeah. that. Yeah. Now, I want you to, to glue herself to the yeah. court. <laughs> oh, my God. Let me tell you the what saddest. What a bunch of idiots. The, yeah, that, now you're getting to my point. The saddest point in all this is that we have a society right now, and I feel so sad for any human being that is this far gone that has devoted their life to the plight of chickens. Yeah. Of all the things you could devote your <laughs> yeah. life to, so to, to, to what we need, need. You, you, are, you are after the plight of a chicken. I mean, you've got to really evaluate your life. I mean, I mean, Rick, there's where? so many things yeah. you could be doing that really matter. <laughs> yeah. And uh, and you're devoting your life to the plight of a chicken. Oh, yeah. Rick, think how many steps back you had to skip over puppy. I mean, you know what I mean? Just to get the chicken. Please it's, stop it, puppy. It, it's hard to get. Um, oh, I can't think. Of, oh, I got it now. This is good. It'll work. It's hard to even get Sarah McLaughlin to do a sad song yeah, about chickens. I know. Yeah, I mean, you you yeah. can't even you 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 show them in, on the on one of these sad reels, and we all kind of go, eh. Rick, but, but, but you they, show dogs, yeah. and we're like, oh man. Uh, now I'm not talking about the little cute chicks, but yeah. obviously they haven't been around chickens much, no, or they, they wouldn't feel the way they do. No, they would not. Do you think while she's bunch, in the, Do you think bunch? while she's in lockup, they'll feed her chicken? I would Tuesday night meal. <laughs> you know what? That's that was chicken yeah. surprise. Chicken. <laughs> I bet she won't worry about the plot of chicken after she sat no, there a while. No, you know, uh, you, know you eat those nuggets. And look, eat the chicken nuggets. There ain't no chicken involved in that anyway. You're chicken right. cordon. Um, all right, and now the other one that which is much uh, more. I like s- anything with the name surprise on the yes. end. Yeah. Sure. This one's much more sinister. Unfortunately, this is. Um, what well, is this again, about? Is this again. about Earth Day? Yeah, what is this, this is climate. Ha- he's a climate Day, protester. Yeah. yeah. A and climate he, protester. That, and uh, someone and, that knows him uh, sent out uh, a tweet that said, uh, this is a friend of mine. Uh, there was a lot of a lot of speculation this might have been some type of suicide attempt or mm-hmm. whatever. But uh, what? it, he, yeah. this is a deeply fearless act of compassion to bring attention to clim- the climate crisis. No, no, no this, this is, is, a, this is an not. idiot. I, 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 I know you. I know you are, and it does not make anybody want to join your are, call. No, it, makes me, thing, it makes me think all of your comrades are idiots, too. Yeah. It says, we are piecing together information, but he had been planning it for at least one year. One so, year. So basically, too, because we, I don't think we described what he did, he no. set himself on fire in front of the Supreme Court building. Right, and 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 that's set about, himself on fire right? about about climate. To, yeah, I mean, if you're really concerned about climate, you think you would keep fire down. Yeah, yeah. I, you I know, there's other ways that. to do. It. Right. I yeah. just I go back to this again, and I know we've said this when these horrible things have happened in the past. I don't get how we th- the person who burns himself alive thinks that's going to be the turning point for people that disagree with him. Yeah, yeah. I've, yeah, I've never, I've never or, understood, or that. make other people want to be involved with it. Like if some, right. if somebody said, you know, I really didn't worry about my carbon footprint until that day you set yourself on fire and that turned it for me. Yeah, right. do, do they um, think they're going to go down in in a textbook somewhere as being the day that it all changed? Was that is that what they're thinking? Are they, are they Paul Revere of the climate movement? But think about what? this though, mm-hmm. but let's say that I'm annoying you, right? And then I tell you, if you don't, if you don't stop, I'm going to set myself on fire. I mean, last year you, you're I almost kind of yeah. like I might throw you a match. Yeah. Of you. Like we talked yeah, yeah, about yeah. earlier, it's yeah. like the hunger strike. I've never understood yeah. how you're hurting me by you not eating. Yeah, yeah. Um, right. Hey, so, way to stick it to me, bones. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> right. So last you're bone, year, I'm not going to eat tomorrow either. Yeah. Well, okay. You take my meal away now. I'm mad. Now, that's <laughs> yeah. different. Last year he wrote the date 4-22-2022 with a fire emoji under it. 
Uh, so he's been playing it for a while. You know, when he planted it, it seemed like it was a long way off. Yeah. And then it got closer. Really, and yeah. like, and, and I, we didn't play the audio, but. Yeah, it's him screaming. Uh, <sighs> he's, yeah. As soon as he's on it's fire, terrible. the idea of, of being on fire and actually being on fire sounds very different. Yeah. And I'm going to yeah. bet it is. Uh, but the, um, you know, because you think about how hey, I'm going to set myself on fire. I've seen some other people do it. I watched a couple of uh, yogis do it. I know. They, the yogis, I, if, yeah. I will say this they sit there in that little cross leg stance and never make a sound. Yeah. He he wasn't a very good yogi. He's making a lot of sounds. He was, uh, but we won't play. Yeah, and, I, just... and I hope no one was hurt trying to put him out. See, that's right. the thing. You yeah. get somebody else hurt over some yeah. crazy thing like this. <sighs> well, this is this is that Ooh, thing where Ooh. the gene pool cleans itself up every yeah. now and then. Yeah. My it's, first, um, what, yeah. I, just I, I'm a hate horrible, to be cruel to this, way. but yeah. but you're you're an idiot today. Well, and that's but, the nicest thing I can say. Well, I will say this. And you certainly don't want to get into it. I'm on volley, cruel for cruel. But I would do want to make this point. I don't want it to go overlooked. What he's doing is cruel. Uh, I mean, he, he, it, it's him, cruel though. for him to do that, first of all, to himself as a human being, precious human life. It's also cruel for him to make other people be traumatized by seeing that and hearing that. It's all cruel, and it doesn't do one thing to change the topic that he's apparently, I wouldn't say, uh, passionate about. I disagree with his friend. I don't want to be mean. He's not. He's not passionate about it. He's maniacal about it. Right. Yeah. That's Which completely big, different. And, and yeah, here's the that's thing. completely different. If if you're realistic under today's government that we're under right now, you should feel encouraged if that's your deal. You know oh, what yeah. I'm saying? Because oh, you're the closer than you ever be. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. So I mean, that this is I was going to do this for some reason, and this just happened to be the yeah, one. Yeah, people I who see the world like we do are the ones in the grinder right now, not yeah. you. Mm-hmm. Now, I don't have any plans to have a barbecue that includes no, 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 no. no. The barbecue I'm going to have is going to have animals on there, and that's going to upset the one that jumped on the NBA court. Yep. yep. Probably include chicken. Right. Oh, yeah. 14 minutes to the top of the hour. Uh, we'll be back. Hey, this this is our fellow Americans now. I know. I know. That's to make you feel good. Oh, um, uh, More Rick and Bubba coming up. Rick and Bubba, Rick and Bubba. The Army is very notable. Mm-hmm. Um, Marines uh, looks fantastic. Marines, the colors Navy and all good. of it. Navy looks good. Better say they really all, Army. They all good. look good. They, they, uh, there's not a dud up there. But now, let's Adler go, had Space Navy before we even brought let's it up. Let's go Thank back. You, for real. Think about these, Rick. Look, look at those, and then let's go back to the Space Force options. Can we see it again? Adler, did you ever create a look? So, see, it doesn't. What, what a drop off. It mm. doesn't. It, those look a little cartoonish. They're cartoonish. For me. You're yeah. right. Uh, no. They yeah. need to no. Hip it up. See, what I want, Rick, no. I want like the eagle with a laser gun, you know, in its claws, and it's like shooting a planet. You know what I mean? Oh, did wow. you like? Have did you like top right at all, Adler? Can you put that back up there? Top right caught me for some uh, reason. Uh, you know, it feels like I'm about to watch a movie. You know, let me tell you. Let me tell you the way I see these. Uh, the the top left is, is a it's a takeoff of the NASA mm-hmm. what they call the meatball yeah. logo. Yeah. yeah. Um, <laughs> the the, the second one, the middle one up top, and the one on the bottom left to me is just super cartoon. I agree with that. Yeah. Uh, the one on the bottom in the middle, just I can't really figure out what, what that what is. Doing, yeah. <laughs> uh, the one on the bottom right says Mars awaits, but what happens after we get yes, to Mars? We've got to change the logo again. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, we we're going to eventually that. get there if the Lord tarries, okay? So right. I, I'm with you, Hams. I guess if I had to, to put one of those on my shoulder and wear it proudly, I would probably go with that top right okay. one if I had to. But I'd rather – I want I, something. I, I need something. See, that looks like something I could get at, at space camp and and, and, and wear, and wear at home. Like, yeah, I and, and, and I think if, if I'm part of Space Force, you need to have a logo that I feel like I shouldn't even have on me yeah, if unless I'm, I'm serving. If I'm, you know, it shouldn't be at a novelty shop. This is the what the liberals are putting out as far as the logo we should use here. <laughs> yeah. That's funny. Let's just shoot him into the sun. That's say. funny. That's funny. But uh, <laughs> it's Trump strapped down to Look, the rocket. Look, I appreciate a joke. That's a good one. It's but funny. but I want a I want a logo that looks like that. We, you know, we will we will go crazy out in space. Yeah, yeah. yeah I want the eagle like with a, a you know particle beam weapon, and it's like blowing up a moon or something. Right. You know? Would you be good with the eagle with a space helmet on? <laughs> no, I think that takes away. Okay. You know, it, it doesn't. It doesn't. But you can see in there his angry eagle. face. The, the well, up. You know, I understand that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Huh? What, what if what if like the eagle is there and it has like planets in its claws like it's collecting i mean you see one with rings and oh, one yeah. that's blue yeah. and, all, yeah. and it's like got a bunch of them 
Maybe just have the the stars or a background and the eagles right there in the middle with a like and our whole solar system we, in its claws. We, we dominate space. Hmm. Yeah, I like it. Claws up. You know, yeah. it, like even the claws, like it's coming at you and it's got a hold of them. Yeah. Yeah. See, now we're talking. That's good. See, that strikes fear. I mean, that right there. Uh, uh, now we got George Washington yeah, with this little weird. shoulder launcher there. Well, I, I don't yeah. know that that screams space, but yeah, uh, yeah, it's, it's uh, uh, well, that's just a painting I, about I, space. Y- you know, maybe if we're going to let the public have input, let the public design some <laughs> logos. Don't right. we need more than that? I mean, I hate to be that guy that calls when we're naming interns and go, I don't like any of the choices, but right. I mean, that's what I'm doing. I yeah. got that. Well, but we weren't part of. But see, the if I was head of the uh, says, of the technology office at the White House, I wouldn't ever allowed that to happen. What about this but, ad? What about this one at the top there, like that one? Mm. No. I still got a kind of a space camp look. You there. like you like this one here to the right? This is <laughs> <laughs>
Mm -mm. I I mean, it it would just feel too weird. It would just feel too weird. It's a big screen. It's getting there, though, isn't it? Mm Mm-hmm, yeah. Of course, the guy who owns the $3 million plane says, yeah, thanks for showing me this now. (laughs) Have they got any of them getting around in the rain? Mm -hmm. (laughs) Maybe on the tarmac? It's not not pedestrian, you say that? Yeah. Yeah. That's pretty cool. Mm -hmm. Wow. We're, we're just sitting here watching it. We're yeah. headed. That oh, that, oh, that day will come. We'll, we'll be we'll be old, and nobody let us drive anymore. <laughs> Maybe that we can ride around in one. <laughs> but but don't let it drive on the tarmac. No, no apparently not. Away from the plane. Stay so, out of that. So let's Stay out of that. Right, so Elon Musk uh, over Can't the, do it over the weekend. Speaking oh, of Tesla, gold. His uh his fun he was having at Bill Gates' um, expense. <laughs> Uh, what 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 is the burr under Elon Musk uh, saddle on 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 Bill Gates? But well, he didn't like him. No, Bill Gates had one. shorted a big piece of Tesla stock, mm-hmm. best I understand. So he's betting against Tesla that it's going to go down. Right. And Bill Gates is supposed to be one of these save the earth guys, you know. And mm-hmm. I guess he was. I don't know how they got that information. But I guess he was saying, "Look, if you're if you're for saving the earth, why are you betting against Tesla? You ought to be you ought to be hoping we make it." And then he started doing some memes, making fun of him. Mm-hmm. I want you to look at that there. one right there. So, so Bill <laughs> oh, Gates has just kind of let himself go a little bit, <laughs> and uh, he compared Bill Gates with the exact same shirt on mm. as the pregnant man emoji. Oh, that's good. Which good I, I, stuff. I I think the pregnant man emoji may be the most. <laughs> insane thing it is. that has happened and there's been a lot of them i mean that what you're showing there is it, it now remember these are the same people they'll tell us to follow the sun yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. do not do not forget that everybody who is celebrating the <laughs> pregnant man emoji are all in the follow the science camp yes yeah and, and science will tell you men cannot be pregnant no, that's there, right. Greg, there's, there's, I'm not even you know Greg, that there, deep in science, and I know that. <laughs> Greg, Greg, there there is a housing compartment that men don't have. Ain't got it. Ain't made. You know, it, it, there's put, nowhere yeah. to put the baby. Yeah. Yeah. Now, if you want to say this lady who lives like a man is pregnant, but is still a, a woman, right? Or she couldn't be pregnant. Just checking. Yeah. No. I, and so, but anyway, to to for him to compare Bill Gates to it and show a picture that's side funny. by side. Mm-hmm. Of course, he had a little comment there. I won't get into. But you know yeah, what he's yeah, doing, yeah, right? I, I'm the richest man in the world, and I can pretty much just do what I want to do. That, well, that's basically yeah. what he's doing. Well, yeah. what's yeah. happened is they expect this kind of wealth to only be for access by by the left, and um, and politically and economically, uh, Elon is not to the left. <laughs> and that's what's funny, and, about and, it, and that man. really aggravates him because he's supposed to be with them on everything, and he's not. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> and it really upsets him because now and now he must be vilified because he's oh, thinking yeah. for himself. Yeah. Um and and now an update on the Twitter deal. He says that he's meeting with Twitter today uh and he has he's got everything he needs for 46.5 billion. Good. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Now he freaked everybody out because over the weekend he put a, just a simple tweet moving on. And everybody thought, well, that's because Twitter, you remember they came out and were like, I don't know about this. And so he's like, I'm moving on from trying to purchase Twitter. Mm -hmm. Really what he was doing, he was moving on from making fun of Bill Gates. He said, all right, I'm moving on. Right. And so he clarified what he meant by that. Yeah. Um, and, and and so many people on the left were hoping he meant Twitter. Yeah, but yeah. but uh, and, and yeah. Rick, they're in an absolute mm-hmm. meltdown of fear because uh-huh. Elon Musk says that he actually believes in free speech, and they are horrified. Well, and yeah. here's another example: Twitter bans any ads contradicting science on climate change. Now, keep in mind what they really mean, and the headline should go like this. Twitter bans any ads that doesn't agree with what they think is the correct science. Right. For, and Rick, <laughs> right, we, yeah. we ought to add in a caveat for now. For now. For now. Yeah. Because keep in mind, you know, when we say that all scientists are thinking the same thing about what, what role human beings play in climate change, if any, no, not all scientists agree. Not all scientists, like Fauci saying today, saying the CDC are to make the decision – on uh, on mass mandates, not federal courts. Well, um, yeah. See, there you go again, not understanding the Constitution and people's rights. Yeah, uh, that the people so, go to the courts to say my rights have been violated, and the court rules whether they are or they aren't. Rick, that has nothing to do with your CDC. What Fauci is trying to say here, if you really follow this out, he's saying, let us decide. You. Follow. You're we're we're going to take right. due process out of this. We don't want to be sued. We don't want judges involved. We don't want the legislature involved. We are in control under the guise of public health. That overrules the Constitution and everything. But I'm sorry, it does. It does not. It does mm-hmm. not. And it does not. Correction, uh, Fauci. <laughs> and what you say is anecdotal. That's uh.
It is not. It was a. It was a. It was a dumb comment. The way he said it. I know what he. Was, I know what I think he was trying to say, but you're wrong, Fauci. See, he 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 comes from that point of public health runs everything. When we tell you something, you do it. You don't ask questions. You don't have due process, and that's bull. Oh wow! There you go, buddy. It it's is. bull. It is. Top of the hour. Rick and Bubba. Rick and Bubba. Getting it because we know, we know what's out there. Aliens are coming. Oh yeah, yeah. I think there's a little bit of that. I'm with him on that. I do. I think there's a little bit of that going on. We know a lot more. We're telling everybody. I'm oh, with yeah. you, son, on that. <laughs> Probably so. And then, and Bubba got to. Did we really go to the moon? I hate to hear. I, you just don't want to know what he was saying. Well, I'm not even gonna comment on that. <laughs> that's, that's a done deal. <laughs> we'll be back. Rick and Bubba, Rick and Bubba. Uh, George out of Fort Walton Beach, Florida. George, thanks for your patience, and welcome to the Rick and Bubba Show. Hey, Rick and Bubba. Thanks for having me on the show. First time caller. That's our pleasure, buddy. So, uh, what's, what's on your mind hey, today? Rick, any like space? Well, just a little background. I'm a, I'm a retired Air Force veteran. I served from uh, 1987 all the way to 2011. I was talking, Thank you. and uh, you know, this idea and uh, the idea of the Space Force is, as, as you mentioned earlier, was not novel. It was brought up before, and uh, perhaps uh, it's, it shouldn't be. It's, I mean, it's not a bad idea. You know, essentially, uh, as you know, uh, the Air Force was the latest branch that was created here in the United States back in 1947 with the. Uh, right. National Security Act of 1947, signed by Truman. Wow. Which was uh, definitely a quite a, you know, something that was, you know, something was going to happen sooner or later because at the time, the United States was coming just right out of the Second World War II. And just, you know, the World War II already, for example, England had its Air Force. Germany had its Air Force. And, you know, the, of course, you know, having those separate branches, you know, had its great, you know, had, had its advantages, stuff like that. So... Uh, the idea that uh, the air, the, why why the air, why the United States is behind the time of that, it makes people wonder, and uh, maybe it's about to, maybe maybe it's the right time. Yeah, the point you, is that we've evolved in other branches of the military as the world had different challenges, and so really this isn't that odd to say, well, now this is a place you have to deal with as well. Because the Air Force, what, was part of the Army at the time, and they said it needs to be broken off, need to be and specialized, needs mm-hmm. to grow and specialize, and. Uh, there's other countries who are dabbling with this too, and most notably the Russians and the Chinese. So I'm sure that plays into this too. Leanne in Mississippi, go ahead. Leanne. Hello? Hey, Leanne, you're on. Go right ahead. Thank you. I'm a first time caller. Wow. Well, thank you for, for the call. Appreciate it. Monkey grass to you. Hello. Uh, thank you. Uh, I was just thinking that it should be something, maybe possibly like the design of the, the Milky Way. Something that just represents the whole, not really, you know, focusing in like on Mars or anything. Uh, and maybe have the eagle or the flag or something incorporated going into that. So it just represents all of it, the maybe, universe. Maybe underneath no. this it says don't get in our space. Yeah. Oh, I like that now. <laughs> A little trash talk. Mm-hmm. <laughs> this is our space. Uh, Could we work Uranus in there somewhere? Yeah, Thanks, Greg. Greg. <laughs> Give us issues and <laughs> we got to. don't make us <laughs> yeah. kick. Kick your anus, right? Yeah, Dave That's good, by the way. in Alabama. Dave, go ahead. Because we're defending our anus, right? right? There we go. Thank you, Greg. Never stops. No, nope. sweaty land that plane. <laughs> <laughs> Dave and Alabama, bring it on in. <laughs> we have, we have, we have touchdown. <laughs> Dave, go ahead. All right, Dave. That's my last shot. At you. There you go, Dave. <laughs> See you, uh, boy, Dave. Here, here's another Dave in Pensacola, Florida. <laughs> Dave, go ahead. Hey, good morning, Green Acres. Hey, thanks. I appreciate it very much. Thanks for your call. Hey, on behalf of everybody in the four branches of the military, I'd like to say we're all offended that everybody keeps calling the Coast Guard a branch of the military. Oh, Uh-oh. whoa, Ooh. easy. Take the gloves <laughs> off. Oh. Yeah, the logo is, I don't know if y'all caught this, but the, the red Space Force logo with the yellow swirl on it, it's a knockoff of the NASA logo. It looks exactly the same yeah. as the Space Force of NASA. I think that Mars awaits. Uh, logo is probably the best one out of the ones that he's got. We just just should put it in Latin instead of English. But the first thing I thought when I got the email yesterday about the logo is wanting us to vote on it. I was like, man, it looks like a bunch of Apple emojis. I know. I just, it really yeah, does. It's a good one. Good. Apple emojis. 
<laughs> so was Dave saying the Coast Guard is not he's a bridge? He, don't even. He's in the, he's yeah. taking a shot. Oh, yeah, he's, he's, that's, that's, you talking about the puddle pirates? Hey, let, let's look, look, I'm going by. <laughs> 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 no, I'm quoting that from a movie. <laughs> I'm just going by what Ollie North says when he thanks veterans, and he runs the list. He, they are a branch of the military. It's military humor. We're not in it. We don't no, need no, to. Yeah, but they're not going to say that. That was a caller. I don't want to be in it. They're not but, saying it. That's right. Not hearing it. Army, Navy, Air Force, Marine, Coast Guard. Mm-hmm. He always says that. It, it's actually a branch, yes. Right. Yes. Mm-hmm. Remember the great Kiefer Sutherland comment and a few good men. Don't they answer to the National Transportation uh, I, I don't know, but I know when we have I'm actually uh, stout of <laughs> they guard ports and <laughs> around the world, not just here. <laughs> I'm not here. <laughs> the, uh, I will say this: the last two callers have upped our average on the ACT score Boy, as far have. as callers Man, go. They have. Uh, Trust that guy with that. I got a voice like I'm smart. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if he's smart or not. But he sounded but he smart. Sounds smart. He did. Ryan in Alabama. Ryan, go ahead. Hey guys, Green Anchors. Ah, glad you called. Uh-huh. What's on your mind? Yes, sir. Just talking about uh, you know, logos for Space Force. See, I'm thinking about the bald eagle with the Earth in the background, and then the olive branch in one talon, and the arrows in the other talon, like on the national seal. Yeah, like we can go either way, baby. It's up to you. You're saying almost what the Defense Department of Defense logo looks like, but throw a space background on it. Yeah. Yes, sir. Yeah, that that wouldn't be bad. Let's go to uh, Dutch. <laughs> What's got going on over here? And Doth and Dutch, go ahead. Getting ready. Hey guys, uh, I'm an I, I'm an old part career and 34 years in the Army and the National Guard, and uh, I think that guy's a little bit wrong about the Air Force being the last branch. I'm out here at the home of the Army Aviation Training Center, and earlier on, uh, the warrant officers and all that, and the officers that belonged to Fort Rooker was different branches. They would belong to engineers. They belonged to whatever, and they made a branch uh, mm-hmm. since the Air Force, I think it's, it's not too many hundred years ago it was they made an Army Aviation branch. What branch? And, uh, Y'all. The Army Aviation. Right. Thank you for your service. Yeah, so, yeah. So, what, 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 so what were you saying that uh, Thank you, Bob. You, you don't think the timeline the other caller had right was correct? I don't think the Air Force was the last branch. I think Army Aviation was the last branch. Because I can remember when being working for the Alabama National Guard here in Dothan, Alabama, all those Army aviation guys out there was. Seven minutes past the hour of the Rick and Bubba show. From the No Name Studio, Speedy, the real Greg Burgess, Helmsy, Eddie Van Adler, all here uh, for a brand new hour. Welcome back. There's Bill Bubba Bus. Bubba, how you doing? Rick, glad to be here, and thank all of you for joining us at the little party we call Rick and Booba. Unpacking a few stories. Uh, we'll do a little sports, and then we'll get into uh, some stuff going on uh, uh, politically. Uh, Trump's in the news. Also, add or we may, if we have time, one A and B too. Um, uh, but let's uh, let's look at a few things here. First of all, let's start with a very lighthearted Baker Mayf- Mayfield. Is nobody want Baker Mayfield in the NFL? Uh, yeah, he'll end up somewhere. Is, is Bakey without a job? Hmm? He'll he end is up. right now. He'll, he'll end, end up. up still, somewhere. still nobody picked him up. Mm-mm. So, how does this affect his uh, Baker's House commercials where he's living in the stadium? Yeah, those know. are excellent. I know those are excellent. How about this? They're they good. are funny. He's they are, good. I'm he's good in commercials. Funny. He is. Uh, but Oklahoma, where he played college. Uh, they have uh, unveiled a statue of Baker Mayfield, but everybody's upset because they said it doesn't look anything like him. <laughs> well, most statues don't. Have you ever noticed? They, that? Yeah, yeah, they have a hard and time then bust they put in. That, oh, that's that, not that, even close. No, wait a minute. That's that's, that's, even, that's like that looks like Jim Thorpe. That's not even who close. Is, what is no, that? It, really it, it not. Didn't. Guys, yeah, guys, whoever they hired to do this. I mean, I get it's not going to look exactly like him, mm-hmm. but that I think they messed up and they've they've made the wrong statue. No, I don't even think no. Baker Mayfield has that hard a face to make him. No. Granted, you think somebody he's got just, kind of a big old rock head. But, but you think somebody world. just didn't know didn't it's know the wrong sport and didn't know him and was looking at the wrong picture? I think so. Something, y'all. That's that's not guys. Even that doesn't look anything like him, uh-uh. y'all. I thought y'all were exaggerating, I did too. and I, I thought did. I'd go well. Because you, you heard guys me, are I was trying going... to make a mountain out of a molehill. That really doesn't look no. like him. No, because like I said, I was a lot of them don't look really like them, but this is I, I, it's a different person. They were looking at a <laughs> different picture. This is so good. That's and how about you? I mean, how about there's nothing on him that looks like Baker Mayfield? What about when you played good enough for <laughs> your college? For your college. Ears. 
to want to put your a statue of you up, and you go for the big unveiling, and you look, and it's that. I mean, that, that, mm. that's Did somebody so not look at it ahead of time and go, I tell you what, it looks <laughs> great, but let's do a little work on that face. Yeah, because it doesn't resemble him. It looks like T-1000, Terminator 2. Yes. It, it does. does. I know what you're talking about. Yeah. yeah. It does. I mean, you're, you're right. You're I love on, on Twitter it. people are, are doing side-by-sides of the – It's of T-1000. The, the, the statue in that. <laughs> <laughs> the sculptor was like, hey, have you guys seen the most recent Terminator movie? <laughs> That's well, awesome. I, I want to know where the sculptor even thought he was in the land of Baker Mayfield. <laughs> How about when he called and said, hey, I'm finished? I mean, and he thought that they were going to uh, look at him and go, hey, hey, Did he job. ever look at it and go, I'll tell you what, this is going nowhere. <laughs> can, I, I, can I ask you something? And I'm, I'm not saying that from an Oklahoma standpoint that Baker Mayfield may not be worthy of a statue. Is it a little quick? I mean, he never got through his rookie contract in the NFL. Yeah, this is not about the NFL. Mm-hmm. It's about, I mean, about Baker Mayfield. You'd wait to it to be a little longer. Yeah, so. He's been a starter for how many years? Uh, yeah. About three at least. Three or four. Maybe. Yeah. This yeah, because I, I remember when I, off the I stepped out and claimed the Browns were – uh, we're coming back, yeah. if you remember yeah. that. And they, if, if you and they have Heisman, done better, I mean, but. Yeah, and if he, he won, won a Heisman, lot. they're going to eventually put something. Yeah, yeah that's what I'm saying. He basically yeah. gets his statue because he won the Heisman. Sure, yeah. of course. Yeah, 2017. I'm, I'm that. It just NFL. seems like it'd be a little longer, though. Well, I just wanted to look quick. Like, I just wanted you know? to look like him. Well, yeah. that, I would say that's even more important, right. Rick. Didn't Didn't they, yeah. they had Cam's up pretty quick. Yeah, Cam got his. Cam Hayes was up real quick. Come on, Bubba. I don't know how long it was. It wasn't long. Yeah, that's funny right there. I mean, because it was they, so maybe obvious. they do stature. Adler, statues you're all over that. Mm-hmm. Boy, it is. He looks exactly yeah, like that guy. Yeah. Guys, yeah. there's not one resemblance of Baker Mayfield in that statue. Not, not even one. an ounce. It's a different forehead, different hair. Basically, we've honored <laughs> we, we different just, nose, different did, ears. All we've done is put Baker Mayfield's number on it. That's it. Did, uh, <laughs> and put his name even, on the plate. You think, and you really can't say that. Mm-hmm. Do you think somebody pulled a good one? And said, hey, here's a picture. Because you know yeah, the guy maybe. doing the statue probably never watched football. No. Game, no. Right? No, he's probably on Jeopardy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he missed on this one. Uh, so, wow. Wow, that is bad, y'all. Yeah. Over on the political Cole side. Baker can't win right now, can he? Yeah. <laughs> oh, can't even have a statue. Can't even have a Heisman Trophy statue. It looks like now, me. What, what league is he in? He's nobody. He's no, nobody. no, he's, he's nobody. Just, they're going to trade you. you said Manziel. Bubba. Manziel's in some <laughs> weird league with, with Terrell that. Owens. <laughs> Right. Well, what, it's it's called Fans League. League or something. I don't know what it is. Like thing? The, it's like yeah, and you, Manziel and, and Terrell Owens are on the same team. Yeah. <laughs> Why would not Manziel fair. not be in the USFL? I don't know. Oh, he'd be a prime candidate. But anyway. like Tebow. Of course. Oh, God. No, but Mayfield basically Cleveland's done with him. They just got to decide where he's going to end up. Right. Mm. He's not out of the league. I'm starting to think that you confuse Johnny Manziel with Baker Mayfield. I do I think too. You did. I do too. Yeah. No, we were talking because you said he didn't make it through his rookie, rookie contract yeah. and all that. Of course, Johnny he? won a yeah. Heisman, he? too. Yeah, but Baker yeah. Mayfield's played in the NFL about He's four years. He's been a starter about three yeah, four years. They don't give you those, those it commercials. It that long. I know, it doesn't. Either. You know what I'm saying? He don't get to do those commercials and all if he's not, like, a starter. Right. <laughs> I agree. I agree, and I like the commercial. Yeah. But, it, hey, but now nobody wants him. He's got no job now. He's going to have to be a backup or not play anywhere, right? I think it's just one of them deals. I don't know with the contract is situation. They got to trade him. him or do I they think have to they release him? You know, got to do all the process. Somebody will pick him up. Well, did you know, you, uh, did you see him on the field when he, uh, you know, he was on the field? I guess for the, is it their O day game or whatever they do where he, he was announced and went out and did a little, you know, fired everybody up. Well, Manziel or uh, Baker? Baker. <laughs> okay. <laughs> College Station? No. no. <laughs> I didn't confuse those. Me and oh, Greg were talking about it in the do, break. Do they have a Manziel statue at Kyle Field? I don't know. Did he, he win a Heisman? Yeah. yeah, probably. Yeah. Probably. Well, did. well they did. And that well. was before Baker, right? Mm hmm. Yes. He Look, did, there's he Johnny there, Bubba. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Let me go back to this. Yeah, you see the cameraman nearly <laughs> fall? Okay, let me go back to this. Prob- I'm not going to say it's a done deal for for Johnny at College Station because of the way he's behaved. That's true. He may not have a statue. He may not. <laughs> you know, even though he won the Heisman. Yeah. He, he, he started showing himself immediately. He well, really did. You know, it, again, we've talked about that with the Heisman. The, uh, there statue. he is in his new league. <laughs> Good night. I thought that was a video game when it first started. I rolling. did too. It's called the fans. Do wow. they call the plays or something? Something weird. Wait, right? and he's throwing to Terrell Owens. That was why, in, why that was Terrell, Terrell Owens just saying. Yeah. Why is he in this league? What is he doing? Johnny. Is he run through his money? <laughs> but you're telling me <laughs> Johnny Manziel can play Martini in the USFL? Well, I, is he crazier than he is fine right now? <laughs> huh? I think that's been the case for a while. Oh, not for this league. For this for, league, I'll take for what league? That league there? No, 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 I'll oh, yeah, no, I'm talking about USFL. Hey, oh, I'll yeah. Just like, I don't no, know. yes. Yeah, yes. yeah. We don't hey. How about this? If I'm the USFL, I'll let Terrell Owens in. 
I do too. Yeah, mm-hmm. I, and I let Johnny in. I'm hey, I'm, I'm not letting Johnny in. You get me mm-hmm. there if you got I, Johnny. Ricky, Manziel I think you got to have everybody with a fresh Guys, start hey, on a new league. Hey, I'm at protect. Well, is it protective stadium? Yeah, yeah. I'm in there if Johnny Manziel's there. Oh I don't goodness. care what kind of playing condition he's in. Yeah, mm-hmm. he's a baller. Look, yeah, if he's playing the stadiums, we're there. I'm in. Huh? Mm-hmm. Bring bring him. I'm in. Get Mike Pereira on the phone, and I'm in now. <laughs> <laughs> he can make it happen. But that's what I'm saying. A lot of these guys that have been through this or whatever, I don't know why they're not making more of an know. effort to get them on on the field. Because they'll sell tickets. Hmm. So you're the Heisman Trophy winner, and there you are playing in a uh, yeah. fans league or whatever it's called. Hey, just wait till they get Cam. How about that helmet? Hey. <laughs> that's so good. <laughs> yeah. Hey, you're, he's available. You're, hey, you're headed that way. He's available. Huh? Yeah, what absolutely. about Cam for the USFL? <laughs> You remember? Wait, I like that one, Ems. What about oh, yeah. Cam? I'll be there for that. Oh too. Yeah. yeah, I don't. I don't think that's gonna happen. But this I mean, is legit. This could happen. This could happen this weekend. I mean, Johnny will play this week. Got to start this weekend. What if you? Well, you could. <laughs> what if you had a game? Someone's this weekend. run through like three quarterbacks. What if you had a game this weekend and Cam is quarterback on one side, and any of these guys we've talked about is quarterback on the other? You got you a game. Yeah. yeah. Huh? Mm-hmm. Tim Tebow on the other side. Yeah, he's, he's got Tebow back. back for the Bay. I was like, like, it's gonna be at least three more. What minutes. He's quarterback for the Tampa Bay Bandits. Surely we can get to the break before he brings up Tebow again. <laughs> right. well, I'm just saying, if you're wanting to sell tickets, <laughs> I owe you get twenty interest. bucks. Sure. How about this? How about Matt Leinert? <laughs> get him in there. You know how sometimes you shouldn't tamper with the memories. I think we would bring these guys in, and 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 the New Orleans Breakers would still beat them. Yeah. <laughs> you know. <what? laughs> but it's just far and getting people to show up to the games. I'd win after all. Absolutely. Getting a little talk, man. Absolutely. Get a little buzz on the street. Well, it's all about ticket sales. I'll, I'll let the original members of Kiss play. Yes. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. We'll uh, we'll come back. <laughs> if you miss Donald Trump. Oh, man. good news. You, you got uh, you got a classic <laughs> Trump when we come back. And some other stuff, too. Hang on. Rick and Bubba, Rick and Bubba. Hair loss. But, it, but isn't that Army Aviation is not its own branch, though, is it? No, nah, I thought Army Avi- Aviation would be under the branch of the Army, though. And he's talking about they. A we whole se- new branch. We right. sap- separated a whole new branch uh, called the Air Force. And may and started yeah. specializing in that, which did create the other branch. That it all used to be under the army, and I think what you're talking about still is under the army, correct? I got, I got no idea what I'm talking about. I just know when we have that that, that service saying, at church, I know which flags and what people get to stand up. That's all I'm saying. That's right. We don't. We, no, we never have one where they go army aviation and different people stand up. No, no. Uh, now we say air force, different people stand up. Now the coast guard deal, newly created, it's uh, now under the Department of Homeland Defense. However, it is considered military service because during times of war or conflict, the president can transfer any or all assets from the, the Coast Guard to the Department of the Navy. All right, Ben in Alabama, you, is that what you were about to clarify? Yes, that is correct. So so it is a branch of the military? It, it is a branch of the military. Until, it is a branch of the military. But it's actually not a branch until there's a declared war, and then they become a member of the armed forces. Hmm. Right. So when you're not in war, they're their own entity, and they're under homeland security. Homeland, yeah, pretty yeah. much they're under homeland security. But, but we go to war, then they become the the when fifth, you, the when, fifth branch. When war, yeah, when war is declared. Then they become an actual branch of the military. Got it. Okay. All right. Thank you very much. Where's the National Guard figure into that? (laughs) (laughs) Bubba, are you familiar with the Twitter account Mugshot Bays? Mm -mm. No, Uh, Rick, I'm not. Well, As a matter of fact. You know, we got it all nowadays with social media. (laughs) Oh, we do. Uh, This uh, Sundowley's account uh, devoted to trying to find female mug shots where they think the female uh, in the mug shot is a bay. Is that, is that a term? A what? B A. B A. She's my bay. Or short for bay. Is that, that my bay? Yeah, that's wow. my bay. We're, we're too lazy. We can't finish a word. Can't even say babes. Didn't it used to be babe? What is yeah. it? Is that the same thing? Oh, my yeah. boo. Yeah. Th- well, then there was boo. Then yeah. now there's bay. Now oh, I there's, thought you said. There's so many of these. But anyway. Were well, you a boo or a bay? We have a Texas woman who was arrested earlier this year, and her glamorous mugshot has sparked requests for makeup tutorials. 
Don't you think if you're a boo, that should be negative, like you're ugly, <laughs> you're scary, <laughs> like, ooh, you, you scared me. Right. Like a ghost. That would be a boo, and a babe would be a babe, right? I, I thought, you know, somebody was your babe. She must be somebody's babe. Remember yeah. Jackson Brown? Oh, yeah. Got what, to be hundreds but of she's songs. A, and, then, yeah. and then so babe went to babe. babe I, hey, babe, I'm leaving. So we, we're done with all that, and then we went to boo? And are now are we back to bay now? What is, is bay, bay current? Is bay current? I don't know. Young people? Uh, Faux Breeze on her last bay day is going to come in. check out. Get in here, is that, is that just for females, or is that for – can you have a – is your male your bay? Like a, a guy you like? I'm definitely a bay. Yeah. 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 Am I Sherry's bay? Can you still use ball and chain? Greg. <laughs> yeah. Greg. So, uh, Come yeah. here, Faux. Yeah, Faux Breeze is graduating yep. today. She's scared coming yeah. in. Uh, Faux Breeze, what is the, what's, the, what, what's the correct? Is, is bay just anybody that is your, like the person you like? Other. Yeah, you that you're going with? Anybody. Anybody? Uh-huh. What is, that, is it beyond friend? Male, female? Yeah, it's kind of like you're my bay. Like you're, you're more like. We're, we're a couple? Yeah, it it's mean, usually for like it's usually like a term of endearment, but like, mm-hmm. but like yeah. serious, like a is is couple. It, yeah, but yeah, but, but I call my friends based. Oh, okay, too. okay, so okay. I'm it's a, it's just an endearing boo. term. How you Someone say it. that you it can be a boo, but I don't. I haven't heard. Right, what is a bay can be a boo. Yeah, but I've, I haven't heard someone. What's say the boo difference in, in bay and boo? <laughs> What's a boo's <laughs> out? Boo's out. Is boo out? I haven't heard someone say that long. Yeah, say okay. So that's my boo. And babe is out. Oh, I say babe all the time, but I think that's just me. <laughs> okay. So you, you say, so you say, so, so, hey, but, say uh, can I, can I get it, a reading if here, it was in, If it was in the 70s, what would it be called? It would be called Mugshot Foxes. Yeah. Right. Foxy. You remember Foxy Fox? Foxy lady. That girl's a yep. fox. Hey, she's yeah. a fox, baby. Okay. <laughs> remember that? Yeah. Twenty-one minutes past the hour. Hello, it's the Rick and Bubba show. Thanks for being with us. How about this? Yeah, you know, I told you RickandBubba.com. Uh, the store is new items are rolling in. It's that it's that time of year, and if you want to just kind of go through the store and say, I just want to see what's new. Okay, well, there's there's actually a, a link there that says what's new. Uh, so then you can go through and say, okay, these are items that that just arrived, and, and here are some of them, Bubba. Now, I didn't even know about this item I've got right here. Uh, th- this item. Is like when you're in the automobile and you have cup holders, and you know how they get water down in them and, and, oh, yeah. and all this kind of stuff. And and the, the, these, and it's got the Rick and Bubba uh, kicking logo on them. It dries up the water. Huh? Yeah, it dries up the water, and you did, you just kind of sit that down there like a, like a koozie. Not a koozie. Uh, what's those things coaster. you put on? Coaster. Coaster. Um, Mini coaster. Yeah, and, and a coaster for your car, and you drop it down in there where the cup holder is, and you always have that Rick and Bubba logo looking at you. So, so we got those. That's a cool little keepsake. Uh, Bubba, uh, those of you that uh, that want to, you, you've been following all the different coffee mugs uh, that we have. This one is is you know, a little bit keep something cold, keep something hot. New little plastic cup, good little travel mug right there. You got that? Take out we got the Rick and Bubba logo on the front. Popping Bubba, give it pop, 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 pop. It's 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 rocking, and I like this. You remember when you the collectible glasses? Yeah. Do you like remember it. like you put some old sweet tea in this? Put you some mm, uh, Coca Cola or something in there with some ice, and you remember mine was. I remember there was a fast food restaurant, and you had to get the collectible cups. Yeah. Uh, I mean glasses, and you'd have those up <laughs> mm-hmm. in there. And I actually heard a comedian do a funny bit about that that. He broke one of the Flintstones when his mama said, we can't have anything nice. Yeah. You remember that? <laughs> <I can't> have <laughs> but uh, anyway, this is, these are some collectible glasses we're going to start. This is the first one, and this one has kind of the cartoon of, of everybody on the show, uh, and you got the Rick and Bubba logo above that, and there's all the people, and this is a nice little drinking glass for you to have when you're sitting down for supper or you sitting around watching a ball game or watching uh, a little TV or you binging, watching the Rick and Bubba YouTube channel. Get you a little something with some ice in it, knock it back, and enjoy it. There mm-hmm. it is, right there. I think if somebody like wants some sweet tea in there, how much you want? Just fill it up to the top of Rick's head. Yeah, th- yeah. just hey, right I, I want another glass of sweet tea just up the top of Rick and Bubba's head, right there. <laughs> uh, so that's good. And then uh, we're, you got some new hats that have come out. You know, we had those uh, ladies' hats we showed you. Got you know the, the got Carolina one. blue and the, and the pink. But here's a little something uh, for the dudes. Uh, I mean, a woman could wear this if she wanted to. Yes. But this is uh, this has got kind of that hunter's green. It's a trucker hat. Got the net back there and got got a leather. 
Rick and Bubba logo like right there on the blender. front. Come on. Yeah, I like that. Like good. I, I just Come see on. this out the farm. I see this on my yeah. head. Oh, yeah. Uh, I'm out there, Gary. Hey, hey, Rick, come over here and look at this. You bring me one of them farmer hats. <laughs> and uh, and so uh, uh, this is a really cool look, uh, something new and unique. So you can get those. So all there at the store under under what's new. We showed you some items a few weeks ago. Now here's some more of the others that just came in. So go look for those. Uh, and, Bubba, did you say is this going to fit you? And your card, you say you think? Uh, you, you, yeah. I think it, well, I think it, yeah, isn't all the cup holders kind of standardized? Greg, you want, standardized? Be, should be Greg, you want to give us a run and put some coffee in or something oh, like yeah. that? Oh, yeah. Smitty, you want to make call. you some sweet tea? Oh, okay. Mm-hmm. Sure. You can put that in yeah. there. Put a little coffee yeah, in there. hat, Ams. You got, you got a little hat over there. Yeah, okay. We got it right mm-hmm. here. All right, so uh, do that next break. So I told you going oh, Buddy, I, calm down. I told you going into the, the break that, that Trump <laughs> – you know, I, let's Use face it. For it. a ball marker, too, probably, Speedy. Yeah, you? you could, right there. You really <laughs> could. <laughs> be a big one. Let's admit that we've all missed Trump. I know some of you you, you don't, but there, there are days like at the gas pump and and, oh, yeah. uh, and the value of the dollar and stuff. I miss him, but yeah. sure. Um, and uh, but but anyway, the and, Ukrainians miss him. And I never yeah, I never do. thought we'd have a president that communicated even worse than Trump did, but we've done it. <laughs> uh, but anyway, so here is. Um, Here's uh, Trump, uh, and what's got him on Prince Harry? What's he mad about with Prince Harry? I, I this have is, no idea. Right? Now, if you'll, uh, but I, wasn't he on with Pierce Morgan? Uh, yeah, they, he, he had that interview. Yeah. You know, they they kind of did a little teaser promo yeah. for that interview, yeah, I, and I, I think I this still, was part of that. I think. Okay, so he must have gotten. He was asked a question from Pierce I, Morgan I'm about it. Again. So, all right, here we go. <clears throat> Harry is whipped. Do you know mm. the expression? I'm whipped? familiar with. This I word. won't use the full expression, <laughs> but Harry is whipped oh like my. no person I think I've ever seen. Good I'm job. not a fan of. Megan. Yeah. I'm not a fan. Megan. And I wasn't right from the beginning. <laughs> I think poor you. Harry is being led around by his nose, okay? You think it's going to end? I do. I've been a very good predictor, as you know. I've predicted almost <laughs> everything. <laughs> Oh my First of all, I've been in the tanning bed. Uh, y'all, this is so good. Dude. Y'all, I can't I believe. Love, oh hey, can we? Rick, not big on Megan. Not big on Megan. Can I hear it one more time? Oh can I? I just want to fully digest. What's, what's oh, wrong? Yeah. Now that I know what's coming. Hmm. Harry is whipped. Do you know the expression? I'm familiar with the. Phrase. I won't use the full expression. <laughs> but Harry is whipped like no person I think I've ever seen. Good I'm job. not a fan of. Megan. Yeah. I'm not a fan. And I wasn't right from the beginning. I think poor Harry is being led around by his nose. Okay. You think it's going to end? I do. I've been a very good predictor, as you know. I predicted almost everything. <laughs> I do. You know what? I that, do. That clip could have been worse. When oh. he said led around by his nose, oh, I yes. thought, well, uh-huh. yeah. well this, we, this we, could go south. Just there when you he thought is. you were out of the woods when he said he wasn't going to use the real phrase. Right, right. Mm-hmm. Still on top of his game. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I have yeah. a really good one right now. And again, discretion. Uh, in discernment, thank you. Not but, big uh, on Megan. Not big on <laughs> Megan. I really do. Uh, I've, I've been a predictor. I predicted everything, almost everything. Everything. Almost everything I predicted. Oh, my goodness. It, and, I've got to go back and see that whole interview. It, I bet it's good. a doozy. I bet it's a doozy. Mm-hmm. Speaking of a doozy, uh, Biden, uh, the current president, who uh, somehow <laughs> uh, beat President Trump, uh, now, <laughs> Eric doing a hell of a job. <laughs> <Right>. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> <I> mean, <laughs> I mean, you can't complain. <laughs> uh, I'm glad we tossed him the keys. Yeah. yeah. That uh, turned out well. That's got I that just go. But Greg, good news. Somebody running in a ditch. Greg, good news. <laughs> good, Call the welder. Greg, good news, even yeah. though our, our debt's skyrocketing. I we jumped the ditch on this one. Yeah. Uh, and the value of our dollar is, in, in, oh, is just going shame. down. Oh. And Greg, and we're screaming toward a recession. Biden wants you to know he's still going to spend billions to make every. Now, listen to this. Like we got money just laying around to make every U.S. military vehicle climate friendly. Oh, yeah. Climate so, friendly. Wait a minute. Wait, how many. Vehicles you think they have right now? Oh, okay. So you're going to replace every single billions, one of them. Greg. You know, and uh, I don't know, but I just feel like it'd be hard to run a tank on a battery. I just feels yeah, that way. Yeah, Picture them as we're, we're coming in, we're having to move in on something yeah. else in the battery. Battery. Yeah. Yeah. So here he <laughs> is. Down. Here he is in his own words. We'll be back in twelve hours. <laughs> yeah, you wait. Vice and counsel. And uh, thanks for welcoming me back to Washington State, Gov, and to Mayor, Mayor, Mayor Harrell. Uh, the oh, passport boy. to the city is very much appreciated. Oh, very much. hope I don't do anything to have it revoked. Yeah. And uh, Congressman Smith, thank you for your commitment to the environment, including helping our armed forces transition to clean energy technologies. One of the things I've found out as oh, the boy. President of the United States, I get to spend a lot of that money. Oh, boy. I no get kidding. to decide where, no, I'm not joking. <laughs> 
and we're going to completely by before we're going to start the process where every vehicle huh. in the United States military, every vehicle is going to be climate friendly. Every vehicle. We're going to have a, no, I'm, I'm mean it. Mr. President, hey, we're hey, over here. here. And over here. Of dollars to do it. Over here, Joe. Oh, turn to the mic. You and, see uh, that podium? They want you matter. staring out. You know, from it in. matters. You know, in my view, this crisis, as I said, is a, a genuine opportunity. An opportunity to do things we wanted to do and only now have become so apparent. Listen, he's so confused when he talks. The sign language lady was confused. Right? She didn't know what to yeah, do. What point she went? She, she had the double clutch. <laughs> well, listen, to, listen. To, and we got time. Listen to this little murmur he had at the same event, Greg. Greg, Greg this is him talking at the same event. Picture you trying to sign this. This is the same exact event that he's talking yet. <laughs> and he goes into one of it's about 11 seconds. Well, right, we'll hold it. We'll come back. Right, we'll come back. It, it's uh, I, you couldn't be the sign person. No way. Rick and Bubba. Rick and Bubba. Bubba, well, welcome yeah. in. Lots to, lot to do, as I mentioned wow. uh, today. What a busy weekend. Uh, we want to welcome folks who may be listening to the Rick and Bubba show for the first time ever as they have found themselves living in different quarters, um, fleeing Hurricane Irma, and we'll get you to update on that. Uh, James Spann will be along to give us all the, uh, the details of all yep. that. But um, at last report, Rick, uh, 4.6 million people without power, yep. most of them in Florida. They said half the state of Florida now does not have power. Right. Uh, some of those are in Georgia as the storm makes its way up the west coast of the uh, Florida Peninsula. And uh, people further north in Georgia and Alabama and parts of Tennessee now bracing and making plans for the leftovers of that. It has weakened quite a bit, but uh, we're still looking at uh, – a pretty big uh, storm system that I know will be spawning tornadoes and other problems uh, as it goes. So it's going to be a, an active few days for even the folks inland. Oh, yeah. Well, when you look at it, I was talking about it before we started. It ended up not being as severe as everyone thought. But it's, it's so interesting because it, you know, when it's all about, you know, you change. But it's still incredibly devastating what you talked about. Now, there were great evacuations and uh, your power being off is bad. Uh, not near as bad as being dead, you know, or, or losing all your property. Right. And so it's going to be bad, and we still don't know what all's happened with the islands, uh, you know, and, and, you know, those different countries. And we'll get to find more out about that once you can get in there. But, you know, just think, you know, because the, the fear was that it would come in as a five and then a four, and then, of course, it came in as a three. So even that's even though that's bad. Right. And then went down to a two, and now is at a one. But, it, but it's still bad. So there's really also a lot to be thankful for because it, it wasn't as severe as, as first thought of. Now, sadly, to make it complicated, it didn't go the way they thought it was going to go either. So well, pe people actually ran to, <laughs> right into the hurricane trying to get away from it. So You know, you know, years and years ago, before we had all the high-tech radar and satellites and space stations to look at it, you know, they named them after females, right. and there was a reason for that. Right. So never forget that. Well, I do want to know, because they had all the spaghetti models, most of them showed it going up the uh, Atlantic side the of, the, of the peninsula. Okay. And there was one or two that had it on the west side. I want to know who those guys are because they were on on this one. Well, I kept screaming during the whole time, you know, because Span has taught us so much over the years. Any information older than, older than six hours is bad information. Yeah. I mean, it was changing that much. I mean, 
and you would say that social media couldn't even keep up with it at one point. They they would be, they'd be behind. Well, there, there's so many so many things to talk about in this. There's obviously uh, been deaths, and I, did you see the cranes that fell in Miami? No, I, I didn't. See oh that. wow, yeah, I think it were two out of three fell in Miami, and then one further up the coast. Right. How about when they announced that hey, they're probably going to fall? <laughs> yeah, can't get them. Uh, so y'all just y'all clear. Yeah, and I need. <laughs> you know, they leave them now. They they've decided based on what's happened in other storms, they're best to leave them just so they spin on their own. And did you see one of them was spinning like a helicopter? I mean, it was. And you think there's no way that thing's gonna uh-uh. stay together? <laughs> yeah, there ain't no way. I would like to say tell CNN it's okay. It was still yeah. bad. It was still real bad. I didn't like CNN acting disappointed. They they wanted what? it. Well, they wanted to be able to say something about climate change, and and right. and and you they still will anyway. But, hey, guys, it was okay. It was bad enough. Yeah. I mean, one guy, I, there was one guy about to come apart talking to the reporter, and the reporter even started looking at him like he was crazy. <laughs> you know if it had come in at, at, at 160-mile-an-hour winds, those buildings behind you, they'd be gone. <laughs> and he's like, yeah, maybe. But, but 130, you know, it comes in at 130. I mean, there's a big difference between 160 and 130. I mean, you like 30 miles an hour. <laughs> yeah, that, that's what the mm-hmm. math is in all of our heads. Yeah. Still bad, though. Yeah. Hey, guys, I, I've still got bad things here, yeah. guys, if you don't want to report on them. Well, well, I mean, if it come in at one hundred sixty mile an hour like we thought, it'd be I'd all be gone, right? Let, let's let's work on being thankful. Uh, Thirty five minutes past the Rick and Bubba show, we're back. Eight six six, we be big as the number. Cooks Pest Control and the Rick and Bubba show been partnering for a long time now, and uh, they'll do great work for you too. Go to cookspest.com. That's cookspest.com. Or you can go to rickandbubba.com, find them under the sponsors button. Uh, Have them come out to your property, and they'll give you a free, thorough inspection and evaluation of your home or business. And there's no obligation for you to use them. Uh, but, boy, they do a good job, and we love them. And for termite protection, their Centricon system is fantastic. Uh, the month-to-month work they do with fleas, ticks, rodents, termites, I, I mentioned that, nesting, wasps, roaches, other bugs. Y- they do it all, and they do it great. Uh, at CooksPest.com, sing with us. Looky, 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 here comes Cookie, Cooks Pest Country. So here was the, the last thing I was going to play, and we ran out of time. <clears throat> You know, the leader of the free world, we, we heard from Trump, who was the last leader of the free world. That, that was an interesting comment. And, Greg, have you already used that coffee cup we just yeah, pr- you promoted? Like you already drinking out of it? I figured I'd test it. Where are you on the clear like that? You like I that? I like it. Yeah, I like that, it's too. It's a weird look. It makes people uncomfortable. Really? Because yeah, you're afraid that you but they, do you like, want to buy hot. You want to <laughs> see people that you got you got coffee just like you like it. That's right. Mm-hmm. This is get a little different look, right? Uh, I like it. I like that big old logo in front uh-huh. just popping off of it. That is nice. Uh, these are available at rickandbubba.com and the stores. But I want you to listen. You know, Biden, first of all, you could feel – that, that, you know, just like a, a, a kid that gets up there and doesn't really know what he's talking about, and everybody starts getting kind of fired up, he starts, no, I mean, every one of them. We're going to do every one. No, I'm, I'm serious. Every one of them. And somebody behind the stage is going, not every one of them. What's he talking about? 5% uh, trailer. Uh, but, but now I want you to picture. <laughs> trailer. Yeah. I, I want you to picture right now. You've got to do the sign language for uh, the next the, these next 11 seconds. All right, you're supposed to figure out what the leader of the free world is saying. So here we go. You know, our natural wonders uh, are, uh, you know, inspire and the, the reflection inspires our to take action. You know, uh, uh, <laughs> he went to the head scratch. Good <laughs> gracious. Oh, Anybody wow. get that? What, what does that even mean? <clears throat> I mean, what is he saying? Is he saying that our beautiful nature requires action to save the planet? Is that what he's trying to say? I, I, let's try it again. At least he's looking forward this time. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You're right. But, boy, this head scratch comes in there. That's really his, I've done, I've tried as hard as I can. <laughs> yeah. I'm out. My you know, our hurt. natural wonders uh, are, uh, you know, inspire, and the, the reflection inspires our to take action. You know, um, uh, oh, boy. There it is. Somebody get him a milkshake. Somebody help him. Wow. Somebody give him a milkshake. Somebody please help him. <clears throat> I want you all to know that this last where, where election. Where is Jill at when we need her? <laughs> wow. And I don't see why that's so hard. I don't know why we Dr. don't have her. Jill. Do you know, no, why don't we have her looking after him? I, I don't understand that. Um, mm-hmm. So for those of you, uh, uh, video seven, Adler, since we're already on, on this topic, th- <clears throat> those of you that celebrated the flight attendant that cried, um, we we are and everybody two years that people have been on airlines wearing masks and no one's really said why 
Well, I want you to know that the press secretary for the man that we just listened ramble around about our natural wonders and that he's going to take every single military vehicle we have, all of them, oh. and make them climate friendly. Doesn't tell us how, just says that's what he's going to do. Law and uh, military vehicle. Jen Psaki wants you to know, that you, wants us to be sure not to get too attached to this freedom because she's saying that their administration is going to do whatever they can do to get those masks back on you on the plane. I bet. Um, so, uh, and we disagreed with the decision immediately. So, uh, the immediate steps were to determine, uh, what power we had to respond to that. Obviously that, uh, that, uh, came in the form of, uh, the Department of Justice came in the form of the CDC acting, um, er and putting out the statements that they did. But, um, you know, we also don't take photos of flights as data about how the country reacts uh, to issues. Um, you know, as whether they're ripping off their, their masks or not. I mean, our focus here was seeing what power we had to preserve. Well, there, well, there was the key word. What power what we power have. What power do we have? Mm -hmm. to, it goes back, Founding Fathers. Mm -hmm. I know y'all have heard us say this so many times, but yeah. oh, it needs to be, because repetition is how we learn things. <laughs> I'm going to say it again. The Founding Fathers warned us, and you just heard a government official confirm it, whatever you allow them to have, they will abuse it. Whatever power you allow them to grab, they will abuse it. You, so you better limit what they have and make it crystal clear what they can and cannot do. Yep, where the boundaries hold, are. And hold the line. Yep. And uh, so even when you're afraid, they love when you're afraid. That's their favorite. Oh. Look, I've been on airplanes. Okay, Sherry has been all over the world on airplanes during this. She's giving me the same thing. We're not any worse off if people have these masks on or off because the overwhelming majority of the people on the airplane do not wear them the way you'd have to wear they them, might as well not even right. if they work. And they right. and most everybody, the airline itself, if you don't have one, gives you the little blue one that you get at the at the drugstore. The, the one that doesn't work. Yeah. So that's you're what we need you're not in any more danger now. That's just stupid. now that doesn't mean that you won't ever that you won't catch COVID. You could. But you could before, is what I'm saying. It, 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 you're not any safer. But let's say that you are a person that says, by golly, I'm going to wear a mask because if I wear a mask, then there's nothing that can get me. I don't believe any of these naysayers about masks. I think they're all fantastic. I don't care which one it is. I, I want and two I, of them. And I'm wearing it. Then you can do that. But here's what I don't understand. What do you care if you truly believe in your mask? Once you've put it on, then you, should be, you shouldn't care if anybody has one on. That's it. Because you're protected now. Nobody can get you because you've put on the magic mask. Then you've been and, vaccinated. Yeah, and, and, and look, if you put on the magic mask, been vaccinated and boosted a couple times, you really shouldn't care, you know, even though people like that keep testing positive. But, <laughs> but I mean, and, and you know, because you should say even if I test positive, and this may yeah, be true. Yeah, less. Yeah, it, it won't be it, severe. Yeah, it, I mean, yeah. at least the worst case scenario you know, if, hopefully, you know, if you don't have any bad side effects, and the odds of that don't look very high, but it does happen, but not, hopefully, not a, a, a lot, and hopefully down the road we won't see more things that concern us. You know, like we've said, and this is just true, like an outbreak of hepatitis everywhere, right? <laughs> yeah, I'm you that. know, things like that, and you know, young people having strokes. But, but, but here, here's, the, but here's the other thing: um, mm. the 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 long term effects of our of our treatments and our vaccine, and the long term effects. Of the disease, we don't know yet because both of them are new. Right. We do, we so don't we really don't data. know. Anybody, don't that that, anybody says they know, they don't know. They don't. And I mean that even people who say it's bad. Right. Yeah. Nobody yeah. knows. Uh, so, um, and but we're finding out more as we go along. You know, we're finding out about long COVID. We didn't know that. We're yeah. finding out about you know these ways kind of, to treat it. Yeah. And uh, and antiviral. Yeah. I'm I'm I personally am in the camp of, you know, I've I've had it before. Um, I realize that's not forever. I know I could still get the variants. I, I haven't yet. I certainly could. Uh, but I'm kind of in the treatment camp. You know, if I get it, I've kept myself for my age pretty healthy. Um, I, I've never really had a hard time with sickness. Um, I, I hope that continues, even though I'm getting older. And, uh, and I'm of the camp of if I end up with it, then I'm going to go with the antiviral treatments. The, and I'm not talking about going into the, you know, I'm, I'm not out to get the, what is it, the, 
the wort dewormer or whatever like that. <laughs> yeah. I'm not saying ivermectin. That, yeah, ivermectin. ivermectin. Yeah. I, and, and you know, I'm not saying that that's what I. I'm talking about the ones they've just developed. Yeah, you the know, ones for the that. ones for yeah. Pfizer and for Merck. Uh, those yeah. those seem to be doing well. And if if I do want to take two, my doctor wants me to have ivermectin, I, and they think that will help me. I'll do that too. If they don't think it will, I won't. But but I'm but you know that the river that, blindness will get better for sure. But that's the game plan now because yeah. we got to get in the mode, which I think we're there with flights and everything. Well, I hope we're there. Most of the America is there. We need to concentrate on treatment because the the idea that there's some way to to just carte blanche, man, we've covered it all. Everybody in America is safe now. You never have to worry about catching any of the variants of of uh, the coronavirus number nineteen. Uh, we're all free now. It's gone forever. Nobody can get it. Or if you do this, you won't get it. That's over. We got to live with it. There's nothing out there that is a 100% guarantee you won't get it. What you better be in the mode of is if you get it, we we keep you out of the hospital and we keep you alive. Right. Yep. Right. I mean, that's the go. And you need to do things in your own life too. You need to keep your immune system healthy. You need to take care of yourself. Uh, you need you need to to be healthier. Get out, if you walk can. in the woods. When and you can. Uh, mm-hmm. you know, that's, that's a start. That's mud a, on th- your feet. That's something we can all do. And uh, you know, but, really, what what helped give us what we've got right now, kind of back to somewhat normal. Mm-hmm is Omicron was so contagious, but it was not serious. Mm-hmm. And so many people got it at one time, mm-hmm. we built up yep. somewhat of a, you know, immunity across, uh, herd immunity across everything. Mm-hmm. That's why we're enjoying the freedom we got right well, now. Well, and it's been nice. And I know there's exceptions, and, and my heart breaks about those exceptions, just like there's always exceptions to about anything when people get sick. But I remember when we were back on Alpha, even though it was a small percentage, we all knew people that were in the hospital clinging to life. Yes, yes. And those still and exist, also, but, but yeah. it, boy, it's not, it, it, <clears throat> praise God, it's not as near. Right. Uh, you, I don't hear that near as much as we once did. Mm-hmm. Even people who do end up in the hospital, I mean, when, I have, it's been a long time since I've heard anybody says, well, you know, they're, and I'm not saying it ha- doesn't happen anymore. I'm just saying right. it's, not as, it's are, not as often. Are you concerned with the lockdowns and what's going on in Shanghai right now? In other words, they're having another outbreak. Is yeah. that headed our way, and what variant is that? I'm, I'm not really hearing a lot of detailed well, information. Well, it. it's China, so who knows? I mean, you know, they're still is telling that, Is that the XE, or they're, what is it? They're, they're still back on the uh, bat sandwich. Yeah. But, see, they still leave, they're still they still living in the delusional world that they can shut the place down and put masks on everybody, and somehow it's going to go away and nobody will catch it. Rick, weld them into their apartment. Yeah, that, what they're doing like is... Like an animal. It's absolutely insane. But that's what happens if the government gets fully in charge and you don't have any any recourse. Uh, we'll be back 15 minutes to the top. Rick and Bubba, Rick and Bubba. Be that the builds are still here. I, I tell you, we, we'll, we'll talk about some of my favorite moments so far when we come back. But I, I, I cannot get enough of reporters out in wind that you can hardly stand up in. Now I know that some of them are going to end up getting killed doing that. Right. But for and it's, they're stupid for doing it. Right. I, I will just say that. Right. But there's something about watching them. Not when they're trying to fake it. I'm here in the parking lot no, right. and it's wet. Right. But I mean the ones who are really trying to stand up and they're about to get blown yes. down there's something about watching that that i'm drawn to and i'm i'm embarrassed about it but it's the truth i also would like to remind all of you when you send reporters down to parts of florida and you've got them down there too early and they're waiting on things to happen they might get in alcohol yes yeah, I, I heard we had one get yeah. sauced up pretty Uh-oh. good the first time he slurred i said i'm gonna i'm gonna say that's on the wind <laughs> <laughs> and, you know what I mean? I said, Sherry and I, Sherry sure, and I said, you, sure, said, you hear that? I said, I did. And when I knew he was drunk was when he kept calling it a Category 1, and that was when it was a Category 4. Oh, no. We think it might come, it might come ashore <laughs> like, a, you know, a Category 1. And uh, and I'm like, did he say Category 1? Well, so he can always blame it on the water was out. Right. And you could tell, he had. You could tell he'd flipped it and he thought 1 was the worst. That's right. Yeah. yeah we'll, we'll be right back. Rick and Bubba, Rick and Bubba. Let's go to Charlie, Birmingham, 104.7 WZZK. Charlie, go ahead. Hey, monkey grass, guys. Hey, thanks hey. for the call. Appreciate it very much. Uh, i seen the uh, video. I don't know uh, what news station it was, but they were reporting from Miami, and while the lady was reporting, a uh, guy was uh, kite surfing behind her. And yeah. they brought it to her attention, and she said, yeah. She said, you know, People are just you know, carrying on with water activities like nothing's going on. <laughs> there he goes. Back to you. We're looking at it on RB TV right now. She's reporting. 
<laughs> Y'all, look, people are ridiculous. Look, I, I know these people are being idiots, and I get <laughs> sure it. Sure they are. But, but it's funny. But there's something about when a reporter is doing doom <laughs> and gloom, and I'm talking about the reporter is doing doom and gloom, end of time, climate <laughs> has finally paid, we're paying the price from our carbon emissions, and a guy goes by, uh, cot surfing right behind her. Uh, I mean, I'm that, sorry, that's just, that's it, just it, everybody, right, please it's funny. Take, it, everybody please take cover. <laughs> you should not be out of this great <laughs> it It's funny, and we, we shouldn't laugh because I know it will encourage people, I but know. it's funny. I can't help it. Yeah. Look, see, I want to see that footage again. I want him to rewind it. Right. Yeah. How about this? Look, Knock yourself out. Did you I mean, see? If, how about this? If I've told everybody what to do, and I've informed everybody, and people just say I ain't listening to you, okay. Well, I mean, knock yourself out. Be aware of that. And again, the, the tornado threat concentrated mainly on the coastal plain of Georgia and South Carolina, and it moves on. hit by debris while doing one of these things? Oh, listen, guys, the, the minute a piece of sheet metal flies off and impales somebody, that, that's going to stop all this stuff. I'm not a big fan of it. I stopped doing it years ago. Now with technology, we could put cameras anywhere. Right. We could put these small cameras with good connectivity, this high definition, and you don't need a person out there. You can see that. So I think the time for that is passed, and I think you're sending a bad message. If you're telling people to evacuate and leave, and then you've got some blow-dried boob out there on television, you know, trying to get his hair blown around, that doesn't make any sense. And that's just my opinion, and I, I have friends that still do that. And, you know, but I'm just saying at some point that's going to have to change, I think. Well, you see, it, mention, yeah, you see other people doing it, too, that aren't reporters. They're just doing it, too. And you got to think that, you know, surely that's because they've, they've seen a reporter and they said, well, that person survived it. Yeah, and one of the horrifying things I saw yesterday, I don't know if you saw the images of these bays where the water was flushed out. Yeah, that's what I want to talk uh, yeah. to you about, the reverse tide on that. Right. It's basically a reverse storm surge is what it is. And in, in Mobile Bay, Alabama, that was a good example, pretty far removed from this thing. You guys have been to the northern end of Mobile Bay, the right. battleship USS Alabama. Oh, yeah, right. Oh, yeah. So uh, Skip Baumhauer, a professional photographer, was there, and he took shots of, basically a bunch of mud where you typically have Mobile Bay, and that's the shallow end of the bay up there. Uh, and what that is, that is a persistent, long-duration, offshore north wind for hours and days, and it literally will take some of the water out, and that's only in the shallow part of the bay. You're not going to see that really in, in, the, in the Gulf of Mexico or the Atlantic, but for those shallow bays. And, uh, and again, for Mobile Bay, the, the, the hurricane was not close to there, so you could walk out there in the mud and it's fine, but you had people in Florida doing that. With, with, at the time, a Category 3 hurricane coming up the pike. And the problem is that when, when that reverse wind begins and the onshore flow begins, that water rushes back in there. And if you're walking around out there in those mudflats out there where there used to be a bay and that water comes back in, you got a problem. You'll drown. So it is very... David, please. Rick and Bubba, Rick and Bubba. Ooh, it brings me to my knees. Rick and Bubba, Rick and Bubba. It is nine minutes to the top of the hour of the Rick and Bubba show. Eight six six, we be big is our number. If you want to reach us now to wrap up the hour, uh, we'll take some of your phone calls, and all the lines are available. Uh, don't forget the Rick and Bubba Buffalo Wild Wings charity charge today. Uh, so if you've got a participating Buffalo Wild Wings in the great state of Alabama, uh, go out today and enjoy delicious food. Uh, you can get those at uh, Alabaster Birmingham on two eighty. Gardendale, Tuscaloosa, Hoover at John Hawkins Parkway, downtown Birmingham on 4th Avenue South, Trustville, Pell City, and brand new in our hometown, Greg, of Oxford, Alabama, exit 188 off 20. You talking about the Big O? We talking about the Big O. That's right. We get some wings right there in the Big O. Big O. So all that, 10% of that will go to uh, Make-A-Wish, Alabama. So go out and participate in that today if you have a participating location near you. Um, all right, so we have also, uh, and we'll get to some of your phone calls, but did you see this video, Bubba, where a New York City man got, got clobbered, unfortunately, by a stolen truck? No, I, I've he, heard some people he, talking he survived about it. With, he's got it. major injuries Ooh. to his arm. But right, buddy, focus he, behind he, the he truck. He really gets hit. Left, left side behind the truck. I see him, yeah. All right, he's about to get clipped. Oh, oh, look, at you see his feet dangling. Oh, and what? that's a stolen truck oh, going by. Man. Guys, and real quick, how many movies have you seen the scene in that spot that, you know, that looks like that in New York City? Oh, with the, oh. That's where Patrick Swayze got killed in Ghost. 
Oh, yeah, that same shot. Look. I get, so he, he's he's got a mangled arm. Is he okay? Yeah, yeah, but he, he's, I, he's, what, what what comes off first of all? Pat, you, when they pass the truck, what comes flying off? Man, the truck? you got you got to get out of traffic. You, you, yeah. you stand over the white line, and that, there's nowhere for that truck to go because there's, there's a, a car post, yeah, and there's a the big good. post there. Yeah, there is, yeah. and there's a post yeah. in the middle of the road. Wow. So you can't, you just can't put yourself there. No, I, no, I will no. say this: he is behind the white line, though. I mean, but still, when, when he mirror, gets hit, a mirror got him, didn't it? I think so. Yeah, oh, it was early. Oh, then it runs him down that uh, that truck bed. Oh, then it grabs him. And then it, it takes part of that uh, truck off. And, mm. and then it's stolen a bit. But they say he's got major injuries to the arm. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, we, yeah, we, we know that. Imagine. But he's, he's, it looks like he's going to survive. Who's still in that? Uh, well, you never know. Maybe they were off to help Bubba. They, they could. Yeah. They could have. Been out to help up. Uh, eight, eight, <laughs> yeah, I mean, you, you never know. Did uh, did any of y'all see Tyson Fury this weekend? I didn't. Yeah. No. So he, the Gypsy King. Yeah, mm. yeah. He won another one yep. in front yep. of ninety four thousand fans. He claims this may be his last. Yeah, yeah. So ninety four. Maybe it. Oh, but Until him and Wilder go at it one more time. <laughs> Was this pay per view budget? I did not buy this one. No, I just caught highlights on social media after. But uh, yeah, it was it was like a Wembley record for the number of people? Oh yeah, it was a huge there. crowd. That's really unbelievable. Rick, he he knocked the guy. I guess it was a technical knockout, but he uh, he knocked him out with and knocked <coughs> his tooth out in the sixth. Oh, round. I love that. With an uppercut. That's what I'm talking about. Mm. That's, that's somebody getting out. after the right Gypsy there. King. He's funny, isn't he? Uh, he's different. Well, he sang American he's, Pie. You know how he does. Yeah. After, do we do we know why he's he just, sings American Pie? He's just such a he, big old guy. Nobody can do anything with yeah. him. The last few times it's been American Pie, but I also saw him sing you "Don't Want to Miss a Thing" by Aerosmith. Yeah, I saw, I saw to one his of wife those. in the ring after one fight. But why did why, he just has always done? Why that. does he thing. sing American Pie? I don't know. It's <laughs> his thing. Right? <laughs> Listen, hey, and he'll sing the whole thing. No, yeah. you're waiting on him to be done. Well, minutes. maybe not American Pie, but he doesn't stop when you because that is too long. But he does not stop. Like after the first verse, yeah. he keeps going. Yeah. So, so he may retire. You say, Bubba, thirty-two he, he and said one. This may be his last fight. He's yeah. thirty-two, zero oh, and one. He had a draw with Dante Wilder I the think, first time they fought. I think we get front, enough money out there, him and Wilder. Maybe, maybe. one maybe. more time. But one what a time, more. What a time to go out in front of that uh, well, yeah, fans. Well, on well, TV night. four, we got to back that camera back. Yeah, that's, that's <laughs> right, a tough, so tough yeah. angle. Wow. And, and can we? <laughs> World. <laughs> we need to give an update on the red jeep that was running was all morning people yeah. are like y'all never revisited it. right uh the owner apparently I, I guess it was the owner because he ran to the jeep and turned it off well actually left, he left and then came back and we see him work so he was in the building but he had to go get some gas and so i don't know <laughs> what happened but yes it's turned off now and moved let's go to nate in oklahoma nate welcome to rick and bubba what up nate we'll go ahead nate what's up guys it's been a while since i called but i'm always listening Thank you. No, hey, I, I just want to comment. Yeah, this mask mandate that they're wanting to possibly reinstate. I just flew to Phoenix and back last Wednesday and Friday. I figured I, I was shocked at the people. There was only a mask probably out of every one or two out of a hundred people. I mean, these people are done with the mask. Oh, they're done with it. I it's mean, miserable. I, yeah, I've been done. Oklahoma, we've been fortunate. I haven't even hardly wore a mask in two years. Yeah, I haven't either. So I'm a contractor. We're outside, stuff, but the airlines people, they are, they're going to have their hands full. They're trying to map these people back up. I know. See, now you've set them free. Oh, so, yeah. So yeah. if the you government get them back. If the government comes back and tries to do it yeah. again, it's going to be. A little sniff of freedom. Yeah, yeah. Is that what you're talking yeah, about? Yeah. Uh, yeah. I mean, it's uh, uh, Randy and Jackson Gap. Randy, go ahead. Yeah, Greg, I just don't tell you, don't feel bad. You're not the only one that forgets to put your cup up under the thing and go to the bathroom come back. It's all over the counter. Did it happen and to you? Secondly. Uh, 20 years from now, you're going to see a commercial on TV. If you took the vaccine back in 2020, you may even be entitled to uh, so much money. You may be right. Well, it could happen. I uh, hope not, but you yeah, might yeah, be right. Yeah, yeah. Uh, that's a, uh, Justin in Auburn, Alabama. Justin, go ahead. Uh, yeah, I was just wanting to make a recommendation. I think if Fauci would tell everybody if they get a little topaz, we might get some stuff. <laughs> what if he One said? things I'd like to consider is maybe <laughs> maybe getting all Americans on the topaz. Anybody <laughs> thought about topaz? What Has if anybody topaz? thought about topaz? What if topaz was the magical uh, solution to cure COVID and we didn't know it? <laughs> yeah, but you don't like where they have to put it. No, oh, boy. No, oh, boy. Yeah. Oh, boy. Is that a needle, sir? <laughs> Thumb of a bob. What was that thing? <laughs> Boo. Boo. <laughs> <laughs> that is uh, <laughs> uh-uh. <laughs> we might have tried maybe get some topaz. <laughs> what what are these people judges telling us what to do? 
I love that we like you said earlier. He he he. No, you're just wrong, Fouch. You're wrong. You don't understand people's people's freedoms. They're guaranteed in the Constitution. He's saying I'm so smart. No, you're wrong. And that what I say is so important. It overrules the courts. No, it, it ro- overrules Congress. Yeah. And They're wrong. Else. Mm-hmm. Sorry, Fouchy. You know you're not the Gypsy King. No, <laughs> no. Thomas close. and Muscle Shells, W L A Y. Thomas, go ahead. I bet Tyson Fury could beat COVID. Hey, so uh, you know about these mask mandates uh, to the airlines. You know, I know a guy that's flying to Canada, and he has to wear a mask. He doesn't have to wear a mask in the United States, but as soon as they hit Canadian airspace, they're making them everybody put on a mask. Yeah. Okay, so then, we've infected to, up to that point. Yeah. For. <laughs> Looks like that's another reason not to go to Canada. <laughs> that's some science. <laughs> that's yeah, that makes a lot of sense. Mid-flight, <laughs> put them on. Yes, yeah, suddenly. Brad, you ain't had them on for <laughs> right. four hours. We've all <laughs> been together. So, so, so the damage is Same done. air. Same yeah. air. And then, of course, you'll <laughs> probably not since uh, you know they recycle. They do. They probably don't even need them at all. Never have. Probably the best place <laughs> yeah, to be. But, uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I mean, it's almost like, you know, Michael Jackson would lay in there. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Hyperbaric chamber or whatever. <laughs> right. This is good. <laughs> yeah. He was a bird, wasn't he? Yeah. Oh, oh, talented dude. Oh, yeah. Oh, Sometimes, Barry. you know, but what we learned, what we learned. <laughs> probably too talented. Too talented. Too ge- them genius just, people. You got to watch these geniuses. Yeah. They got too much. I think Sometimes they just, need to, they just need to get out and be average, yep. don't they? Yep. Need a little more, a little more balance. Thank you for being with us. If we're wrapping up our time together, we'll chat with you on the next edition of the Rick and Bubba Show. Rick and Bubba, Rick and Bubba. Hey, thanks for watching Rick and Bubba live on YouTube. We're here live at 5 with a kickoff hour bright and early Monday through Friday. Don't forget to subscribe and click the bell for notifications on our YouTube channel. And catch a commercial-free Best Of Hour on Blaze TV every day. Rick and Bubba, it's must-see TV. Or radio. Well, yeah. Rick and Bubba.